Uh, thanks, Hoods. Um, yeah, sorry. Still waking up. Just, um, yeah. Just, it's like 4 a.m. here. Brain still started to work. Um, but, um, yeah, we've got something, hopefully, a little bit special for you guys today. Um, doing a co-op with my man Logic, my, uh, my teacher of, uh, of multiplayer. And, um, yeah, we, we play a bit of multiplayer, uh, Wemma 3. Um, but, um... Yeah, I've been in, I've been looking at like I, I really like how Creative Assembly made the special multiplayer campaigns. There's something rotten in Kids Lab, and there's also the Cathay one that are sort of like these like fast zoomed in campaigns. And um, I was sort of thinking about that and about a comment that Mitch made the other day about trying to extend the early game. And so I thought about this like rule set where basically we try and make everything like zoomed in and more like small scale, I guess, um, and see if we can get that going. Um, so basically we're playing um, Boyars today. Um, I'm uh, revisiting my role as Miss Silly Boyar. And um, me, the idea is me and Logic are both gonna play as uh, as um, as Boyars instead of as our, uh, our legendary Lords. So looks like Logic's gonna play as Katarin and I'm gonna play as uh, Castalthan. But we're both gonna like immediately uh, get rid of our legendary lords, replace them with just generic boyars, and then we're gonna try to defend the empire, uh, defend Kislev, sorry, defend the motherland um, with just our with just our boyars with no legendary lords. Uh, and because they're boyars, they can't control, they can't call on the full might of Kislev, um, so they're only able to actually call up to ten units in their army. So no legendary lords. Only allowed to command one army, got to be led by a boyar, not a ice witch or anything, and you can only have a maximum of 10, un 10 units in your army, so you only have a half stack. Um, you can recruit heroes and all that sort of stuff, but you can only have, um, you can only attach an, um, units and heroes into your army up to 10 total units, including your lord and, and any heroes and stuff like that. So it should be pretty crazy. Um, I don't think Leg uh, I don't think Logic really plays campaign much at all, and I don't think he plays legendary. Oh, necessarily plays legendary either so um i think he has played legendary before but i don't know if he necessarily always plays legend uh plays legendary so um if your boyard dies is it game over um i don't know we haven't really discussed that no i mean it's not in the rules so no i guess no um but i mean maybe we could make it that, you, that that's an extra additional rule um but yeah so far it's just yeah no um yeah just only one army got to live by a boyar can only be a half stack and you can, yeah, you can only have up to 10 total units in your army. But you can have other heroes and stuff, but you can only join up to 10 in the army. But anyway, um, yeah. Should be, uh, should be pretty crazy. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if, uh, Logic's ready. Hey man, how's it going? Uh, I don't want to just talk over him because he might be talking in his stream. Uh, are you ready to? Uh, are you ready to chat in voice? Hey man, I uh, can't hear. Can you hear me? Sorry, I only just woke up. We should have got this organized earlier, but. <clears throat> um, all right, might have to do a little bit of a the settings. Uh, there we go. I've got you now. Can you hear me? I, yeah, yeah. Ah, I, awesome. Yeah, I had my uh, wrong speakers for my Discord. Cool. <laughs> yeah, welcome, man. How are you going? Yeah, good. How are you? I know it's really early in the morning for you, I'm sure. Yeah, it's like 4 a.m. here. I just like just woke up. Still trying to get the sleep out of my eyes. <laughs> yeah, was... That's brutal. <laughs> no, that's right. It's, uh, I suppose it's late for you. You've already done a full day's work, I guess, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just been working as per usual. Nice. Oh, well, that's all right. We've both got, you know, I'm, I'm still waking up. You're uh, probably, you know, going to be running out of energy, so we can, we can meet in the, in the middle somewhere. I can be hyped for the beginning, you can be hyped for the end, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'll, I'll get stronger as you kind of fade away, so it'll be fine. 
But I've got like 16 coffees in front of me, so hopefully, hopefully I can make it, you know? Oh, beautiful. Um, cool. So do you want to, obviously, you know way more about uh, campaign than I do. You've seen my legendary one campaign. So um, do you want to let people know, like, what's the rough plan for today? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Sorry. Yeah, I, I kind of already went through it on my stream, but I'll just run through it again quickly. Um, basically, uh, just because I know, I know that, that um, Logic, you know, doesn't have as much uh, um, campaign experience as me um, and um, doesn't, I didn't know that you, I thought, I knew you had played on Legendary, but I thought maybe you didn't always play on Legendary. You know, it's not like a nice standard thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, so just to make, you know, just to tailor it for your level of, you know, experience, I thought we will play on legendary, um, but also we'll have no legendary Lords and we'll only have a maximum of one army and we'll only have a maximum of half a stack. So just to make it, you know, just so you don't have as much okay. stuff. To, yeah. Just so, it's, so you don't have as much stuff to concentrate on, you know, so just going to simplify it down to that half stack. That's all you have to worry about. <laughs> um, now, nah, um, uh, uh, yeah, I just I thought I've been I've been thinking about those um, uh, multiplayer campaigns that Creative Assembly made for us um, for something wrong in Kislev and the Cathay mm -hmm. Dark, Darkness of Cathay one and how they're kind of like these zoomed in campaigns and um, and also in one of those uh, in the Ask Me Anything, Mitch was saying how they're trying to like in the in the Immortal Empires they're going to try to sort of see what they can do to try to extend that early and mid game that's you know which is the part that people kind of enjoy the most and stuff i guess anyway and so i was sort of thinking you know we could do a rule set where we kind of you know have that more smaller scale you know just um zoomed in kind of thing um so that was kind of the concept that i had and uh, yeah i was just waiting till i could trick somebody into trying it with me <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm excited. Like, it's gonna be a challenge. It's gonna be a challenge. Um, the one question that my guys have had is, how are we gonna deal with the chaos realms? Uh, we can't go there because we don't have any legendary lords. That's like that's yeah. so. So the storyline is that the legendary lords are off fighting chaos in hell, doing like crazy uh, heroic stuff, and the boyars, which is us, we're just like you know, and so they leave us the boyars to take care of everything at home, you know. <laughs> yeah so ready yeah so we can't go to chaos realms um so the only way we can potentially win is if we get a full domination victory and we just kill all the other factions somehow but um but the way i see it going is being like a a um defensive oh wait i've got battle difficulty on the roll so we're on legendary campaign battle difficulty very hard um, mm -hmm. i don't know if you got the right i had mine on the wrong are thing we, are we going on team one together or are we doing free fall together Oh shit! Wait up! I haven't even done this yet. Uh, now we want to be on the team one, team one together. How do I change that? Oh, do I just drag? Do I do that? Uh, do I? Uh... No. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Nice. All right, good cool. cool. Um. No, I haven't played. Ready. I haven't played many multiplayer campaigns, so I'm like, yeah. So uh, you... I played one in early access. That's all I've done. I did that one. I did a Kislev one to get Boris, and that is it. Oh, I did one recently, sorry, the one that you saw where I went into the Chaos Rounds. Ah, oh, nice. I think I've done two, so I've got... Oh, well, yeah, so the same. We've both done two, so there you go. Nice, rookies. <laughs> same Rookie experience. Um, yeah, full full uh, disclosure, I haven't done any testing or anything. Like, I have no idea if this is what how bad of a catastrophe this is going to be, so... Um, mm -hmm. Should be fun, though. Um, My most, most recent legendary campaign, I needed 20. I, need, I needed 20 stacks hard, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you always need twenty. So, you know, um, so but my plan is, my thing is that we, my my idea is that we have to like try to coordinate. You know, so we try to, we need to try to get near each other as soon as possible so that we can put our two half stacks together and you know make a full stack. Um, this whole organizing thing sounds exhausting. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, or so yeah, it's just like stay near. I think stay near your settlements is going to be an important one. You know. So that they yeah. can reinforce you. Um, could, could you hire a lord to do an ambush strat, or is there no extra lords, just one stack? No extra lords. So if you want an ambush strat, the other person has to be the guy that does the ambush <laughs> <laughs> strat. I love to be my bait. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's like you're in range to reinforce me, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy. sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, all right, so. Actually, what I was thinking maybe is, because I think you've got a better star position than me. So what I was thinking, maybe you just stay where you are and consolidate your thing over there and I'll migrate over to you. And then we can try and recapture, you know, just recapture a minor settlement to give to me. 
and then we can be neighbors and this, I'll just sort of abandon my star position. Maybe that way we okay. can, we might be able to survive a bit longer that way. Cause yeah, cause your star position is like a big capital. Mine's just a shitty little, like my, mine's what, you know, the, like the major, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. mine's little, like little three man. Little three man. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to fight my first battle manually. Um, I think. Do you have to straight away change out our lords? Oh yeah, shit. Rip. Shit. I fucked it up already. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you off with one if you like. I'll let you off with one. <laughs> no, that's right. We have to do We've got to do this legit. Sorry, I forgot that. But yes, right. that would have been the, pro the thing to do first. Um, all right, I'll have to exit to the main menu. Goddamn mercy, screwed up already. Um, uh, ten, 10 sack armies, single armies. I don't know if you can survive. Well, I mean, uh, here's the thing for you guys in chat, including Mercy. Is how long do you think we will survive? Yeah. That's the question. I, I want to see how many people we are, are going to survive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Can you can you set up a new game for me? I stuffed it up. No worries. I, I, I no up. worries. Um, yeah, so uh, first thing. So, okay, so first, whoever said that the first restart would be before the before turn 10 you were correct you it was, it was turn one first restart there you go <laughs> technically <laughs> although te technically we didn't lose we just yeah we're just restarting for technical that's reasons true, that's true we, we have a hundred percent win rate because we didn't lose well yeah maybe maybe that's no, just zero percent it's just zero percent uh, i am ready when you are i don't know how to um this game multiplayer campaign yeah Is it the same? Oh, yeah, there it is. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Okay, so campaign difficulty, legendary. Battle difficulty, very hard. Uh, can you change the campaign difficulty? <laughs> yes. Uh, legendary, very hard. I'm ready when you are. Oh, my campaign difficulty is not changing. Oh, neither is mine. There we go. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Better. Yep, perfecto. Okay, I think we are good again. All right, sorry about that, guys. Full start. Right. Oh, no. It's not gone well. Game hasn't even started. Have you, found, uh, <laughs> have you found the campaigns? Have you yeah, found the full which, which, which? Oh, I haven't really been playing it. I've just been playing one or two. Um, ah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I played, I did, I have played a fair few campaigns. All right, so you change our Lord out straight away. So we go in here, yep. change the Lord. Um, oh, if you got Stronghold, huh? that gives you plus five melee defense when you're in our own territory. Um, that's a pretty good one. A fleet oh, footed. Vanguard Cunning and Kossar Headman. Cunning, oh, Cunning's good, gives you poison, yeah? It makes you more tanky. Yeah. Oh, that's true, that's true. Um, I don't know, should I go for Stronghold? Though I get plus five melee defense for the army, but only in my own territory. I'm going to be in enemy territory in your territory. I, I think I hate it's... those things. So, like, when you get bonuses, it only gets, like, specific units, like Demons of Chaos or Norska or something, you know? Yeah, I might just go fleet footed. So, I got Strider and I got 15% extra speed. Good work. My rule. Uh, and I gotta, you gotta rename your boyar as well. So mine's Mercilli Boyar. All right, what's mine gonna be called then? I don't know. What's your, what's your Russian name? What's my Russian name? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'll let chat decide. Chat, you can decide what my Russian name can be. Uh, <laughs> bonjour, bonjour, everybody, bonjour. <laughs> logic, logic, logicus, logic, logica, logica. What's what's the what's the classic like end like logic of logic of yeah nice. That's pretty really good. Logica. Um, I think I can actually auto resolve my first battle. I don't actually need to fight it. So yeah, I suppose we should auto resolve anything we can. Yeah, I might just auto resolve my first one. Just save time. Sure, sure. I'm not going to be doing any serious fighting anyway, because I'm going to just migrate straight over to your territory. So. It's going to be Logica with a K, eh? Nice. Logica. That sounds good. Work until you die. Work until you die. That's the, that's the call out of 
um, mother kids left. You're right, you boys. Now that's how they uh, inspire the troops, right? Do work until you die. That's it. All right. Oh, I'm decisive to victory, so I might just take that. Nice. Easy. Boy is OP. Confirmed. Smashed him. Now, would you, do you, do you, do you, do you uh, prioritize devotion? Or would you prioritize money? Uh, well, uh, so this sort of comes onto our uh, thing. So devotion, basically. I would go for the devotion. Um, because, yeah, because basically I think what you want to do is get, um, your patriarch building so that you can build a um so you can recruit a patriarch to start healing uh, or you get actually two you get two patriarchs to start healing you have to replace two of your starting units because i think you've probably already got 10. um uh, i've got eight. Oh, have you okay cool well um yeah you can recruit a couple extra units then oh so that's interesting so we don't have the starting quest that gives us the free hero so normally, after that first battle, you would have gotten a free, um, which, a uh, free ice, what are they called? Frost Maiden? Frost Maiden, yeah. Yeah, okay. but you noticed that you didn't, and I didn't I get- I have no challenges. Yeah, I have no challenges. I didn't get my first, um, I didn't get my first a free, um, Ooh, that's it? interesting. Sure, um, either. if I, if either one of us wins the race, can I automatically just take you, do I automatically take you over? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it doesn't. I think it doesn't actually do anything. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure on that though. Oh, boo. So then I guess you get you get you get to have a full stack then. Yeah, that's true. Um, the rule right. state no ice switch no ice switches. That's right. No, there's no ice switches because they're generals. You can only have one general that's got to be your boyer. You can get frost maidens. Cool. So you can get frost maiden heroes though. That's okay. Okay, I'm down for that. Yeah, yeah, which reminds me, first technology, get Frost Maiden Heroes, and like number one priority. I'm gonna do okay. that. Do you know what I love? I love uh, the pirate's weapons. I, I think that's such a great upgrade. Well, I don't know. I feel like probably the end game for us is gonna be all heroes, no units. But so we're not gonna be able to. We're not gonna be able to get there straight away. Um, but I kind of feel like yeah, two Frost Maidens and seven Patriarchs is probably gonna be like the final, the final deal. Um, but yeah, so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm trying to unlock the f my first Frost Maiden by technology ASAP and I'm going to demolish one of my buildings so I can build the Patriarch building and I'm not going to choose you know, up the top how you've got the Motherland thing and you can spend 88 to get your you can spend 88 on everything yeah, but, you, but if you want to build the Patriarch building it costs um, a certain amount of Devotion. Devotion. Uh, 30, yeah. 30 devotion for the first level, 30 for the second. So you need 60 devotion. So I'm just going to go with no no blessing at the start to make sure I can get that get that blessing. Oh, I've done that as well. Let's see how we go from there. Oh, can we get trade with like the Empire and stuff to get some... Let's no. have a look. No, no. I can get trade with you. We don't have trade yet. Oh, do we? All right, let's do it. I, I, I'll agree if you offer trade. How you doing more, Peter? How's everybody doing? Oh, do I have to? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's one thing about the multiplayer. It doesn't oh, like show like the when the when the other player is trying to do diplomacy with you. It's sort of like a little tiny thing in the corner. Um, mm -hmm. It's not very. Uh, I know, like Obvious. yeah, like when you have a battle, it like shows up in the middle of the screen and stops everything. You know, I think they should do the same thing because because when you when you're trying to do diplomacy with me, does that pause your game basically? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it yeah, does. yeah. But it doesn't pause mine, so I could be happily just playing away for another ten minutes, and you'd be sitting there, you know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, well, That's I might not know that you're waiting for me, you know. Yeah. Make him pay. <laughs> it was like should have made him pay for the tra Make for the trade. <laughs> All right, I think I'm I think I'm done for turn one. All right, that's pretty uneventful. Pretty uneventful. Um, I've got some good trade agreements, which is quite good. Yeah, nice. So uh, are you just gonna you're just gonna recruit a couple of extra Cossars or something? Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah I don't know I don't think you'll be able to take that first town of Ghost Love or whatever it is without um without me. But I don't know. Yeah. So so then my deal is I'll come and help you take it if I get to have if I get to keep Ghost Love as my new capital. <laughs> you can have it. It's all yours. Awesome. Um. But yeah, I I think. Like we need to, 
I don't know. Jeez. I don't even know. I think, well, for the first run, because I think let's just get it out of the way now that this is probably not going to be the final run of this, because I think we're going to probably lose. I think you, um, I think you doubt me heavily here. <laughs> oh, no, it's not you. I just, I, like, I don't have any idea how this is going to go, like, you know. Um, I can create an outpost, apparently. Why is that? Oh, uh, maybe because of I'm my... Nah, I'm not going to. <laughs> I could probably upgrade a post. No, actually, no. We don't need to. We'll just wait. We can just let um, we can just let somebody else do it. it basically, gives you a free garrison if someone creates an outpost in your settlement. Um, I'm just gonna I've get over to a mixture of troops. I've got such a weird combination of troops. It's uh, interesting. Yeah, I was thinking I should have probably got rid of my um, like Kosovite dervishes. I don't know if they're gonna be much good. They're like, like Z tier melee infantry. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got some Kostar Spears. They're just like kind of chilling, you know? Yeah, I've got a couple of Kostar Spears. I was kind of thinking maybe I should replace my normal Kostars with Kostar Spears. Normally I don't go with them, but like, because they're not as cost efficient, I guess. But if I'm only going to yeah. have 10 guys, I guess I want the most elite I can get. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So um, we're, I can, uh, I've, I've demolished my recruitment building. So now I can build my, um, build my Orthodoxy Shrine. Where are you? You're there. Okay. I think I'll be over near you by turn six or seven. Okay. Um, Where do you want me to go? Do you want me to just attack this this place? If you Big, uh, slev. you can have a crack if you want. I I don't know. Maybe you can get some experience by by losing. Actually, that could be a good idea. Like attack it and then just intentionally lose, but you'll get some experience so you can like slowly level up your guy. Um, maybe. I don't know. That might be a bad idea. That might be a terrible idea. You could get wiped out. I don't know. Here's a question, though. Um, with your boyer, can we make them, uh, immortal? Or are we not allowed to make them immortal? Oh, yeah. oh that's, that's a good call. I don't know. I feel like there'd be more glory if we didn't make them immortal. But... That's what I, I was thinking. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be more personal. You know, you've got, you've got to look after him. You've got to look after him. Like, so, so we, yeah, so there are a few people asking that, like, if the um if the boy dies is that like game over or whatever and i said well it's not technically in the rules so i guess if he dies we just replace him with a new one but um mm. yeah i don't know it's i mean we could go either way um automatic automatics automatic uh, isn't immortal automatic in one three it will be they're bringing in uh bringing that in in immortal empires but in old school version of weapon three that we're playing right now it's not yet not yet automatic yeah um so i don't know what do you think I think I think there's an argument for both. On the one hand, there's like, um, you know, we could not make him immortal, but on the other hand, we could make it like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe they can't be immortal, but you can replace them with just another faceless boy. I will take over because yes. we're because we're not heroes. We're just you know we're not unimportant. Yeah, I, re I reckon. Uh, yeah, I reckon they they can't be immortal. They're just you know they they have been chosen. Yeah, they yeah. Guy, another one will be selected. Yeah, yeah, they're your cousin or whatever. Like, exactly. Bodjika. Bodjika will take over. And then, um, you know, throughout the stream, I'll uh, quickly put up pictures of my, my lineage. You know, maybe his <laughs> son takes over, I don't know. Exactly. All right. Um... Oh, yeah, once yeah, me to create boys, an episode. Uh, these boys are growing, and I'm not liking it. <laughs> are they recruiting? Well, you, uh, well, yeah. you, can, you can siege it, and that'll stop them recruiting. Yes. Oh, you're not in range, though, yeah. Not yet. I will be next turn, but I don't think it'd be enough. Hmm. Well, yeah, you can just keep sieging them, and every time they attack, you just retreat, and that'll stop them yeah. from being able to recruit anything. That's probably that a good idea. should hold off until you get here, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got a plan. If that, <laughs> go that far. If that doesn't work, then we'll have to try and lure them out <laughs> to, so, to, like, take them out before we, um, yeah. Right, this is, this is going to give you a screen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Valiant Defeat. Yeah, I would get butchered by this. Um, yeah, well, I was going to say, is you can always go into the battle and try and like do some damage but and then retreat. But uh, you know, with the towers, though, we're probably going to take more. Necessary. I mean, yeah, my you, Ice Guard Swords are taking quite a bit of damage. Can you just maintain the siege but not actually initiate the attack? Yeah, I could then circle. Yeah, yeah, do that. That way they can't build up. They'll have to attack on their turn. And, um, and if they don't attack me, they're just going to take uh, nutrition anyway, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's cool. And that'll, that'll stop them recruiting, at least. I think, yeah. 
Oh wow, well, I think my is my building ready yet? Let me see. Might have to do that. Right. I'm uh, I'm getting up there. I'm now two turns away from my my first man. Nice. Uh, they don't take us to attrition if they sell out during the end turn. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. But they, but they that still stops them recruiting if you keep doing yeah. it later. Think. Which is the most important thing I think because they're gonna come at us hard. <laughs> yeah. I don't even. I'm I'm not. I'm worried that even with the two stacks together, we aren't gonna be able to take them out. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I believe we're we are strong. But you we're not one. You believe in us? All right. Yeah. Towers and no magic. Yeah, it's not a good combination. And what's your feeling on towers? You like towers? Don't like towers? Um, I think they're they're fun and everything, but they're a bit too gamey. Uh, um, I've heard a few um a few um oh it's a your intern by the way when you're ready. Um, I've heard a few oh, um a few like solutions of how to fix them and stuff like that and. I sort of think if they went back to the old um, like system they had in like Rome 2 and Attila and stuff where you you can choose to build towers and barricades in certain spots before the battle, but you can't just constantly rebuild them during the battle. That would be a bit more realistic or maybe it would feel better. I don't know. No, I think I agree. I think also, or once you've built it, you can't rebuild it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, <laughs> everyone in my chat says towers are dumb. Towers are dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, they didn't attack me, and they are taking attrition. Beautiful. All right, we, maybe we've outsmarted the AI. Maybe we've, we've figured love, out the solution. This, I love AI. I love whatever, it. anything that works will then become our go-to strategy for the whole rest of the campaign. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, I think. Uh, um, how, um, so, how much are your guys thinking that we stand a chance? Um, I, I've actually got a, a um, I've actually got a, a poll going. So the. Oh, um, nice. So once, so the poll is um, one half stack each, no legendary lords. How long do you think Logic and I can survive? Uh, first option is one or both we dead and restart by turn 10. Um, oh my God. <laughs> option two is um, we'll not survive through the first rifts. Um, option, oh, okay. option three is uh, we'll survive one to two rift spawns before we die. And the fourth option was we're going to survive forever and then we're going to achieve a domination victory by wiping out all of the other legendary lords. So 20% of people think we'll die before turn 10. 20% think we won't last it past the first rift. And uh, 30, 29% think we'll make it one to two, rift, turn two rifts. And 30, 31% think that we'll achieve domination victory. But I think that they're just being nice. I don't think anyone actually thinks that. No, no I don't think so. I, I think uh, I think we can make it to the first rift. I think, and then it's going to get. Uh, well, it depends. I think the further we go, the less the less um, factions they're going to be. So it could be easier, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think if we survive our first major battle, <laughs> then um, it's going to be all it'll be all gravy from there. Right? But uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to go. We just need to be next to each other. That's all we need to be. That's right. If we're as long as we're united, we can't be defeated. Exactly. Um, <laughs> right. Oh, they attack me again. Oh, nice. We seem to have, we seem to have bugged out there. Oh, we've got um, you got contact back at Kislev. Mm. Oh, hello there. What's this for? Um, uh, a, how did that get there? Yeah. Um, he oh, that, if you've got, oh, low devotion. That's why. Yeah, if you have too much cast devotion, they come back. Um, fuck. This is awkward because he's also growing. I think. Um, is that, I'm not sure, I'm not super up on these mechanics, but I think that because he's waving his axe around like that, that means the next turn he's going to have more units. Um, okay. I definitely, we could probably take on this place, I think. Maybe, let's have a look. I'm just trying I to... Get a Pyrrhic, I get a Pyrrhic victory for this. Oh, right now? Yes. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe just do it then. I lose two Cossar Spears, two Armoured Cossars. Uh, it's up to you. Like, yeah, I don't know. Um, what do you reckon? I think I feel like wait one more turn. So I'll just try and take on this other guy by myself, or I should be. Did I mean, I don't know. You might have to command some of my units. We might have to get creative. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what he's got. But um, well, yeah, well, no, but you, well, yeah, no, you wait till next turn because you'll definitely better win it next turn. If I can't take this guy on, then I'll just run around until you come back and help me. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, we got this. He's not going to run away, is he? So, <clears throat> no, I don't think he'll, he'll just stand there. Or 
also, if he sieges me as well, we have troops in our in our garrison, so we should be okay. Yeah, if he sieges, that'd be that'd be a win for everyone. Oh, I've got my ice maidens unlocked now, so I'm going to start recruiting yeah, my right. first. I'm oh, sorry, frost maidens. So yes, yeah, so there's. Have right. you done the ones with control? The one that gives you extra control as well, or? Which what? Who? So on your research, did you go for the ones that give you plus one control? Oh, um, hmm, no. That's what I prioritized. I don't know if I should or shouldn't have done that. On my research. So, the, hmm. so two of them give you plus one control and two of them don't. Oh, bro, that's the wrong one. That's the Ice Witch General. You want the Frost Maiden Hero. Ah, uh, how, which one's that one? So the, first, the one in the first lot, Ice Sculpting. So it says unlocks Frost Maiden Heroes. Then the second one, um, that's Ice Court Indoctrination, that's the Ice Witch Lord, don't want that one. And then the third one is um, Ice is Frost Maiden Heroes again. So uh, unlock Ice Court Training for Frost Maiden Heroes, that's the one I want. Right, I'm with you now. Okay, so we're gonna be four, four turns behind on your Frost Maiden Hero, it sounds like. That's okay, my Frost Maiden Hero is coming four turns earlier, but it's still gonna be another five turns or something before mine comes even, yeah. so we're gonna be in no magic still for a while. Um, that's all right. We, we got this. We're fine. All right. I think we're ready. Okay. Let's see what this dude does. He doesn't look that scary. He does actually have the Lord of Horsemen. Hmm. He doesn't look that scary, but he's still he's got silver chevrons, bro. <laughs> on your God. the garrison or? On no, the... this uh, this this dude that spawned. Oh, okay. I can't see his. I can't see his. What he's got? I mean, it's just all question marks for me. That's got Marauder, Great Weapons, Marauder Horseman, Marauder Throwing Axes. Okay, I think if I put him right now, I'd be alright, because I've got 8 units, he's, I've got 10 units, he's got 4, or 5. But, um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like next turn. That's alright. But, um, so, yeah, so we end turn this turn, and then next turn you're going to auto-resolve that siege, is that the plan? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, sounds good. Yeah, we got this. But yeah, I think they, I definitely would like to see the towers reworked in, in I don't really mind how, but just, just in a, so that they're less gamey, so that they're, they're permanent or you can't rebuild them as often or, or something like that. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Um, let's see. Have we got this? Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. So now it's a Pyrrhic victory and I don't lose anything. Ah, perfect. Um, you you want this though, don't you? Uh, that's so right. That's I, you want? Yeah, but you can gift it to me later, so you can just keep it. Yeah, that's fine. You just like okay. it. Yeah, that's one good thing about this. You don't have to like sack it and then wait for me to come and take it or anything. You can just give it to right. me like in in diplomacy. So nice. yeah. so much nicer. The nice improvement, isn't it? Yeah. Oh man, yeah. I've got a chaos incursion as well, and he's gonna wreck. I think he's gonna wreck my city before I get my patriarchs. I've got two turns left on my Patriot building, and there's this guy's just spawned right next to my. Um... Oh, he's looking meaty as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna live through that one. Um, I can, um, I can possibly take out this guy though. Um, oh, he didn't recruit. Can it give you this place now? Can it give you this place now? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can if you want. Yeah, um, but you do you want to do you want to recruit or anything? Because I can't really recruit over there because I'm not there so maybe you want to recruit your replace some of your units now but while you're there and then do it to me next turn or something good shout good shout um sweet so I'll take a cost off for now okay, the, the healing's not good bro <laughs> the replenishment okay yeah it's poor it's poor <laughs> okay I'm ready when you are all right I'm gonna fight this guy cut them down see if yeah, he didn't uh, he didn't didn't recruit at all. Yeah, that's good. Good to know. Um, oh, it says decisive low, so I can just auto resolve again. Don't need to fight it. Easy. Nice, dude. Awesome. All right. What do I want to do here? Um, I might have to save up some more devotion because I'm about to lose all those devotion that I spent on building those buildings. Is going to go to the toilet when this guy takes me out. Um, that's all right. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Oh, I noticed I get a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, in the skill tree, there's a skill at the top called Heroic Resilience. Um, 
that gives them plus 14, plus 14 melee defense when they're um, below 50% health. I'm thinking that it's going to come down to the Boyar a fair bit in this in this campaign if we... So I'm going uh, to yes. take that one. The Boric Resilience is quite good. I love that on Boris because he has regen. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. All right, so... I've gone down the, I've gone down the blue line. Is that, is that what you've done? Or... Oh, I'm just taking that Heroic Resilience first. But then after that, yeah, maybe blue line or maybe combat line might be the best way to go. Hmm. Actually, you might be right, yeah. Because I'm put down the leader of renown just to make cheaper troops. Yeah, but I think lightning strike would be really important for us later on. So I think blue line mm -hmm. could be, yeah, maybe blue lines. Because that thing, you can you can argue for different things, but you know when you get to when you like get to like level eight or nine, and you and then you're in a situation you haven't got lightning strike and you wish you did, it's like yeah. Holy yes, man. All right. Um, I am retraining my um, Rust Maiden. Lovely, lovely stuff. Any recommendations on the training for that? Um, well, I think Frost is the better, better uh, school instead of Ice. But um, Ooh. I don't know. I, I, same. I quite, I quite like the like Hailstorm and stuff like that. Yeah, although the the top level spell that you get for Ice is not bad. The one that grows over time. Um, you know, the three stage one. I think that yeah, one's pretty, winter. yeah. If you get a, if you get a big enough blob to cast it on. So I don't know, maybe it's good to have like one of each or something. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not very, uh, I don't have any advanced, um, kind of theories about it really. Um, all right, cool. So what's our next uh, target? Should we try, try to take Igor off next? Oh, I'll tell you what I could do for you. I could build uh, a shrine for you here. Oh, oh that would be pretty awesome if you could. Yeah, I'll do that for you now. So I, I'll have very, very low devotion, but I've built one for you in this place. So when you get it, you should have it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, awesome. So that'd be two turns. Because I haven't got enough built to build both levels, but I can. if you build level one, I can build level two. Yes. Yeah, awesome. 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 Um, how's your um, home shrine going? Are you up to level two, level two with that now? Home shrine. You're in the aura. Uh, you can recruit patriarchs now, yeah? Or no? Yes, I can. Oh, that's a good shout. I should do that. Yeah. Um, all right, I've got Fleet Footed, which looks quite cool. Uh, Strongholder or Strong. I quite like Strong. Yeah, I think Strong and stuff like that could be pretty good because, you know, they're going to be getting a lot of combat. Let's do that then. First, we offer there we go. Patriarch! <laughs> yeah, they have some awesome and strange voice lines for this, man. I sure do. Alright, I think I'm done. At least the turns are quick. There's not much to worry about. There's stuff this that's, is true. It's this not is complex. True. My is a sure hey, Jesus. How you doing, guys? Oh, we got Profit raining. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Hey, you guys. Know. Welcome. No, that's alright. I don't know what's going on, but I'll say hello as well. Uh, a couple of guys from Twitch have uh, popped over and said hello, so... Oh, awesome. Just say, see how we're getting on. Yeah. Ah. Early days, uh, early days, yeah. Oh, shit, we got... Contact! <laughs> contact! What's What do you say, that okay. front? Contact front? Contact front. Oh, uh, I can come support you. Do you want me to come support you with this guy? Yeah, sure. Um, so you want uh, me to initiate? So you, okay, so you move first to get next to him. I mean, I could probably, I could probably beat him by myself, but this way we can share the XP and stuff. Yeah, I think you still get max XP, right? And then I get like half, half. or whatever. Yeah, you get half, yeah. Actually, that's all right, because that lets you uh, team up with your, your Kossar as well. I mean, your uh, Patriarch. Oh, actually, you can recruit two Patriarchs. You should get them both out now so you don't have to wait for the other one. That's a good shout. Mm. Uh, I've got an oh, no, adjudicator's kind of crap. Okay, I'll go for Fleet Food. Yeah, sounds good. All right, I will. Let me, let me chuck him in the army quickly. Um... I don't have any movement though. I got this guy. Oh, they do have Oh, they come out with full movement. Oh, okay. Awesome. No, so, one of them was from last turn. Ah, oh, true, true. This, this one is uh, now en route. Right, I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, let's do it. And he's raiding me right in front of you. This guy, he's got some cojones, man. He's got no respect, does he? Um, It doesn't say that you're going to reinforce, but I mean, surely you are, right? Really? Yeah, yeah, I should be. I should, I, I uh, uh, it's because I'm not at war with him, right? So if I, if I, I think if I declare war first, 
then it'll show me the reinforcement, but because I wasn't actually at war with them. Um, right, okay, I'm with you now, I'm with you now. I might just test that out, theory out. Okay. Why you didn't get for Prague right away? Oh, well, we can only, um, th if you don't know, we can only have a max of 10 units each, and we can't use our uh, legendary lords. So we're, we're doing quite a strange challenge, but it's really <laughs> awesome. How are you, yeah, um, can't, yeah, you can't make can't it? Reach him. All right, uh, don't worry, I got, I got this one. It's all on, it's on me. Um, Pyrrhic victory high. Okay, I'm gonna lose all my units if I auto resolve it. Fire, 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 fire. I don't know, I feel like maybe I'll do better in auto resolve on the show. Um, all okay. right. We can always auto it. We can always auto it. No. I think most of our units are not gonna survive. No, that's right. Well, let's do it. We've got to show, show off our elite skills now. It's just, it's, yes. We've, we've run and hide as much as we can. Now it's time. Oh, they've got a lot of range, actually. Yeah. Oh, you have a... Oh, I can't believe you said you were going to lose when you've got that big, beautiful bear of yours. Oh, no, we're not going to lose, but like everyone else except the bear will die. That's That was the auto-resolves prediction. Oh, so, really? So they're trying to do, like, slightly better than that. The bold prediction. <laughs> no, I think we've got, a, we've got, like, six ranged units. Well, six half-ranged units, so it's pretty good. Yeah. That's some decent cavalry as well. What the hell? We, we, we could put their cavalry with our cavalry. Get a bit of um, shoot and scoop. Sounds like you've taken, uh, you volunteered to be cavalry commander. All right, all right. All right I'll give I'll you the. Uh, all right, I'll give you the. Uh, you're the flanker. Yep. Try and see if I can get that cavalry away from your uh, your your gun line. All right, I might set up a bit over here so we can try and get a bit of a hill as we sweep around. It is as well that I've noticed about CA, especially in campaigns, they love just to throw like like weird terrain everywhere and potholes and places you can't run through. Like some of these maps are like so infuriating. Like I was like, oh, I'd love to set up on this mountain, but you can't because there's this weird precipice thing in the way. Yeah, fully. And there's some of the terrains like really awesome, and you'd love to interact with it, but you can't. Like um, somebody was pointing out there was a like a, a ravine with like a. Um, a rope bridge across it and like is that how cool would it be if you could click on the rope bridge and your uh, and your unit would like squeeze through like two guys at a time and just slowly like walk across the rope bridge you know or something like that um, yeah. you send peasants across to like beat them in and then you cut the bridge down you know <laughs> that'd be awesome or just like yeah well, when there's like settlements like little huts and stuff you know um mm -hmm. yeah like you should be able to kind of go in between but sometimes you can't you know they'll just be like um invisible barriers and stuff we're really cool like like a natural like tabletop you can go to like like the mill there on the left and you could take it for like cover and have your units around it and like you know like feel like really cool yeah yeah you gotta move your units like into it and maybe like set up on the yeah. floor on the top floors i uh, looks like get some lag um there's nothing we can really do about it is there sadly not is it only on my side i suppose you're you're, you're hosting so you wouldn't be able to see it would you Where's your mm. lagging too? I've, I've got lag, I've got lag. Ah, oh, that's both sides, yeah. Oh, well, I'm hopefully you guys winning. Thanks, man. I think we should be... I think I think you got this. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. So, uh, what are you... Are you going to, like, come around behind them? Or what are you... What's your plan? Uh, I don't have control of the cavalry. Oh, I... So, oh, right. Sorry. I clicked the thing. Oh, it's probably the lag, I guess. Oh, I didn't. All right, sorry. There we go. I didn't do it properly. Yeah, I'm, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna tree it and try and save as many uh, units as possible. Um, Attack from the oh. tree. Yeah, you got some scary, some scary range units there. Yeah, I'm just creeping around to get up on uphill so I can get that extra, uh, you know, 20, 30 percent damage for shooting down on them. How can you say we don't have this? Like, come on, come on, believe in us, believe in us. <laughs> Mr. Pink's on board. Love this challenge. It's going to be so hard. Oh yeah, it's going to be hell hard. It's going to oh. be uh, impossible, I'd say. But that's uh, that's oh, just. It's so, it's so hard. I'm excited. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's going to be a decent challenge. If we pull it off, like, no one's going to believe us. Yeah, that's right. But it's like uh, that's just that's that's the which, logic and I. This is the sort of challenge we need. Otherwise, the game's just too boring for us. You know. Just, exactly, exactly. <laughs> if it's not in completely impossible, then it's not fair. It's just not fair to the AI, you know? Exactly, like, why are you bothering? You know what I mean? That's yeah. it. <laughs> I 
Um, but yeah. Like AI like will not react until you do a certain amount of damage, and then it will go, okay, cool, now I should fight you. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I think, can, is it still, I think you can still um, just melee it at will as well, where it won't actually, like, I think if you just run the bear back and forth through them, they just won't actually fully activate until you start shooting them with arrows. That's how it used to be in uh, Warhammer 2, anyway. Oh, really? Yeah, like, they'll, they'll sort of react in a, in a small way, but they won't, like, fully, like, you know, they won't fully activate until you start actually shooting them. Oh, it looks like you got your ranged guys going there. Yeah, anyway. my boys, my boys have been... Alright, it's on then, I guess. My boys have been sneaky. Yeah, it looks like they're activating now. Once we can get mounted, um... Once we can get our, uh... You shoot and scoot here. Get a volley off and get out. I'd love to see that. Oh, really? Before they readjust? Yeah, so like with the uh, nice thing about skirmish cavalry is like I can shoot them and get away from their arrows before they can shoot me. Nice. Have you got the same range or what do you got? Yeah, 140. 140, 140. 140. Oh, nice. Yeah, with the high elves, I think their skirmish cavalry is just a little bit, a um, little bit shorter range. Oh, okay. For the so All when right. you actually get um, IE and you do a campaign, what's your first campaign going to be? Well, we can't actually play all. Well. So, okay, so the first campaigns are going to be, I believe that we're going to get access, but we're not going to actually show anything for the first bit. Um, I don't know if we're allowed to say like what dates we get the access and stuff, but um, but yeah, I believe that we're going to we're going to get access, but we're not going to be able to actually show anything for the first few days. Um, so yeah, so my first campaign will be private and no one will ever know what it is. <laughs> Ooh, sneaky, I like it. I like but, it. But my first campaign for... Um, my first campaign for um, public, um, we're not. Yeah, I don't think we're allowed to play. We're allowed to show all of the factions, so it's actually wow. going to be chosen from a limited, you know, limited group. But um, but yeah, at the moment I'm thinking uh, vampire counts because um, oh. they've got quite a lot of changes. They're one of my favorite factions, so really excited nice. to see how they play. They are oppressive in domination multiplayer. They are so good. Yeah, what's um yeah, this is this is, this is the like, ulterior motive for getting you uh getting you on for some co so I could listen to all the uh, all the news about multiplayer and stuff. Um Yeah, what's the what's the deal here? What's what's why are they so dominant? Because of magic or healing. Healing, 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 healing. Oh, I thought I heard they have... that, I thought they nerfed the healing. Is so is it is... now, yeah. Oh, okay. So it was, is... it was very good though. Uh, okay, right. So, oh, so you're oh, right because you're like me. You haven't got the early access. So you're still playing the yeah. old school. Wait up! I know. No, you have, you're you're like me, and we you can't even play vampires, can you? Um, so no, the no. but what the partners are playing? That's like old school vampires, is it? Uh, it's now changed. I think so. They now have. Um... I believe they now have all... I think it's been updated, I think, hasn't it? Uh, I'm not sure, yeah. I haven't really been following it too much. Um, you oh, doing... sorry. Your, your cavalry took way more damage than I thought they should have done there. Well, Bad. to be fair, they're your cavalry now, because whenever we have a battle, that's who your job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've dealt with them quite quickly, but, like, um, uh, he's getting dumpstered. The two what? units of um, archers that I had here are both um, off the field now, so if you want to cycle back around, and then we can just uh, all get them all together if you want. Cool. Let's get the bear in there, and let's get the cavalry. I'll get my cavalry around to chase them off. So one unit might get back there, so let's go chase that off. Okay, so that cavalry is now off. I'm gonna run away with the bear so he doesn't take too much damage. Alright. So you've got one unit of range left and then the, the boyer who is trying to hunt down your bear. Can you outrun? Yeah, you should be able to run him, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. I beat back the dervishes and they've now returned and now they're fighting. And now they're winning. <laughs> yeah, and your, your, and your guys have uh, routed or whatever, yeah. See, this is why I was saying we should get rid of those Zentio dervishes as soon as possible. Not great. Yeah, they are pretty garbage. 
They're pretty decent in multiplayer, though. Oh, are they? I mean, yeah, they're, they're like just pretty cheap, you know. Like peasant horsemen, that kind of thing. I guess they'd be good for like chasing stuff off the mouth of field and like just running over archers and stuff. But some archers are like, you know, like those orc archers are pretty kind of tough, aren't they? And like, uh, like dwarf uh, mm -hmm. quarrelers are probably, they're probably, the dwarf quarrelers would probably bash them, I reckon, in melee. Probably, yeah. Um, I could try and... Yeah, and oh, I should be able to. Pin them in place and, and breath them down. This should be army losses, right? Boyar cosplay? Uh, yeah, I was thinking about doing a Boyar cosplay, but I only just woke up and it was like, yeah, it's time to go, so I didn't have time to... Do you want 2v1 the, uh, the Lord, or how do you want to play this? Just shoot yeah. him? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, oh, actually, no, yeah, let's just shoot him. That's probably better, hey? Uh, we'll sh actually just shoot the, uh, shoot the cavalry for starters. Uh, actually, do you want to just... Give me over to the side a bit, otherwise you might take a bit of friendly fire in a second. Right, go! I'm going around the rock. Nice, perfect. There we go. Alright, that, uh, those that cavalry should uh, enjoy that. Alright, they're done. Pick out the archers. Alright, now it might be time for the bear to... Uh... Do the business. Oh, actually, I'll just run away for a bit longer. Route this uh, this archer unit. Make war. Oh, I'm about to try and shoot a volley into hit into this guy. No, that's right. Probably going to hit the bear more than the. Maybe if I get them really close, they won't miss as much. I don't know. We seem to be getting him down, all right. Oh, that's a sweet. That was a good hit. A veritable hit. I wonder if these archers... I can't believe he's only got 49 melee attack. Like, they've really done this big bear a disservice. Might stop shooting with the archers, because... Yeah, he's going down. Yeah, we got him. He's... GG's. Easy stuff. <laughs> Just the big, big breath attack. Uh, you never actually gave me anything apart from a plan. Just was to survive. Yeah, the plan is just a vibe. <laughs> Storm. <laughs> the plan is we see how this goes, and if it goes well, then excellent. If not, <laughs> we come back and we see what happens next. Exactly. Do you want to kill this guy or yeah? Okay. Uh, oh, you're gonna go second uh, battle. You. Uh, have I got enough movement to get him again? Probably, yeah. He, All right. I think he, I think he might lift that. Maybe, maybe. Hey, you might have a second swipe at that. If we get a second attack, it might be good because we won't get much experience because he's all, you know, destroyed. But um, but we get another chance to get a magic item. And I was thinking that, sure. yeah, magic items could be real game changers in this. If we can get a couple of good items on our boyars, they might turn into mm -hmm. melee, you know, powerhouses. Also, it just has some boyer and boyer action, which is uh, you know, a little bit of friendly fire going on there. <laughs> yeah, I think I shot the bear. Oh, you got the seed of rebirth. Nice. Oh, very nice. That's quite handy. Yeah, you got some healing. All right, we're uh, we, that was a good, a substantial upgrade. But now he didn't live through that, unfortunately. That's right. Damn. Uh, and I've got a skill point. So yeah, I think I think you're right. I think blue line is the way to go. So I'm gonna go reassuring presence to get try and get immunity to attrition. I think that'll be. So where do we want to go next? Do we want to go fight these guys in? Well, we are like fully surrounded. Do you want to go fight these guys in red? How do you want to do this? Um, we could if we go to Volksgrad up north, then we'll be closer for um. Trying to take, so I think our, I think our medium term goal should be to take Prague, but um, I don't think we're quite ready for that. I think maybe we need to get all our heroes recruited and you know all that kind of thing. Um, all that jazz, yeah. Yeah, I'm, so yeah, I'd say either Volksgrad or Igorov. I don't know which. Or, um, yeah. We could go Volksgrad then come down. 
Yeah, there's gonna be um there's gonna be Norskins up there as well. Um so um yeah. We might have to retake Volskrad again, but that could be okay. Experience right? Yeah. Alright. Um fuck the replenishment's pretty shit. Yeah, it is bad. It's bad. I'm gonna uh, try and recruit her for the intern and grab my second Patriot. Alright, sounds good. Mm. In one turn, um, the Gerslav is all yours. Should we... Should we sit here and recruit recruit for a while? What's your replenishment like? Yeah, you're looking pretty oh, yeah. grim as well. Um, I'm pretty grim. Do you want to like, sit here for two turns? Because I can do a little bit of global recruitment. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. Alright. I'll give that a shot. Or maybe I should just move into... Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Do global, global recruitment. Alright, so should I just get rid of the cost of our dervishes? I think they're not... The horse archers are good, but I don't know about the dervishes. Yeah, maybe go with the dervishes and get some... What can you get? I'm um, just archers, I think. Basic archers, that's, uh, that's my... That's about it. Yeah, maybe maybe just get some cost... I mean, cost are pretty decent. Yeah. They're fine. And where are you going to go next? You're going to get like uh, hooked axe blades. You're going to get some meta defense for your consoles, or do you want to get like the pirate's weapon? What are we thinking? Um, I'm going to go double frost maidens for starters. Okay. Um, so I've got my first one training already. I'm just working on unlocking a second one. Nice. Well, nice. Uh, here action because no. Nah. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know what's good for technology-wise, because, like I said, I think that Heroes, um, I think Heroes is the way to go. Casualty Replenishment, Cold Storage, 2%, that could be good. Although we're going to have heals, so it probably won't be as big of a deal. Um, uh, the plus 5% campaign movement rate in, um, in the first, like, train, first line. Um, oh yeah, Lens Crafters as well, Vision, 10% Vision, that could be useful. Um, but yeah, I do, pirate weapons is, I do like pirate weapons, because I normally just play kids, play with Kossars pretty much the whole time. So yeah, yeah. definitely, I'm definitely on board with that, uh, in general. But, um, but yeah, I think getting frost mains, getting some magic is going to be the real game changer for us. Yeah, I think so too. I just realized, we if we wanted to get real cheesy with it, because we've mm -hmm. got, with, uh, if we can build an um, extra shrine in Gerslov, then I can take over Gerslav, then I'll have, I'll actually have three capacity then if I can still keep my starting province. And then... Oh, you can get three of them, yeah, that'd yeah. be really good. And then I can gift Gerslav back to you, so then you can get a third one, and then you can gift it back to me again so that it can be my capital again. Oh, I can get a third one next turn, and then gift it to you. Uh, no, nah, next turn, it doesn't give you capacity on level one, you gotta give it to me so I can build the second level. Uh, oh, okay, sweet. I'm all down for it, though. I'm all down for it. Oh, actually, no, I don't have any devotion. I don't know where my devotion went. I thought I had, like, 50. I must have spent it on something. Shit. Um, hmm, have you got any more devotion? I've got 30. Okay, maybe you just keep it, then, because for now, I'm trying to start building the um, next level. Because 30, 30 is just enough, I think, to build it. Alright. Double survivalist patriarchs, Tempest Maidens, two more miscellaneous patriarchs, and the rest bear riders is basically unbeatable. Yeah, I mean, it sounds pretty good. With enough healing, yeah. It sounds pretty good. But I feel like just having eight, eight patriarchs is basically unbeatable as well, so. You lose devotion when fighting Kislev in any way. Yeah, but I thought it was only like four or five that you lost. I didn't think you'd lose like 30. I just lost like all my devotion in one shot. That's brutal. Oh. Um, you do. Um, um, I... Oh, it's not level two yet. Just realized my one problem. Uh, I'm not level two. I can do it. I have enough devotion, but I am money. I just don't have level two settlement. Oh, okay. Would well, you want to just... Yeah. Give it, yeah, I'll just, give, just give it to you anyway. Yeah, just give it to me anyway, and I'll just build it up when I get the chance or whatever. How do I gift that to you? Uh, going to diplomacy. Oh, you won't be able to actually because we can't. We're not touching each other. 
Um, shit. I just realized. Oh, you can try. Uh, but you go into diplomacy and then just, um... Uh, it's a little house thing on the right-hand side. Acceptment, yeah, no, I can't do it. Can't do it. Ah, okay, alright. We might have to go back to the other plan of, like, abandoning it or whatever. Uh, oh, actually, maybe we can just, um... Maybe we can take... And then I should be able to give it to you? Yeah, or maybe I'll just, I'll just take... I'll have to take... Probably have to be the one that initiates the siege so I can get it, yeah. Oh, I've got no movement. Why have I got no movement? Um, I lost a third of my movement for some reason. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Alright, I got two, patri pat two patriarchs, but they've got about they're about five turns walk away to get from getting over here. So <laughs> I don't know. They might they might take a while for them to catch up to us. Yeah, we need to try and get your patriarchs up to level three so they can get some heals. That's that's the mission. I don't know. I'm kind of. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm. I'm scared of this whole Vox grade mission. I'm kind of feeling like maybe we go to grow after all. We can do. We certainly can do. Because I feel like this Vox grade's a bit too. A bit too. Bit too oh, I just. There's just on the other side of Volksgrad is the Bearsonlings, the the Norskins. They kind of wander down here every now and again, and if like if they wander down to Prague, like we can hold that. But I don't know. I just feel like it could be dangerous if we fight them around Volksgrad. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I was saying if I get Igorov, if if I can take over Igorov or Portchakova, that can be my new homeland for now. Maybe if we can, if we can eventually get Prague and that, and that can be my new homeland, then we both have a capital with walls and stuff. Then we might, we should be fairly secure to hopefully go from there. But I just, I feel like I'm going to lose my capital soon, so I just need something to stop me from taking um, attrition for no capital. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do you want to go eager off then next? Yeah, maybe. Okay. I've used all my movement, but I can move next turn. Yeah, same, yeah. So I've got one turn and then I can recruit a uh, Frost Maiden. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah, I, sh should, I should be able to get mine too soon. If I could, if I have a settlement to recruit her from. Oh, oh, oh. it's like, oh, sorry, I can auto resolve it. Boom. Oh, lovely. Love Perfect. Love Perfect. Her. You have 11 units. Oh, do I? Oh, God, so I do. I do apologize. You are correct. I do have 11 units. Cheater! <laughs> yeah, I cheated. I'm sorry. You're right. Uh, I'll just travel check mine now. Yeah, make sure I don't have any. But yeah, I can't, we can't transfer units. I'll, I'd definitely swap like any of my units for any of your units. <laughs> like every, every single unit. Oh, actually, except for your Cossars. Every, uh, every other unit you've got is better than everything in my unit. Army. Except for my bear. Yes. Yeah, more respect than yours as well. <laughs> ah. Uh, right. Um, should right. we start heading towards um, Igorov? I guess so, yeah. I don't know. Are you, yeah, are you on board with the Igorov decision? I feel like it might be a bit. Yeah, I think it might be a bit better. Might be also, safer. we can defend uh, Gerslev as well. Yeah, good call, yeah. And then if they do come down after Kislev, at least we might have a chance of defending that with. Um, with you know walls and stuff. Do you want stalk or unbreakable? I want stalk. No, no, no. Yeah, definitely. Stalking. Oh, really? Not unbreakable. Interesting. Well, magic stalking with magic is pretty good. Just met. Now we can get magic, but we're only on frost maidens. We can't have ice switches. Ice switch generals. You know, we can have frost maiden heroes. We can't have ice switch generals. Yeah, because we've only got our boyars as generals. Of course. The big boy us. So yeah, so Dashes is saying that if we have mostly bear cav, they'll have more damage potential basically than the boyars, um, and possibly more health as well, more than the patriarchs, um, and possibly more health as well. So I feel like our probably our our early game plan is to try to get as many patriarchs as possible, and then yes. maybe late game we can try to replace them with bear cav or something. I don't know. Maybe. Let me recruit an ice. Uh, yeah, I think I want frost. Uh, Tempest magic, I think, right? 
Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think Tempest is good. Definitely Tempest is good. Ice is like, I don't know if it's good or not. So I'm, I'm, yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to go for one of each just so I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Best of both worlds, right? Mm, yeah. I think I'm going to go for cold storage first for my technology just to get that replenishment rate. I do want to get those yeah. pirate weapons, but uh, the pirate weapons is pretty good. It's very good. I really do like it. Especially if you've got lots of Cossars, it's really nice. Yeah, I might take it just for now because I'm probably going to get rid of the Cossars later, so I probably won't, you know, I'll only get the use out of it now anyway. Ah, I've also realized you might have to initiate against Igorov because otherwise I'll lose all my devotion. Right. Um, yeah, and I need to initiate anyway because I need to be the one that takes the city. Oh, dude, I've also got a uh, babushka, so I get ice court training minus two turns. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Argento's from Lustria. Nice. Uh, corn with 10 bloodthirsters. I don't think that's That'd an option fantastic. for us. <laughs> it'd still be fantastic, though. <laughs> sure. Do you know if... Um, I don't know. You maybe you you might have some like insider knowledge that you that you uh, you know obviously can't talk about. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't accidentally say the wrong thing or anything. But um, just with the stuff that's publicly uh, been shown already from the mm -hmm. battle from the battle build that the partners have been showing up until now, um, yep. have we seen? Like, have we confirmed that the mono gods have Chaos Warrior units now? Like the Slanesh Chosen, Slanesh Warriors of Chaos, the um, Nogal Warriors of Chaos, Nogal Chosen, you know, those units that we've seen for the um, Warriors of Chaos, they are also, the mono gods are also going to get them, or we don't know yet. As far as they haven't, they're not in the battle build yet. I haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> So I'm not sure, unless you've seen something, because I haven't. No, I was talking to the other guys, to the guys in chat the other day, and they said I hadn't seen anything yet, so yeah. But I, I, I imagine that that probably will be a thing. I don't actually know, but I imagine that probably will be a thing. I feel like, like Chosen, I think it's like pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like it must be because like, because Korn's got Korn warriors, right? They're marked, the mm -hmm. marked warriors. So why would Slanesh and Nogal and Leech not get their marked warriors? Like, it doesn't really make any sense, you know? So I assume I, that's also going to be like, for like Forsaken. I assume you'll get like marked Forsaken as well. Like, not just for Zinch and Nurgle, but I reckon you'll also get like Slanesh and Corn, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Makes sense. All right. What um, unit are you looking forward to? Like, what's your one unit coming forward that you like, right? I really want that. Unit? See, that's yeah. that's that's, that's, a, that's like a, such a multiplayer question, you know what I mean? Like, it's just it's not really like it's not really about the okay. units as much. I feel like in campaign, but um, yeah, I don't know. I can't even think of a, a unit that I'm particularly looking forward to. Um, what about one of the Chaos Lords? What's your favorite one so far that they've released? Ah, uh, Village should say, yeah, yeah. I I just love um, yeah. I just love that like horror aspect of um of Chaos in the Wyma background. And I feel like Village is the first lord that really, that really um, embodies that like proper horrific kind of madness of chaos kind of vibe, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. So I've got so she's a frost tempest. So this one's gonna be ice. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of each. My plan. No. Right. Uh, I can technically attack Igorov. Right now? No, you. No, you're in enforced much, right? Yeah, in force march, I can reach him. How close are you? Um, I'm, I'm in like a turn behind you almost. Uh, this is as far as I can get. Ah, okay. I will wait on the outside in... Ambush. I will ambush them. Ah! Do you see what I can see? Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Um... I might see this coming. That's okay. If if he attacks, oh no, he won't attack you probably because you're not that weak. But um, yeah, that's okay. Um, no, it's not really that great, is it? <laughs> yeah, if he, I've got ambush on, so if he charges towards you, I, it's because he sees my settlements really weak. That's why I think he's pushed this way. Yeah, yeah. We might have to both go in ambush and try and wait till he attacks Gersloff before we can make our push. Mm. Yeah. All right. I'll wait to. Yeah, wait until. But yeah, I think 
Yeah, I think I really mm -hmm. want. I really want to get Prague because um because I don't have a world settlement. You know, as a, I don't have a world capital. My other capital's like really far away and abandoned. So, so yeah, Prague. I've got my eyes on Prague. Um, and yeah, we have to wipe out these guys. Well, actually, another thing I was thinking is maybe we shouldn't wipe out. Um, maybe we shouldn't wipe out. Um, the Rob Vox got what are they called the Robsman clan because. Mm -hmm. Um, if we make friends with them, then we can use their armies as our allies, you know? Um, and true. since we've only got half stacks, they might be useful. Or we can just give all that shit to the Brotherhood of the Bear. The blue and white guys. It's, uh, 18, negative 18.6. So that's like, what? That's quite expensive to, uh... Peace out. Yeah. Yeah, no, we'll have to beat, we'll have to beat up a few more of their things first. Um, but yeah, I think if we take Igorov and like Volksgrad or something, they'd probably peace out and yeah, okay, but, yeah, and then we could just leave Fort Jakova, kind of theirs maybe. I don't know. Um, oh, you're Pock. That's uh, for you to answer. Oh, uh, your own turn. Um, gonna say, yeah. Um, yeah, just in turn when you're yeah, I, I did see some um, some testing. There was some stuff on YouTube with uh, some some of the um, guys were saying that uh, vampire counts healing is so great that it out heals the damage that corn can do against them. Um, <laughs> no, nice. That's why that, that, that was, it was really cool to see in like uh, like the pre patch like to see just how powerful the healing was. Obviously, it's been nerfed. It was really fun to see. Nice. Um, I so, do you go ice shard or do you go glacial blast? Oh, so one of them is good for blobs, the AOE one, um, which I feel like that's the one you actually get most use out of. But if you want to be like, if you want to be all technical and stuff, the, um, you know, the long range might be useful for some things. I think it's just a dealer's choice thing, really. Yeah. Uh, I haven't really, uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't scientifically decided which one's better or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, what are we? I'm a mad scientist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I can force march into range. Um, if you want to take the, if you want to take your they're, they're not here anymore, so we could do that. Yeah, the only thing with that is I'm going to be in force march. So if they come back with friends, but I don't know. I think that we're probably safe. <laughs> yeah, they might have gone to, to Fort Jakova, but I, I actually didn't see where they went. Probably should have paid attention to that. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, if you want to attack it, but don't um. Uh, the thing is, you're, you're going to lose your devotion, though. Yeah, so maybe we should just wait. Wow. How about we just... Oh, I've done it now. Sorry. Uh, you can backspace. Oh, that's not here. Pack them apart. Uh, I could just decline, I guess. Um, we'll just have siege for now because I think I'm not in range anyway. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, you can Arms. just retreat again. Yeah. Um. Oh, you may as well leave it under siege because that way it'll be it'll take attrition. Yeah. How about you siege it this turn, and then next turn. Um, and then next turn, just retreat and let me initiate. Yeah. Okay. Never Do you want, should I, lying. should I force march that I'm in reinforced range or should I just stay back here? No, I'll, I will force march just to, okay. um, just so that I'm, uh, next to me. yeah, just so that I can reinforce in case you get jumped. Advance for I don't think that they're going to jump us though. Once they've seen the power of the combined boyars in there, they're not exactly. going to mess with that. Once it's in the chat, else they are, uh, they'll back off. That's it. Better swords or better bows. I'm not going to get any ice guard anyway, so it's a bit of a. Right. My patriarchs are still trekking over from uh, from really far away, We're over there. Oh, actually, we could still do the thing because if I take this, then you can then gift me Gerslov. So then, I, if I can get thirty. Um, Devotion up. Oh, you've got, you've got, yeah. Oh, have you got 30 devotion up? We, if we did a Pyrrhic victory, ah, oh, I can't do that. We lose so much. Mm. Can't auto it. We could fight it. Are you attacking now or are they attacking you? Are you, are I'm, you attack, okay? I'm attacking them. I just see what they've got. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can just wait, just wait a turn if you want until and siege them down okay. a little bit. And then next turn I can attack. And then it'll be a bit Let's easier. Yeah, then you won't be on force march as well. Yeah, yeah. Might get a bit of a resolve too. Hello from Russia, uh, Mercy. Which... Oh, nice. Who says from Russia? Uh, yeah, I can't read his name because it's in Cyrillic, but hey, <laughs> welcome. Um, what were you going to say? I wish 
as someone said, I wish Village had a unique spell lineup. Normal Zinch is kind of meh for a legendary lord, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, I wish more characters. I don't know what you think, but I wish more characters had like a bit more of a mishmash of like you know, um, like um, definitely yeah. yeah. Maybe some have metal, some have with a mixture of like beasts or something like that. You know. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. I've got a really cool one. So. Uh, final resting place. I can either get 30 devotion or I can get an extra patriarch. Oh, well, I'd probably take the extra patriarch, but I don't know. After you, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. What did I? What did I get? Oh, I got tough. Oh, nice. That's nice. good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Is that that's the really new good. tough with the 25 armor, or is it the old tough with the shit version? It's, it's the it's the bad version. Uh, uh it's five armor, three melee defense. It's yeah, I hope good. I hope they upgrade that when they do a model empires because the new the new updated traits are so much better. It's really mm -hmm. uh, a bummer they rolled that back. Okay, so yeah, if you retreat now and then I'll initiate the siege and then um and then we'll yeah do it all over again. I siege, there we go. You're in. Nice, and then you can move up and go into the um. In camp stance, I think gives you actually a bit of melee defense. Uh, melee def yeah, melee efficient melee defense. If you want to go and camp. Oh, where'd you go? I don't you know what happened. You went invisible. I've just disappeared. Yeah, I've just gone invisible. Are you inside me? That's not good. Don't even know each other that well. Am I, am I there? I don't know if I'm there. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, no, you're not there. I think, cannot see me. <laughs> I think you just ceased to exist. I um... Am I in the siege with you? No. Cut them down. No, you're not there. Um. Uh, have you seen where I am? Have you seen where I am? I'm I'm by Kislev. They're not par. Oh, did you just teleport? Like. I've just teleported like fifty foot. <laughs> Shit. Okay. How, how have I done that? I don't know. Maybe we could try why, reload. Why am I? Why am I here? I don't know. Well, how? How does that work? Um, oh fuck, I just, I, because I just sieged them again, it just auto-saved. So now you're permanently over there. Fuck. Uh, oh, actually no, um, is that how the auto-saves work? Do they, no, maybe the auto-saves save at the start of the turn or something. In multiplayer, I'm not sure. We in, could, in legendary, on. it should only save at the end turn, I think, right? Okay, yeah, do you want to try reloading the, how do we do okay. that? Can we reload or do we have to exit and re probably uh, exit? We have, to ex we have to exit to menu. Yeah, yeah, okay. You uh, re-host and see if maybe we can go back to before you teleported. Oh. Such a bummer, man. <laughs> we, our plan was all about to take fruit, or whatever it's called. Bear fruit. Right. Uh, resume as host. This yeah, one. That sounds right. Load. Cool. cool. Yeah, we're ready. Invite you. Oh, that's interesting. I could do it with somebody else. So we could play and then somebody else could join in. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, nice. I wonder if we could get um, somebody else coming as Boris. That'd be cool. Oh, that would be cool. Um, somebody said we made it past oh. turn 10 because it was turn 12. So, boom. Lovely. Love it. <laughs> that was so strange. Like I've never seen that before. It's weird. Multiplayer is, no, I think multiplayer is always a bit janky because they just, you know, they don't put as much effort into, um, into it as they do into but the single campaign. The crazy, the crazy thing is, is that I stepped to the side of you. I didn't even step, like, into you. I just brushed you and then I teleported. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Maybe, I don't know, yeah, how do we avoid that? You have to, like, walk way, like, way around me or something? You, to... you might have, you might have to attack first and then I walk where you were. Yeah, yeah, cool. Alright, I'll attack first, then I'll, um... Well, if I'll it's... Yeah. 115. To 118. Okay, I'll send that off to, to the guys and see if they can do something about that because that was uh, that was something. <laughs> that was pretty wacky. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's a great strategy. If we ever need to get out, like, say, both of us are gonna die, I could just like walk into you, and one of us could just teleport away. <laughs> yeah, like save yourself, logic. I'll give you a boost into outer space. <laughs> cool. All right, we're back. All right. And yeah. we're back. All right, so you uh, retreat. Oh wait, um, oh this is the previous turn. Sorry, so we just yeah, end think... just in turn. Yeah, so we got a end turn now. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I feel like you've got way better colors than me. Like you've got the sweet blue hat and stuff. I've got this like this yellow exactly. thing going on. Not very good. I, 
I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. The one thing I really love about this game is the visuals, like uh, like the, the the chaos realms when you go there. Like it's so goddamn bloody awesome. Like it does I, look I cool. love it, man. Yeah, it does look really I don't, cool. I don't know. It's really important to me, but I don't know about you. But like that sort of thing, like the visual aspect is really important. Um, because for me, it's like it sucks me into like the like the the universe, I guess. Yeah, it. Uh, I don't know. It's sort of. Yeah, I think I'm not. I'm not much as much of a graphics file as some people. Like I don't run, um, you know, benchmarks and stuff. I'm actually playing on like low settings. I think at the moment or medium or something. Um, but oh, no. what? I, don't get, I just realized I now don't get my. Oh, you didn't get your event. I didn't get my patriarch. Oh. It was a different task. It's like in um, No Way Home, where like they forget everyone forgets who Peter Parker is at the end. Oh, sorry if anyone hasn't seen that yet. Oh, we've got close victory now. All right, but you have to retreat because we need to um, switch it over. Oh yeah, yeah. I won't have to teleport through you though. Hopefully. So if you attack, All right, then I'll but I'll uh, just maintain the siege. Until I, cool. I actually have to raid. If I raid, have I got to stay in raid to get this? I get like 2k for free if I raid, I think. Now you can do that after... Oh, actually no, you can't raid, because you got to do it over the end turn to get the raid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh maybe, yeah. yeah. Move or die. Am I close enough for you now? No, yeah, that's that should be that's fine, yeah. Um, Alright, good. When you're ready. Yeah, what's the auto resolve look like? Um, I, I, all I lose is one Cossa. Just auto, I'll just take the auto resolve, yeah. What, what you could do is you could put those Cossars together and then you'll lose less units, right? Yeah, good call. Alright, let me encircle again. Pack them apart. Uh, oh, actually, they don't... No, oh, no, nah, it's going to be... It's still going to be like a, a small unit that's going to die, I would guess. Destroy these fools. Yeah, same. Lose one. But that's fine. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, to... My movement's going to be gone. Anyway, so I may as well just sit here and recruit another unit, so it's fine. Let's oh. take the auto. Auto? Yeah. Yeah, we, that sounds easy. Settlement battles are kind of annoying with heaps of troops anyway, because you guys get all squeezed into the, you know, narrow yeah, streets. I also well. don't like how there's not that many land battles anymore. It's all city battles all the time. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about that, actually, because, like, I think that's one of the big things. I don't know, I think... I, and not, maybe not everyone agrees with me, but like, yeah, I feel like for me, that's one of the big things that they need to fix for Immortal Empires. Um, and they've said that they've said they're aware of it and they're looking at it in the land that AMA. I think Mitch said that they're, you know, they're aware of it and they're looking at it, but it's not going to be fixed in the Immortal Empires initially. So, yeah. So I think we can expect, you know, maybe next patch or something, they'll do something to make it so there's more land battles. But in the, um, in the initial initial one that we're getting in a couple weeks or whatever that's not yeah it's still gonna be the same all right i got yeah, my which is, it's kind of a shame but yeah where yeah. do you want me to go now so i've got lots of range of motion um do you want to take Porchakova, or do you want to get ready to take volksgrad Ooh. is there anything over in this direction let's have a look so they have they have a military presence so the military is in fort Chikova. Uh, right over there by the looks Oh, true. There's an army over there. Yeah, and there's um, an army vault guard as well. Okay. Well. Hmm, okay. So maybe move. Maybe do you want to move just close enough so that you can get to Fort Jakova next turn? So don't move too far. Yeah. That we plan to go. Yeah. And then if you, oh, I suppose you want to stay in oh, camp so you can get your replenishment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm quite damaged. Oh, I can't get my frost maiden. Maybe next turn I can get my frost maiden. One turn, I'll yeah, get cool. One two turns. Perfect vigor or Vanguard deployment? I assume perfect vigor. Yeah, I'd say perfect vigor probably be the go. Yeah, Vanguard deployment doesn't really matter too much because, like, if you're you know if you're attacking them, they're gonna be passive, so you can just walk wherever you want to go. You know. Like if you're only ten units, she's gonna be fighting a lot. Yeah, and it's not like she's gonna like go behind them and like suicide charge into their cap with their artillery yeah. or something. A great strat. Oh, nice! I took no devotion penalties. Excellent. Oh uh, yeah, I see. I didn't take much devotion penalty because I I still have twenty three. But yeah, weirdly, I just lost thirty before. I, I reckon maybe I spent it on something and I didn't remember. Or... 
don't know. Oh, okay. So I could give you... I could give you Gerslev now, and then you could recruit your Patriarch from there. Uh, no, I've already got my Patriarchs recruited there, walking over land. They're going to be one, two, three, four. They're going to be a heap of turns before they get here. We'll meet them probably back on Volkskrad after we've finished all this. Um, Do you want Gerslev anyway? Because mm -hmm. it's part of your region. Um, oh, I'm not too worried. I just want to get Prague, really. Like, this is just temporary stuff, I reckon, in my mind. I reckon... Okay. Okay. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, may maybe we'll do some fuckery with trading it back and forth and stuff. I've got to get 23 devotion, so I can't upgrade it to the next to tier two. Have you got 30 devotion? I do, but he's only level one right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I'd say just he's... maybe when you get the growth, just. Oh, you can't. Ah, right uh, yeah, you got no growth, though. Yeah, shit. Yeah, it's pretty crappy. Mm. Yeah. I was wondering if I, if I gave it to you, you might be able to give it some growth. Yeah, no, I can't really get... Well, I can, but, yeah. Okay, never mind. Mm. Let's, uh... We'll, we'll go for Fort Jakova. Yeah. Maybe we should take Fort Jakova. I don't know. Boyar of yeah, or at least raise it, I guess. Never or we're going to make it a sack city. Hmm. And then you can just like get your boyer up on, on that maybe, and then I can just defend Igorov from the waves of polar bears coming my way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, some levels on our boyars would be good. Yes, really, and and our patriarchs. Yeah, definitely. All right, in turn when you're ready. Ah, oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, I keep forgetting because like it's in my top left and I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, it doesn't it doesn't give you a notification like it doesn't give you like a noise or something that goes oh they've ent their turn you know yeah yeah that'd be yeah that's a really good thing i think they need to i mean it'd be it'd be good if they do keep investing in multiplayer a bit and like up you know the co-op and uh, upgrading all these little things also giving like a chat as well that you can talk to you know because then you can play just against randoms online which should be quite nice yeah yeah, like a light, like a voice chat. Yeah, or just a uh, even just a text chat. Oh right, is there no? Oh, okay, shit. Yeah, there's no text chat in this game. Yeah. Oh, I got twenty devotion. Oh, cool. So now I've got the devotion, Lovely. but uh, we still don't have the growth anyway. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I got my ice courts done. Oh, nice. I got mine done too. Ah, so I've got Mother Holland invocation cost negative fifty percent. Um, oh, and I got a student for research rate. Lovely. Oh, very good. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, maybe I should do that too. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe if you've got the fifty percent upkeep, maybe you should actually go for it. I don't know. I can't remember what the uh, advantages are now. Ah, uh, can't afford it. Ah, uh, okay, true. Because yeah, if we get um supporters, what do you get? Leadership, speed, diplomacy. Oh yeah, because the diplo so the diplomatic relations. So if we get it up to like plus fifty diplomatic relations with Gislev. That should make it quite easy for us to control our um, our allies, you know. Thinking. Mm -hmm. the right to rule. Oh yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. So if we got, um, we could use some money to do that. Oh, but you have to do a right. You have to do an invocation first, don't you, to activate this? Is that correct? Yeah. The inv well, the invocation is how you get the followers. Yeah. Um. So I can rec if I start recruiting here. I think that will bait him into attacking me a little bit, maybe. Do you reckon you can do, without going in and camp, just go into uh, ambush dance this turn, maybe? Yes. Oh, I also have healing. Nice. Excellent. One leveled up, the other one didn't. Okay. I've also got 50% ambush, which is quite nice. Nice. I accept only Can we be right in front of you? Um, just, just behind me would be uh, the best ideal spot. Like, so you're t like just touching me just behind me. Oh, I've got horses now. Shit. I don't know if we want horses. Horses kind of suck. Uh, I mean, I guess they're good if you use them. They're good if you use them correctly, I guess. No, I suppose they're good, actually, depending on what you want to do with them. Yeah. Actually, no, horses are good. Yeah. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it behind you. Oh, you don't have enough. Oh, because that dude's standing there. Uh, what about him just below me, kind of? So, yeah. So you like move now. I've, I've run out. I've run out of movement. Ah, okay. All right. Never mind. So we'll just creep uh, forward. 
uh, push creep forward a bit. And so I need, I'm gonna get my, um, I want to get my frost mate into the combat anyway. So. Yeah, once we get some magic happening, it'll be, it'll be all good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop some uh, winds of magic in here. Oh yeah, can you recruit your, um, your frost maiden from Gerslev so she's not too far away? One turn, yes. Uh, I should be able to, yeah. Um, upkeep for war sleds or upkeep for little Grom. Well, I reckon little Grom might be the go because you might want, you might want, you might want siege attacker at some point. Um. Cool. I mean, you might want war sleds as well, but I think you probably would definitely want, um... You probably definitely want cool. the little girl. So, I'm gonna get both of mine in, in less than two t uh, two turns less as well, which is quite nice. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Right, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go for cold storage. Yeah, I'm gonna go for cold storage too, because that's gonna unlock Troll Country Pathbinder in the second set. Mm -hmm. Right. Sweet. Uh, are you ready? Let's, yeah. let's see if we've got any any trades going on. Do you like the new trading system? You a fan? Not a fan? Uh, what? You want to trade? Do you like the new diplomacy oh. system? Oh yeah, yeah. No, the new diplomacy is cool. Um, I'm not sure how different it is from the old one. Um, I was trying to actually make a video about. Uh, about some diplomacy stuff, but um, having trouble finding the time to work on it around work and stuff. Yeah, but um, dude, I feel that. I feel that. But yeah, I was sort of saying how the diplomacy is completely different, completely changed from Wemer 2, um, because I think it's essentially using like the Cathay, um, sorry, the Three Kingdoms, um, diplomacy so. system. But yeah, I'm not sure whether it's like they've actually imported the system from Three Kingdoms and then changed it, or whether they've just like use some of the ideas but they've actually programmed it from scratch so you know uh, yeah i don't know but um but anyway i i sort of adjusted i think i've adjusted that idea that they haven't really completely changed it but they've like they've added a bunch of new stuff but um, i suspect that maybe the underlying mechanics maybe a lot of them are still the same um but uh, yeah i don't know i'm not sure like when you do deal negotiation <laughs> in the old system there was always like a price for any deal. Like if you had infinite money, like if you're playing Altharian and you've got the infinite money cheese going and you've got like billions of gold per turn or whatever, then, you know, you can do anything you want because you can always just pay more money until they accept it, you know? But within, but in the, in the Worm 3 system, it's not like that. Like there's only, a, you can only get a maximum, I think of plus 15 deal points from money, no matter how much money oh. you put on it. So it's totally different, like, yeah, like so, so that part of it's totally different. It's like instead of the deal negotiation, so basically in Warhammer Two, like the, it would calculate the deal, and the answer is an amount of money. Like that's how much that's how the that's how the deal calculation works. So it's like this amount of money is what you need to pay to get this deal. Sometimes it'd be zero. Right. Sometimes it'd be they pay you or whatever. Whereas in Warhammer Three, it's not it's not money. It's just like the deal evaluation. It's its own separate number. Does it work on threat level still? So if you want to, like, a, let's say I'm Catherine and I want to absorb Boris, um, if you have a military alliance, so they feel less threatened and less likely to be yeah. by you? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, how much that affects it, or it's, I think it's pretty complicated, but yes, like, the threatened the threatened factor is definitely still part of it. But yeah, I don't, like, exactly oh, okay. how it works, I uh, don't know. <laughs> it's, it's not very transparent. The but yeah, potentially like, you know, how many enemies they've got, how close they are, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, if their lord's dead or alive. Interesting. Alright, I think we're ready to enter. I'm, yeah. I'm ready when you want it. Yeah, again, I can't see your... Oh, have you entered him? There you go. Right. Uh, I wonder if this army is going to come forth or it's just going to stay defensive. Probably defensive, right? Sure. Um, oh, we've got the brother of the bear. Want to be defense? Uh, be a non-aggression pack with me? Can do that. Take that. We are. Yeah, I've got trade with them as well, which is quite good. Yeah, I was thinking if we can get into like alliances and stuff with them, maybe eventually it could be good. I was wondering actually if it might be worth going down the Kislev, uh, going down the Empire route, getting the plus twenty diplomatic relations with them. Start getting some Empire uh, 
If my allies is helping us out. Yeah, you know, trades helping us out, fight most of our battles for us, you know, that, that, that kind of shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, if we can do some sort of diplomacy, I think that'll be the way to go. Okay, I can probably nearly make it there. Can you actually get the attack on them? Have a look. This uh, yes! Uh, oh, they've run away. Their army's running away. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Alright, I'll, um... Yeah, I'll just get into reinforced range. Uh, can you just, um, stop, uh, what do you call it, don't attack for a second? Yeah, yeah. Because of the synchronous turns, you were going at the same time, and you managed to, like... Ah, uh, really? My bad. It, no, that's right. I was it's just I was moving to reinforce you, but because you were so quick, you you hit the you touch your ram touched the wall before I made it into reinforcement range and it froze me, so I didn't actually make it to you know join in. Oh, nice! She's joining. Yeah, yeah. So I just started getting just getting some experience on her. Uh, all right, cool. How about it? Um, you you have uh, eleven troops, my friend. Oh shit! Sorry. Yeah. Um. Thank you. <laughs> you put your uh, put your cosmos spheres together now. Yeah. Actually, I might just get rid of them because they're um. Because yeah, they're oh, eventually I'll let them die up because they're not not very replaceable. Cool. All right. Back to uh, back we to. We got ten. Peric victory. I lose one unit of cosmos if we do it. What do you want to do? Do you reckon we can win it if we uh? You haven't got any heals yet, have you? With your patriarchs, they're still like... I've zero. got two heals. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Yeah, fucking... You want to have a crack? Nice. All right, we'll fight. Um, I'll use the bathroom whilst I'm loading, but uh, I'll be back in a sec. All right, sounds good. I'll uh, use that opportunity to talk to my talk to my chat a little bit. Well, the chat's not been very... Really busy. Keep you all entertained. Yeah, yeah. Chat's not been too talkative today, but that's all right. Um, does that dude have a shiny bear t-shirt? Oh, the guys in game, the boyars, yeah, they do. They have shiny, shiny bear-shaped uh, cu uh, cu cuirasses. Cu what are they called? Cuirasses. Hey, you click monkey. Um, yeah, I think um, fighting the battles is probably going to be a bit of a bad idea in this one because we've got we've got a bit of lag. Because I'm in Australia and Logic's over in um, in Britain somewhere. Um, so yeah, it seems like the lag's pretty real, um, which is actually a bit of a bummer because. Um, I was, um, I was, yeah, like wanting to maybe get into some more multiplayer with, um, with Rubber Duck of War and Logic, but, um, yeah, the last time I did multiplayer with them, uh, I wasn't actually against one of those guys against somebody else, but, um, I got like super bad lag. Like it was just, it was ridiculous. Like I could basically not even fight the battle and, um, yeah, it really burned me because I've had such good times playing uh, multiplayer with those guys. Um, but just the last time, it was the first time it's happened to me and the lag was terrible. Like I, I couldn't even path my unit. I couldn't path my units and I couldn't, like I'd have to issue orders like five, six times just to get them to go anywhere. And it was just, yeah, it was a little really bad. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to like, I don't know. Like I don't really want to do any multiplayer if I'm going to get lag like that again, you know? I know, I, like I expect a little bit of lag, that's fine, but the lag that I had that time was, was uh, yeah, super bad. Um, but I don't know. I guess you can check it somehow, or maybe if we get somewhere in America, if we get somebody in America to host it, maybe it's just like UK is like too far away for me or something. I don't know. Mm. Mm. So we're going to try and take out the settlement. But yeah, I, I, I'm thinking this this battle is probably going to be super painful, going to be super laggy. Um, we'll see how we go, but yeah. Nobody ever expects the night shift guardsman. Are oh, you on night shift tonight? Are you dash dash? Currently watching a couple of club members getting it on right in front of the camera. Nice. That's going to take some concentration. I understand. Hmm. Yeah, I, I just watched Spider-Man No Way Home the other day. Um, I sh think I accidentally spoiled it a little bit before, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not like, I mean, I do like the Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff, but um, I'm not like a rabid fan of it. Like, I, I, I prefer like, probably prefer like, you know, like Lord of the Rings and stuff like that, you know. Um, but um, oh. 
the new show looks awesome, dude. Have you seen it? And I'd like to see all the uh, pre stuff for uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, um, no. I mean, I mean, yeah, I have, but um, I, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't have too much in it yet, but like, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Um, I don't know. I don't I I, want to do this, by the way. Yeah, actually, we should probably get into it. Um, so, should I move my reinforcements somewhere over the same side as you, or should I just come in from? Maybe it's better if I just come in from my own side. I don't know. Might not be too bad. Because um, I'll sat, like the front side here, and you could just hit the the back and maybe cap the main point. Yeah, because they'll they'll be um this will be undefended, I guess. Because um, you could come in here. You see the? Can you see the green marker I put on the map? I don't know if you can see that. Um. Oh yeah. You want me to go over there? If you came in there, or well, you could just then immediately take their uh, key building, if, if that makes sense, and I could attack from the other side. It's only a minus. Like uh, it's only a minor settlement, so taking the keys building doesn't do anything. Um, oh. It does like it's like in this one we've got a five. We've got a cap all five at the same time to be able to get the instant win. Um, it's only in the it's only in the capital buildings that if you capture the main one, it like you know, the main two ones you get victory. Trick tickets order. Um, yeah, so I could move over there, but um, I'll, it'll take me slightly longer to come onto the battlefield. So it's going to be 1 minute 53 if I come on right now, right here. Um, or it'll be 5 minutes if I come over, over there. Okay, yeah, still where you are, still where you are. Yeah, maybe it's yeah. just better, just to get... I'll, I'll, I'll stay on this side. I'll stay on the opposite then, shall I? Um, oh, yeah, so you can move wherever you want. Yeah, so if you want me to come on yeah, behind so you, can. you could come here, or you could go over there, or... Um, what do you think is best? Do you think it's best if I go... What do you think? Actually, maybe you should go to that spot where you were saying, because that way um, you're on the same level as them. Like, where you are, if you're coming in there, you're sort of shooting up. So they're going to get more uh, damage on you. <clears throat> uh, the only thing I'm here is you got these choke points, but... I don't know. You've got a lot of archers, so choke points aren't that bad for you, I guess. Not that, it's not that terrible. We've got some armor course arts as well, which, you know... They're made. The tanks of Kislev. Yeah, they're made to get shot. I was actually wondering about that. If it was like, if we were, if it was going to take longer to get the heroes, if it would be maybe better to just replace all our cossars with armored cossars. I don't know. The short range is a bit brutal, though. I also get a lot of reduction off the uh, ice guard swords as well, so it's quite nice um, having those. Yeah, I feel like the um, the Amazon Lord of the Rings show, like. The, it looks good in terms of like the uh, you know the costumes and the background and everything. It's like the Lord of the Rings world. It looks cool and everything. But I don't know. I haven't really seen enough of it to know whether it's going to be good. Like you know, like the thing, like like some of the stuff that made Lord of the Rings so good was like Aragorn. Like the, um, what's that actor's name? Mm -hmm. The guy that played Aragorn and you know some of the some I of the really actors. Like Sean Bean, one of Sean Bean's early characters. Oh yeah, that character was awesome. I love Boromir. He's like one of my favorite characters. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know if it was Sean Bean playing him or just the fact that I like. I just love that like tragic, dark hero kind of characters. You know. That's like, true. That's true. And, and you know, if it's Sean Bean, you know he's gonna die. So. He does die a lot, doesn't he? He dies almost every. He died in Game of Thrones. He dies in everything, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the running joke. So you can sneak down with your cavalry and cap the other point. Stop them from putting any nice. towers up there. Yeah, it's the, that's the that's the plan. And also you can come in hopefully a bit scot-free there, but we'll have to see. I feel like they've got a really shit set up with their defenses. They've scattered their crap everywhere, so they're not they like they're like not really defending everything instead of actually defending one thing. If you just like bum rush into there with all you guys, you'll probably just take their main point. No, yeah, no, I don't know why they decided to defend on the floor, but it's not that wise. Yeah. If you can take that point with your um, archers or whatever, you can, like, uh, knock out their tower. Ah, uh, then maybe they're gonna... Maybe they're not gonna stand for that. Boromir well, being the only character who actually used the shield made him my favourite member of the Fellowship. Um, yeah, that's a good call, um, but I think that it's like, I don't think it's as much of a no-brainer that Boromir used a shield because Boromir, because they're not in battle, right? They're not in a war, you know, like, because you don't carry a shield around on, you know, like you might carry a sword around in town or whatever because it's your sidearm, you know, in case you get challenged to a duel or some shit, um, just for self-defense, yeah. but you're not going to carry a shield around just like in normal daily life, you know what I mean? But Boromir is from Gondor, and Gondor is a city that's constantly at war, so 
you know kind of make it's i feel like it kind of is appropriate to his character you know like everyone else is in their travel clothes but borum is in like you know he didn't he didn't have like his full plate armor on but he's got like a chainmail i think he's got a chainmail um shirt and and a shield and everything he's ready for war and they fight like constantly right like all the time Ah, some dervishes, your favorite. Nice. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Gondor is like the, you know, they're always at war. Gondor is like the Kislev of, um, of Tolkien. They're always the ones that always get attacked first by Sauron and shit. They bleed so that the, uh, the rest of the world of man can sleep easy in their beds. Exactly. They're the true heroes. <laughs> that's it. Right, I might be able to go around and sneak some caps elsewhere. Yeah, watch out for those uh, hostiles there. Or maybe you could get a do a ch charge in them. Oh, you've got some. Uh, oh, you got wing lancers. They're a bit better than the uh, than my shitty infantry that I had. Shitty cavalry that I had. Got some winged boys. Yeah, I'm gonna get a. We're gonna get a horse sandwich going. I'm gonna get them from the side as well. And uh, quite nicely, my uh, snow leopard has just like butchered his uh, unbreakable lord. Oh yeah, nice. Oh yeah, he's smashing him. Good. Nice, we should be able to thump these nice and quickly with your lord. So the chaps, they are coming, but uh, they're coming at quite a slow speed, I think, which is quite good. Yeah, and you've been, and this, uh, now you've got the high ground now, so you can shoot down to them and stuff. Yes, they will learn the power of the high ground. Are you getting that cap? Oh yeah, slowly. Yeah, it's cap that's happening. It's painfully slow, but we're getting there. <laughs> Let's move through in here. Nice. Everything's been slaughtered, including their lord, so they are uh, taking some significant damage. We've got the top as well, which is awesome. Zygard. Hmm. I wonder if we can drop a um, frost spell on top of this Zygard. Bit jealous of your magic right now, I'm not gonna lie. That's it. I've got the power of uh, the power of ice. Power of lag to ice. Power of lag to ice. <laughs> it's frozen. <laughs> yeah. Alright, how can I get- I need to get on this point as quickly as possible. Yeah, we're doing pretty well here. I think we should have this in a matter of seconds. Yeah, I was just saying before, like, how um, I was really enjoying some of the multiplayer stuff we did last year, but, um... Um, but the, except for the last, the, it, like it was fine every other time. That's the last time I did multiplayer. I think on one of Robert, Robert Duck of War streams, um, yeah. I had like massive lag and I couldn't even basically play at all. And um, yeah, that really uh, that really soured the whole thing for me. Like I was having such a great time up until that point, and I was like, oh shit, this sucks. Um, like I've had a little, a little bit, like a little bit of lag before, but that was just like, yeah, it was so bad, yeah. And, um, and yeah, now that we're getting this lag now as well, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Because I was hoping, I was hoping to do a bit of multiplayer stuff with you maybe in the, like in the next couple of weeks or in the next week or so. But, um, or whenever, or whenever we get early access. Um, <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It might be shit. I hope not because, uh, that'd be really awesome. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know why it has such an effect. I feel like it shouldn't, you know what I mean? But it really does. The thing is, we played before and it was fine. Like when we were doing the training stuff, I don't think we really had hardly any lag. Uh, I can't really, I can't really remember now. But yeah, do you remember us having lag? I, yeah, I don't, know. I don't remember it personally, but no, I don't think we did. 
So, yeah, it was just this one random time I was playing against somebody else. I can't remember who it was. Maybe Samurai or someone. Um, and, uh, yeah, and I got, like... And then I felt bad as well because I was, like, like bitching about it afterwards and stuff. I'm still bitching about it now. Like, like what a bitch. Um, but, you know, I wasn't trying to be, like, a sore loser or anything, but it's sort of, like... I don't know. It does suck. It does suck. Yeah. Like it, um, it really can, like, I, I get why it would, like, ruin your experience because it's sort of, like, you know, you want it to be competitive, but if you've built, like, a surprise rush build and it's lagging, like, they can just appropriately build for that, you know, or, like, prepare for it, which kind of sucks. Well, it was also, like, just in terms of micro, like, um, I couldn't get the units to accept my orders. Like, I'm just clicking, like, move, 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 move. And I'm just, like, literally sitting there for, like, 20 seconds trying to get one unit to move, you know? And meanwhile, I know that on the other side of the battlefield, like, my units are getting fucked up because I haven't repositioned them, you know? And I'm still trying to get this move, unit to move, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was just, it was, like, pretty much, like, almost unplayable. Fuck, I've got my units all fucked up here. But anyway. I messed up. <laughs> Yeah, but um, but anyway, um, but uh, overall, like the, the most of the multiplayer stuff we did was really fun. But like, I was really enjoying like some of the battles that I had. Even if I lost, like, it's just fun, like having putting up a good fight, you know. But like, yeah, that was really bad because um, I didn't even get to fight properly, you know. I thought you played really well in the tournament, though. I must say, like for like four days experience, I thought you played really well. Well, I definitely had fun. That was the main thing for me. Like, I felt like, um, you yeah, know, I had, I had a lot of fun, so it's good. We won this or what? I feel like there's nothing left now. Oh, there goes. There's one unit as our guard. I think it is army losses, but it's... Uh, oh, yeah. Really they're, precious. Yeah, they're just doing their Kislev, unbreakable Kislev thing. Like, they're dead, but they don't know it yet. Yeah. It's like, we've lost, but we haven't accepted it yet. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe we can, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe we can try some. We, we, yeah, well, I'll definitely try, try some anyway, see how it goes. I'm gonna heal for a second, that's okay with you. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, did you read your email yet? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been yeah. so busy, man. Honestly, I've got this new job, and I've got another one on top of it. Uh, technically, I've got three jobs plus this. So like I've just been, and one of them is new, so I'm just so busy, man. But what, what did it say, or, so, or can we not talk about it? I don't think I don't know if we can talk about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was oh, just okay. like, there's people out there that were killed to have your early access. Logic doesn't even bother reading the email from Creative Assembly telling him he's got early access. Um, <laughs> <laughs> man, it's one of those things like uh, you and I, and I, it's, the, the annoying thing for me is that multiplayer has been the. Uh, it's really good for like campaign guys. Um, that you've got like nothing's been shown to you, you've got it which is really awesome but like for me like all the multiplayer has been shown now mm. like, not all of it but a lot of it so like a lot of my angle that would have been cool to have like it doesn't matter now because uh, everyone's like seen most of it yeah but, um, yeah it's i know i know you mean it's sort of it's sort of hard um the time the period when we've got access but we don't we aren't allowed to show anything is going to be rough i think because it's like and and possibly also because the partners are going to be are going to have access to show at that time so it's going to be like, mm -hmm. what? Are, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do during that period because it's like, am I supposed to just do like one or two streams? Am I supposed to do like, you know, one or three Realm of Chaos that everyone hates streams? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you may, I may as like always just take a week off, you know, and just do nothing because it's like no one's going to give a shit. I feel like that's oh, yeah, happened that's a few times before. Mm. That's what I've done like a little bit here. It's got sort of like taking a break and just enjoyed doing like stuff like this. And tomorrow I've got um, two of the best multiplayer guys coming together against each other in like a Warhammer 2 series, like best of seven, which is going to be kind of cool. Oh. Um, yeah, there's not much. Um, uh, what do you want to do? What's going on? Are we... Oh, oh right. Yeah. I, lost, I lost two supporters. God damn it. Yeah. Can we occupy this? Um... Yeah, like mm, mm, uh, so we could chase after this guy. I kind of want to chase after this dude, but um, kill it because if we can kill him before he gets back to the to the box grab, would be good. But um, I could raise it. Yeah, I would. So I was kind of thinking maybe we just sack it and just leave it, let him live in case we want to be friends with him again. Oh, I don't know. 
It's probably better to actually occupy it and then just give it to... Yeah. Can you occupy it and then just give it to the Brotherhood of the Bear? Or just, like, just keep it for now, basically. Just occupy it and keep it for now, yeah. That's fine. And then, yeah, later on, if we want, we can give it to a minus, minor faction. On your feet. Lovely stuff. So, that's quite nice. I just got a reduction on recruitment cost for infantry. Plus two recruitment ranks for infantry. And also 15% minus from leader of renown. That's really good. Okay. So 20% off, and they all get double chevrons. Excellent. Not mm. sad. Okay, nice. So you're gonna like re-recruit some of you guys so you can level them up? Of course. You know me. <laughs> So we got peak efficiency. No other, That's right. Huh. Um, yeah. So you're gonna get away. I, 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 I can't chase him. But could you chase him? No, I'm, I'm, I've got the maximum movement near I am right now. <clears throat> I could force march I like another tiny bit, but it's no point. Yeah. Yeah. Same because you could easily beat him. Yeah, I'd use my superior fighting skill. Exactly. Going on down here. Right. Uh, these guys are about to take out my uh, my old home province. Oh, they <laughs> lovely. Do you not prevent them? Uh, I mean, potentially they've got a full stack though, so they're nearly a full yeah. stack. I could force them to confederate, but I don't think they will. Well, yeah. Well, we can't confederate anyone anyway because we can't. We're not allowed to have more than ten units. Oh god, yeah. We've got to some so yeah we can't we know there's no easy way out we've got to somehow make peace with them using our superior diplomacy skills which is just basically just giving them vodka i guess actually as a yeah just uh give them uh just big stacks of vodka yeah probably building an army as well now well they haven't built a defensive wall yet which is quite nice so I think if we got there, if we took out Volksgrad, oh, do we want to kill them though? Do we want to kill them? I think uh, maybe we should just kill them. It's probably not worth screwing around with it. Yeah, I was I was gonna try and you know whatever, but we can just be we can just make the Brotherhood of the Bear can be our proxy. Um, we can always bring yeah. him. Yeah, we can always bring him back to life later if we want to anyway, like make a rebellion or whatever. Our foes cool. are on the run. Well, I should be able to get an eye switch now. Cross made him. Yes. Right, so let's recruit you. Before anyone says, you can't recruit ice switches, that's against the rules. <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad. Um, she starts at level 4, which is quite nice. Oh, uh, nice. Ba -ba -ba. I recommend not doing any early access until you're allowed to show things, otherwise you might slip up. Mm, nah, I think I don't. I think it's... Yeah, I th for me, I feel like it's the opposite way around, you know, because... Like the type of content I do, like I don't really tend to do just like, oh, here's a new lord, how cool is he? Check out his cool shit or whatever. Like I do try to do more like in depth stuff than that, you know? And in order to do in depth stuff, you need to know the fucking game. So I've got to like play it, I've got to play it a bit first to actually learn, you know, something that's worth sharing. I saw, I've I got a, uh... oh, sorry, go on. I know, I just, I don't know, I had this like, I don't know, maybe, I feel, I don't know, I feel like this is maybe a bad thing to say, but I had this little thought today that, like, for multiplayer guys, you know, obviously it takes a lot of skill and it takes a lot of time and effort of practicing and stuff to get good at the game, and, um, and, and then, at uh, multiplayer, and then separately from that, um, you know, there's a skill to do with casting and, and stuff like that, you know, and there's a bit of maybe work, you know, organizing, um, organizing um tournaments and stuff like that but in terms of creating content essentially you can just fight a multiplayer battle that takes about 15 minutes and then record a voiceover over it and then upload it and that's it that's yep. your, your content's that's done it. <laughs> yep yep that's it Honestly, that's it. Like, uh, some of it's really easy. And then, like, some of the more in-depth stuff where you have to do, like, like what Intesti and I do, where it's, like, in-depth, talking about a spell, where you have to go through all the maths, and you have to go through all the details is, like, a lot. Yeah. And you have to make sure you are 100% factually correct, otherwise... Yeah, you don't want to, like, you know. lose the trust. Exactly. But I've got this really cool video. I won't say too much, but I've got a really cool video that I'm going to throw out. It's like multiplayer and kind of single player related. 
it's going to be really cool. I can't wait to uh, to share it, but um, it's going to be exciting for for early access. Ah, that sounds awesome. Man. Uh, yeah, I know. I, my yeah, I think my, like one thing I've been trying to figure out for a while is like some sort of like kind of easy content that I can do that sort of um, is w still worthwhile and interesting to people, but not you know because like most of the stuff I do kind of takes a lot of time, and I just mm -hmm. and I just tend to like. No, it's really hard for me to actually do anything and I, I feel like the way the way that youtube works like it's better if you're putting out content regularly you know um so i feel like yeah if i could have like you know my normal kind of content that i want to do that takes a long time but it's like hopefully pretty good and things you know but then i could have something else that's a bit more of a light snack you know that i could kind of put out regularly that's not as hard but i don't know i still haven't figured out what that is yet what could be really cool is like if somebody did a campaign battle and they sent it into you like oh my god there was this sick battle and you could like and it was and, and, and it was like it and it was like a disaster and then i could save the battle for them that's an amazing <laughs> idea never thought of that before <laughs> sorry um uh, have you are you finished your turn yeah, yeah, just yeah, take time, man. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, I'm gonna finish my turn too. Um, uh, if someone sent you in like a really cool battle, be like, hey, I did this battle with like I had like no chance of winning, and have a look and see how awesome it was, and you could like cast it or like talk about it. That that could be really cool as well. Yeah, no, that's a really good idea. Um, I just I, well, I feel like it's a, it's a bit too similar to you know the disaster battle thing, but I don't know. It's hard to like like you don't want to like copy just straight out copy someone else. Um. Especially not Legend, because, you know, he's got like a million fans that will tell you that you suck if you do that, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but then at the same time, it's like, you know, he doesn't have like a, you know, copyright on just everything to do with the game. Um, he does cover everything, to be fair. <laughs> charge... Which I guess you've got to, you know? Yeah. Should I go for weapon strength 7% for infantry units or cavalry, charge bonus for cavalry units? I guess charge bonus for cavalry could be good cavalry, if, if if we end up doing game. the bear cav, yeah. Yeah, I think late game is going to be better, right? Yeah, all right, do it. Oh, and should I start going for another? Should I start recruiting another one in case we get... Well, we're probably not going to get capacity. I guess start like farming up like ice switches, uh, frost bands, try to get one with the perfect traits. Oh, you could do, yeah. I've got, I got one that was pretty good. What did she have? I can't what she had. But yeah, we could do that. We could just farm them until we get the right ones we want because mine right now is not that great. Where did that guy? Oh, that guy is. Plesk is under siege. Our our Kislevi brothers, they're under attack. Where? Uh, Plesk, the brotherhood of the bear, went to the north. Ah, let's go help them, shall we? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. No, it'd be cool if we could get... I love reinforcement battles and stuff like that, you know? Uh, did you know Legend copied his disaster battle from some other Paradox YouTuber? He said it himself like a year ago. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, I do know that, yeah. Oh, no! There's a dude to the left. Oh, on your left. Shit. We should... Yeah, we need some scouts, hey? I wonder if it's... I mean, at this point, we need the, we need the army power of getting those heroes in the army, but at some point, if we get some extra heroes... Maybe we could have some uh, some scouts could be good. I think that point from your uh, the guy watching. I think you know everybody gets ideas from everybody, and like there's no way you don't absorb things from other people. Like there's definitely like phrases and words and ideas that I've absorbed and adapted from like Turin and Anticity. Like it happens. I think um, um, yeah. No, I think it's totally fine to take ideas from to borrow ideas from other creators. Um, I think it's just, but just when you operate in the same space, you know, like I feel like, um, like legend, like I'm like, like I'm operating in exactly the same space as legend. Like I, I mean, we do, we do, we do, we're very different and everything. And but like, you know, pretty much cater to the exact same audience, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So I feel like, you know, you can't like cater to the same audience and do the exact same thing. If it was, if we had completely different audiences, then that would be fine. Um, quick question: Do I take a defensive alliance with the Brotherhood of the Bear? Yeah. Um. Yeah. For it. Um. I guess so. I feel like it would be pretty good roleplay wise. You know, they're our brothers, so that makes sense. I love that. Um. Should I force march over next to this guy to make him more? Oh yeah. I don't know. It's probably not going to really help us too much. I could force march a bit closer to him. 
Ooh, he would join Confederation for a lot of money. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it, but uh oh he actually can't pay me to fix the balance. He 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 has a 14.2, I would join you. Positive 4.2 or negative 4.2? Positive 14.2, he would join Confederation with me. Oh really? So he wants to he basically wants to pay you, but you can't. Do it, yeah. yeah, he can't. He can't afford it. So I think he's pretty boned. So we need to get over there. Oh, have you seen? Oh, I can see it now. I can see it. There is a full twenty stack of of oh, bestlings. Yes, that is a full twenty stack. All right. This is their. Oh, they do have an extra province, so they should survive. But we need to deal with this sharpish. If, yeah, if we can get over there while they're still sieging it, that would be really good for us because it'd be an easy battle. Um. Mm -hmm. All right, well, so what do you reckon we just leave this Roth Ropsman guy here just to run rampant to rush it? Um, hopefully he won't get too far. I can't get to him right now unless you can. No, I can't get to him, but I could force march closer to him. But um, instead, I'm going to force march closer to Plesk. Um, yeah. If we do get jumped here, hopefully I'll get a choke point battle at least. Uh, you're you're on the outside of my circle, so I should. Oh, actually, what might be good for us is to grab. Um, oh what shit! Else would be really good. Is grabbing the the blue line, the lightning strike would also get uh, reinforcement time and stuff, won't we? Yeah, um, good call. What's, what's the one that gets um, extra reinforcement distance? What's that one? I don't think there is one. Oh, I thought there was. So certain characters get reinforcement distance, but I don't don't think it's a skill up thing we can do. <clears throat> mm. All right. Yeah, I'm, I think yeah, lightning strike is good. I don't think we need to worry about um, quartermaster because we're not. We're only gonna have our half stack, so we're not gonna have problems with money. Um. Well, if we if we got lightning strike, that's three. We could then just grab one and get then get feared and renowned. So we could just get like logistic, like logician. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for fear and renown just to get that extra five percent campaign movement. Yeah, and the yeah the upkeep's not that good actually. Yeah. Yeah, logistician. I don't think we need logistician because we're gonna have heals. So yeah, I think maybe, like lightning strike alert. alert. Yeah, maybe alert. Yeah. But yeah, I think lightning strike's definitely three points in lightning strike would definitely be a good investment. I think. All right, I think I'm yeah. good. I'm done. Oh, they've got room for all, and they've got a, uh, they've got rebellion as well. Excellent. Oh, that could be good for us. The rebellion might beat up the Bersalings. Ah, uh, they won, and now they run away. Oh, the rebellion took over the settlement. Yes, and uh, they've done an import. They've done an impossible amount of movement, and now they're halfway towards the next, the next place. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch the And they're raiding. Jesus Christ, these guys are on a mission. Oh, shit. Can we take this other guy out, or is he too far away? He's probably just, just on the edge of our movement, right? Uh, I can't reach him, this uh, guy in raiding stance. Sort of feel like we should chase him down, because if we don't, he's just going to be a thorn in our side. Uh, I mean, I do want to take Plesk as well. I mean, can I, can I reach Plesk? Um, I can reach Plesk. Do you want to just do? Do you want to hurry this dude while I take Plesk? Maybe that would be the way to go. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'll keep on this dude's backside, shall I? Yeah. I figure if you just chase him as close as you can. Um. Is he? He's not going to beat you if he turns around, oh, is yeah. he? No. You've got. No. You've no, got. You got heals no, and stuff. No. Yeah. You're fine. Um. Never so yeah, if I take Plesk, I think uh, I've only got like. I'm I'm now red on devotion. I'm a bit confused. I was on orange and now I'm on red, even though I'm gaining devotion. Uh, I'm just, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with that. I seek experience. Absolute devotion. Should I? I don't know if I should come and help you or I should. No, I think I think. Oh, yeah, I'll actually. Oh, you got this. You got this. Get that, get that experience. Get that experience. Yeah, I'll send this. Um... Maybe what I can do is take Plesk, move outside of the settlement, so I'm not just trapped in there, and then lure them to come back and attack it, and then I retreat, and then I don't know. 
all could be quite good though. If if we manage to get Volskar out, we can I can give you the entire um I can give you the entire whatever this is called, the um, region, region uh, places. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, that could be cool. Alright, let's then take then, yeah. you, then you get Hack them apart. Close victory. Auto resolve. Oh, I can auto resolve with no losses. Uh, I might. Uh, it's going to be medium, though. Mm, I think we, mm, we probably should fight it. It's going to take ages, though, with this lag, but I think it might be better if we fight it. Yeah. Um, you can milk money from the Confederation using peace out diplo option, by the way. Shh, what do you mean? We're not at war with them. This He was just going to confederate like a friendly faction. They're at war with somebody else. Oh, are you talking about Robsman clan you could confederate? Hey, Mucklock. How you doing, man? Oh, hey, Mucklock. I remember that name from back in the... Back in my <clears> brief <throat> my brief multiplayer time. I think he played against you a few times. Oh, did he? I, sorry, I played against so many people. Thanks to, Thank you again to everybody who helped me in my training. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I forgot, I've forgotten everybody's names now. Everybody loved that so much. Like, the guys really enjoyed like, being involved in that. Oh, that's awesome. I do, uh, I feel like I needed I need another one, like but this time not sponsored by CA, just like a free another free training week for Mercy. More than welcome anytime, mate. Get some uh, get some good training in there. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about the um like the great thing about multiplayer is how you just get to use all the tools and stuff, you know, and like it's just mm -hmm. yeah, because in single player like a lot of the units just are useless, they're no good. Um, whereas in multiplayer, I mean, there's probably some stuff in multiplayer that's no good as well, but I feel like there's a lot more creativity you can do with builds in multiplayer, um, which is sort of weird because, well, I don't know, it's just different, I guess. There's definitely a lot of yeah. a lot more crazy shit you can do in campaign that you can't do in multiplayer, but, um, but yeah, I don't know, it's just different. Like, yeah, a lot of the units, basically, you get, you get the value out of them because they're balanced around multiplayer, I think. I think um, it's a bit of a hot take, but I think that uh, multiplayer also lives and dies by campaign. So, like, if campaign's not good, nobody plays multiplayer. So... Just in I general, for all games, you mean? Yeah. Or? Well, like, you know, for example, if you take Age of Empires, they're, they're, all, they're all pretty much multiplayer with a little bit of campaign. Mm. Um, but their campaigns brought people to, like, Age of Empires 2, and it's not, like, really successful. Um, so I feel like if they do an absolutely stunning job with campaign, which I think they definitely will, like it's going to bring so many people into multiplayer because it's so nice to have like a different angle. Yeah. So how do you want to attack this? What do you want to do? Um... Do you want me to cap it up and kind of capture a few sneaky points or what do you want me to do? Yeah, maybe, um, yeah, actually that's a good call. How about I'll go into stealth mode here. If you want to take your cav over the other side somewhere and um, lure um, lure them away so that I can take this side fairly easily. Um, yeah, so if you just want to go, go and like show yourself somewhere else far away. Um, yeah, that looks good. Um, and then uh, actually, is there another? No, yeah, there's not really much choice, is there? It's only like left or right. I, I, can bring my, I can bring my bear over here like this and then I can at least split them up, couldn't I? Well, yeah. Maybe that. Yeah, that could be good. Yeah, 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 that might be a good idea. Yeah, all right. I think that's fine. Let's do that. I'm ready. Do I press start battle? Oh, no, there we go. We're in. Sweet. We're away. Lovely. So I got some marauders here at the front. Yeah, I think think you need to... Um... Yeah, you can probably just not engage with your bear, really. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to keep him to the side, I think. you got that front that's entirely yours now. Yeah, they don't have any ranged anyway, so... It's pretty, uh... Pretty sorted. Just those, just those pesky towers, you know? Yeah, I wonder if you could dodge around... You could get your horse archers to dodge around that infantry unit and start capping some points that's what or I'm something. trying to do, yeah. They're trying to block the path, though. Maybe I can get in here. I want to use some breath attacks on the bear, but I don't think I can. No, 
Oh, nice cast. A few hits in. Oh, that did a bit of damage actually, didn't it? Yeah, it took like 30% of the health off. Oh, he, he's, yeah, he's missed though. Aha. Nice, I'm in. I'm in. Nice. You can like create chaos in the back line. No pun intended. <laughs> Indeed. I'm gonna try and get the poly bear onto the uh, key building as well, maybe. Uh, watch out, that uh, Lord is on your boyer. Oh uh, yeah, true. I don't know. I don't know how well they do in combat. I don't know if he'd butcher you or not. Yeah, I think it, maybe he would because I'm on horse and he's on foot. Maybe if I cycle charge him, it might be right. Oh, can I dodge this? No, he got me. Oh, 40% health. One spot on cast. Oh, damn. Who's got magic? Is it the Chaos? Oh, it's Chaos Caster. Yeah. He's, um, that's pretty good, uh, pretty good cast. I mean, they're, they're not too bad with, like, um, stuff like that. They're just not good with, um, with wind spells, yeah? Mm. Cavalry capture so slowly. Yeah. Trying to get some shots into this sorcerer. Oh, look at that. Look at that pun. <laughs> Kept him away from my ashes. He's uh playing a lost to you. Trying to get him to get my uh boy out of there, but we need to get a you know infantry on this point. Stop that tower from building. I might be able to get there in two seconds. Uh, I think my boy has flogging this camp, this uh, champion, pretty good actually. Oh, is he? You better cycle charge him. Yeah, he did a good. He chunked him pretty well before. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's janky with cavalry, hey? Like, you know, sometimes they do alright, sometimes they just keep missing and just sort of charging past all the time. Attack just ruined a unit of Marauder Horsemen. Lovely. How are we getting on? Alright, yeah, we're, uh, we're uh, getting there. Siri doing on you. Yeah, I hate that the one. Cast has been a nightmare. Yeah, he's, uh, he's done now, though, at least. So let's get walking to that. Tower should drop soon. There we go. Lovely stuff. That's two. I'm moving my way up to the third one now. They're building another tower on. Uh, I don't know what that is. There's one on the left they're building on now. Ah, done deal. Ah, oh, I've lost it. GG's. Nice. Uh, I don't think it matters too much what we do. I mean. You can run down stuff with your horse archers to get some more experience, but I don't think it's worth the effort. Um, what we're we talking about now. I got a bit, got a bit involved in that battle. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Though. Yeah, I love. Yeah, this sort of stuff's pretty fun. Like this is kind of how I hoped it would be. You know, just trying to, you know, just using our paltry forces, trying to figure out our <laughs> strategies and stuff. I think the main aim of the game is going to be like patience. Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Oh, you got the terrifying Mask of Eve. Give, give you some terror. 
Oh uh, no, this is not the this is the lo-fi one. Just his minus four leadership. Still, um, it's still something though. Oh, only negative four. No, that sucks. Oh, terrifying mask. Oh, sorry. Right, yeah, magic item. Right, I thought you were talking about the banner that I got. Yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, oh, some. Oh no. That's some terror. Yeah, that's good. I can do. I Although can do that, some terror. Um, that banner on top of terror. That'd be negative twenty leadership. That could be quite strong. Hmm. Another tool in our arsenal. Indeed. Oh, yeah. So, this is. Is uh, I have an Ungram Iron Fist in my domain. He's not at war with us yet, though, is he? Oh, he is. Not yet. Oh, uh, is he? He's de yeah, he's declared on me. Motherfucker. Are you? Apparently. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he has. What a motherfucker. He's not. He's not declared on me though. I don't yet. Fuck! I don't want to deal with that shit. Even thirteen no, is... doors with full of armor and stuff. Like, ah. Uh. He's got he's got four slayers to be fair, so we could just shoot those to death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Shit, I don't know. So maybe we need to abandon the um, the brother of the bear to their fate. Maybe. Mm, yeah, they are looking pretty pretty doomed. I'm not gonna lie. There is a twenty eight stack coming after them, so. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I, I don't even know if we can deal with that. No amount, no amount of micro is going to uh, deal with that, I don't think. Mm, Alright, um, so yeah, I've moved out of the settlement so that if we do, if I get counterattacked with the bear siblings, then I can flee. We might have to keep mm. that keep that option open. Hey, we should look at our agent actions too. So we've got assault unit on the frost maidens. Oh, assault unit, not assault units. So it's the shit one that only attacks like one unit. Uh, what's the um, what's the agent action on the um, on the patriarchs? Patri oh, on the patriarchs. Uh, they, um, into replenishment. You know, yeah, frost maiden does the assault units. I think. Yeah, I think I think she's got assault unit, the crap version, the one that the like priesty version that only does like one unit. Not the whole army. Yeah. So yeah, oh, right. okay. we haven't. Yeah, we haven't got the like empire captain that does the. Ah, oh, he's so good. <laughs> yeah, well, the black hawk big boss is pretty awesome. He's got the like enhanced. He's got like this extra skill called um, one orc army that makes him just absolutely wreck. Oh really? Uh, I love uh, the assassins, where you can literally just assassinate anybody. Early Thanar. No, with the uh, Skaven, sorry. Oh, like uh, you're killing the heroes on the battle map, on the campaign map. Uh huh. Yeah, nice. Mm hmm. All right, I think um, I think I can't really do anything else. I'm, I'm done. Mm hmm. I'm gonna get rebellion as well. That's probably my home territory. I'm guessing. Well, I think oh, there's a Zinch army here now as well. Oh man, it's getting desperate. It's only turned sixteen. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, well, you're, uh, it's not going well over there, is it? The game senses weakness. Um, yeah, it's a good end turn whenever you're ready. Oh, sorry, bro, yeah. So maybe... Marring in the landscape. Maybe... Yeah, go on. Maybe if we... Uh, where's Ungram going? I don't know, I didn't see. He might just go back in the mountains, to be fair. I was going to say, we could, if he's going to one of our settlements, we could... Um, Try to like both go in ambush stance next to the settlement and try and get in that way. Oh, he's on me. He's on me. He's in force march on me. Oh. We can maybe. Um, oh, it's a defensive siege against Zeech, but I think I might just let them have it because I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's really winnable. And even if it is, I just don't want to spend the time doing it. Like, the, event, the great orthodoxy. I mean, the um, my starting position is going down eventually anyway, so. I might just let it go. Oh, I might have a really strong strategy, by the way, that I've just thought about. All right, later um, on. So obviously, uh, I don't know if you can see outside of Igorov, you're going to be having Ungrim. Um, I could just trade Igorov. If you gave me Igorov, I could just give you like four Jarkova, and then he obviously can't attack Igorov. Does that make sense? Yeah. He's not at war with me, so I could just trade places with you. And then obviously he can't attack me unless he goes to war with me, but I can just keep trading places with you. So you can never get there. Uh he can't trade Igorov because Igorov's my capital now. 
Because oh. I, I just lost my capital. Uh, well, maybe I give you Fort Jakova. Oh, no, yeah, it's your capital, so you can't. Yeah. Oh, such a good idea. Damn. Okay, yeah. I wonder if he'll take more than one turn to take it. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say, even if he does take it, this could be a good opportunity to kill him. If you want to move right next to it, and then we use it as bait, he goes for it, and then I'll force march... Oh, actually, I don't know if I want to force march because he might get me. Like, I'll come back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you sit next to Figaroff, and then if he takes it, and then we can double team him and after he takes it because he'll be hopefully a bit damaged as well. I'll do, I'll do this. I'll go stand here. I'll do the Winds of Magic thing whilst I get rid of this unit that I just paid for. Okay. Move or face the flame. Do not carry. Um, I see. I want to come closer, but if I do, I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna be within his well, range. If you, if you wait there, and then you could force march on the next turn, and then I could just engage with him. I could just attack. Yeah, maybe. You then you're not at risk it. Will I be able to make it? Will I be able to make it there in Force March? I don't know if I'll be able to make it. I might have to come like a little bit closer. But then if he can... Oh, fuck, I don't know. Hopefully that's fine. Alright. Um, I'm a bit worried he's going to be able to reach me and he's going to take me out, but... Let's see how we go. Uh, only on Force March can he just about reach you. Yeah, that's so, a, maybe I, think, I think I'm safe. I think it's more likely to go through a city, right? I hope so, yeah. If the city should be pretty weak. It should seem like a pretty easy target. Um, and he doesn't realize that you're uh, you're my ally, my secret ally. <laughs> It'd be impossible to know. Uh, yeah. Um, I might go for con, con veil since I uh, get more growth and more capture replenishment. What do you reckon? Technology wise? Yeah, I've done cold storage now, so I might do the other one that gives growth and cash flow replenishment. Yeah, I think it has to be right. It has to be. Well, lessons, yeah. Um, well, I I took ice sculpting and cold storage so that I could get troll. Path. I'm I'm researching troll country pathfinder in the second set now. But yeah, I'm probably gonna cycle back for some. My song cycle back for some convalescence next as well. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. You're actually getting getting campaign motion movement is really important. Yeah, yeah, I think that's oh. going to be key for us. All right, yeah, I hope he goes for that settlement. If he goes for the settlement, I mean, it's going to be a bit rough that I lose it, but I hadn't I hadn't invested anything in it anyway, so not, not too bad. Back. Yeah, not the end of the world. We've got thirteen thousand gold already, so. Have you? Nice. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever fate brings. I'm out. Cool. I can get two more. I get a cast at another cast the next turn. Nice. Come on, Angram. Take the bait. Cool. The Brotherhood want me to join war against somebody. Ooh, I guess the best of things. Or no, they want to join war against Clan Grittus. Mm, I don't know. I think they don't. Maybe they don't do it. Yeah. You have to put me money, but I'm not, I don't need money that much. Yeah, and like if we need to... Oh, he sieged. Perfect. Don't lose the city. Okay, this is good. So let me just see if I can make it... Oh, actually... Mm. Can you... So I'll... So I can just make it... I can force march just in range of him. So if you... But you need to like go on the other side of him just in case he retreats. So like if you go like kind of you know on the far side of him like kind of in my like basically as close as you can get to in my settlement maybe just north of my settlement and then attack back yeah. and yeah and then attack back towards me you know but wait a second let me just move my guy out here uh, let me declare war on him as well yeah just let me get close closer. oh so quick question so caster winds of magic power reserve change plus 10 percent when increasing or do i go fighter 
Uh, me melee attack. So I got, I've got. I've got um, fighter. Battle. Yeah. I've got battle, which gives me armor and melee defense. So I can just go like straight out battle machine. Yeah, I pretty much like never go for winds of magic. They're all bad. All those winds of magic things are bad. Should I? Okay, I've got to get another, get a, delete another unit. Should I keep these horse archers? Do you think they're good? They're pretty good, aren't they? They're pretty useful. I, I think they're quite useful. Yeah, I'm going to drop. I'm going to drop a unit of cossars. I will suffer no waste. Winter. Oh, your uh, patriarch in green looks kind of cool. I am Kislev's daughter. What's that? Your patriarch looks like, like in green. It looks really cool. Oh, like his outfit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I've never seen that. <laughs> yeah, he looks pretty right. cool, I guess. Yeah. So I need to join war against them, right? Yep, sure. Uh, oh, who are they war against? Are they war against these guys? I wonder if they'll pay me to go to war with them. Good thinking. Get a bit of extra cash. No higher. <clears throat> High ball. Oh, they'll pay me a lot for that. Lovely. So. 180 maybe? Is that too much for you? 880, they'll do it. Nice. I'll take those pennies where you can, you know? Indeed, indeed. Cut them down. Yeah, right so away. He, yeah, I thought he would. That's alright. Oh, that. You, yes, you can help. You can help. I'm still in range? Yep. Beautiful. Valiant Valley... defeats. Shit. I think we're gonna have to get really? some. We're gonna have to get pretty cheesy in this one, I think. I've got slows on my ice guard swords. They've got so many slayers. It's ridiculous. It's a lot of slayers. We could whittle down these slayers. Do you know what it is? I reckon they've done the balance of power on the slayers alone. Because they've got two giant slayers as well, which now have healing. Oh, journey's end. Yeah, it, we, if we, we use the cavalry to like kite them around constantly so they never actually get to our ranged. But I don't know if that's going to work. Mm. Maybe we can, think we can win this, or is this because otherwise they might just attack you next turn? I don't know. Uh, I'm in force match, so if we don't win this, then oh well, sh damn yeah, you're out. Yeah. Um, who do you think you're the expert? Well, hey, Parkerilla. I think we got to fight it, otherwise I'm dead. So okay. Uh, oh, really? Okay. I think we have enough here that we should be able to take down lots of slayers right so yeah so oh shit we should have gone on foot because anti-large oh no the, no no the actual mobility for is probably better anyway um yeah we can then compromise the thunderers and corollas yeah i feel like what we need to do is like basically split their army like keep have our cavalry keep them more occupied and then have the archers like super far away so they don't even see them whatever and then like slowly let them peel onto the archers and that you know right? so like so like basically have all the archers hidden in a forest or something and then have like the two mounted boyars and the two horses kind of like roaming around trying to keep them occupied and then just like occasionally let some of their army peel off towards the archers and then shoot yeah. them down Something yeah, like and then with the ice guards, I should be able to slow them down as well. Yeah. Oh, actually, we have a look at the map. If there's a really good choke point or something somewhere, then we can maybe try and blob them and um, blow them up with magic. But I feel like they're gonna they're gonna chew through our dudes so fast that we're not gonna be able to hold them. You know, hold them there for the blob. Um... Hey, Michael. Just let you know, um, me and Mercy are doing a campaign together. So we're working together, and our challenge is um, essentially we can't use our legendary lord, so I can't use uh, Zarina, and then you can't use Carl Stalton. Uh, we only allow 10 units, legendary very hard. That's it. Um, That's the breakdown. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no really cool home. I mean, this is really good to uh, this is really good to kite on. This is really good. This would be actually like a half decent multiplayer map, actually. Um, <laughs> Trying to find out if there's anywhere. No, there's not really anything we can oh, use. Dude, as a... You have two minutes before you come in. Yeah, that's that's pretty normal. Um, oh, there's um, this uh, there's this little town. Okay, uh, no, nah, it's not really very good. But yeah, what? A, yeah, there's this little town on the left hand side. Um, I don't know if we can maybe do anything with that. Um, I wonder if I can just kite with the ice guard swords. 
Uh, the Slayers are faster than you, are they? Slayers are 44. Slayers are 44. Um, um, there's so many of them, I forgot. Yeah, uh, I might have to like go near you and just get out of the way of this. Maybe I don't know. Well, I get what? Like, mm. have I got to come here, or have I got to go over there and split them up? I feel like yeah, maybe go and hide in that forest you're in now. I'll move. Mm, actually, no, I don't want to move because then I'll keep looking. Oh. Is there a forest that touches the edge that I can come on and straight into and be hidden? Uh, no, not really. Apart from the one I'm in, not really. Maybe I, I should just... On the other side. No, maybe I should just come on inside that. I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, is it better that we come on together or... I think but I, I could definitely get my horses around the side here to keep these busy. Probably thunderers are gonna wreck my face. Um I could just stay away from the thunderers to be fair. The thunderers but, uh, cool. Yeah, we can we can drop ice magic on the thunderers as well. Um because they'll be stationary. Um, okay, let's see what we got. So Ice Guard Swords at the back. See I reckon if you get get your boy R with your cav. And have just everything else hidden. Oh, and the and the cat, and just have everything else hidden in the forest. Because if they start just bum rushing towards your, and then you can just kite them until I come on. Put these in the middle, and then what, put these in the trees. I mean, yeah. AI will just know where they are, right? You know what I mean? Maybe. Mm, I, don't know. I don't think so. I think if you set up like far over on the left hand side, and then you start like kiting around the left of their um, kiting around the left of like if you. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. You set up here, and then you kind of go over here, and then just start like just zig you know, kiting back and forth around here and whatever. Try and pull their army over that way. Um, we got four minutes. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I can do that for four minutes. Yeah, just don't let them shoot you, basically. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, you can possibly even get them to waste their ammo. Oh no, I don't think they'll shoot at you because you're small. Um, but yeah. Might be to get them to shoot my snow leopard. Maybe. I don't think so. I think you got to be very large before they'll shoot at you, but maybe. Um, Ready when you are. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Is everything uh, hidden in here? Yeah, everything's hidden. Cool. We're good. All right, what are they doing? Are they moving? Yeah, they're rotating towards me. Yeah. So yeah, maybe try and send something in there. Oh, they. You can. You can. Um, you can waste ammo with your cavalry. They were going to get the shit shot out of them, obviously, though, but, um... Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Um... Or as I could waste, but they're not really fast enough. They're, uh, wing... I mean... Nah, crossbows would still do a lot of damage, I think. Yeah, if there was, like, a big pillar or something, you could, like, run back yeah, and forth behind the pillar and use that to... Yeah, they're, they're just pushing for me in the trees. They know I'm there. Are they? I, th I thought they were just re... They were just turning. To face you, but maybe they are. I don't know. I need to engage them, maybe? I don't know. Are they coming towards... Are, are all you guys in the trees hidden? Or are any of them not hidden? No, they're all hidden. Yeah, they're all hidden. Uh, maybe they're coming towards me. Because I put my... Because my reinforcements are there. Well, it's three minutes from there. Oh, here we go. I move my re yeah, I move my reinforcements, and now they're going away from you again. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a mistake. I didn't even see those thunderers. They snuck up on me. Oh shit! That did so much damage. <laughs> okay. I know they're still coming. Uh, what yeah, is they're just cheating. I, I thought they might cheat. I thought they might. It is a very common AI strategy, <laughs> just to cheat and do what they want. Yeah. Like I'm coming in thirty seconds. Um. Fuck, this could be it. This could be the end of the campaign. Shit. No! No, we're... we're... Oh, hang on. These quarrelers and stuff are just available. I think I'm just going to go for them. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's cool. Yeah, get into them. Especially the... Especially the Thunderers. The quarrelers, um, we can deal with, but the Thunderers are... bad for our heroes. Oh, those cavalry are going to eat them. Um... Yeah, they're going to... They're gonna have to. Oh, those slayers are so close. Yeah, maybe I'll oh, try and cut the slayers with one of the one of your units or something. I don't know. Mm. 
Yeah, I think you're gonna have to push past with one of your units and start trying to keep the kite slayers. Um, how the fuck are we supposed to win this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Like the bear, the, my giant bear is gonna get fucked by their slayers. Um, like I'm slightly faster than the than the bear, but the charge. Busy, you could just keep shooting them, right? If I dance in front of you, you could just keep shooting the slayers, maybe. Maybe. Uh, this is tough, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Slayer's coming forward. Problem is, we have, they're unbreakable is the, is the biggest problem. Yeah, it's pretty good. Because we can't... Yeah, like how... I don't know. I'm kind of thinking this blob thing with the uh, gate, with the fence over here could be good. But I don't know, maybe not. Like shooting these guys with um Whatever I'm needed, I am the storm. We need a blob. Oh. We need a blob. Can we get them to maybe like uh uncheese themselves, maybe like force them to blob or something. Yeah, I was thinking of trying to like jam them up against the corner in the corner of the map somewhere and then just <clears throat> and then just casting spells on them, but I just don't know how long we're going to survive if we're going to take them long enough. Maybe. Maybe I should just... Yeah, just corner camp. Just keep it simple. I'm going to come over and see if I can like maybe kite them a little bit. Like, try and force them out of shape. Because they're like, all on you now, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, here we go. They're turning now. Problem is I've got Ungrim on me, and Ungrim is just going to wreck my face. Shout for your horse archers. Yeah, nice. I mean, you've got some nice peeling happening now. At least they're um, kind of spread out a bit. Oh, of course they missed my bloody thing. <laughs> Pretty decent damage going on here, and we're slowing them down, which is quite nice. I just keep Ungrim busy, which I just, I do not think I can. Um, oh, we got Ungrim. Fuck, I forgot about him. He's just by himself. Yeah. He's a, a situation. He's going to be a bloody wrecking ball on his own. I'm just shooting miners here. Ignore the miners. Shoot the goddamn slayers. The slayers are the problem. Yep. We need some more kiting around the back to try to split them. Um, I'm gonna get into these thunderers and quarrelers to see if I can shut them down. Yeah, maybe that'll like pull. Maybe that'll draw some of the um, some of the slayers as well. Oh shit! She's getting fucked up. Oh, the uh, AI is very good at dodging magic now. Oh no, the slayers are just coming around the side. Oh, that's not good. The AI is playing well. This is not good. No, uh, I don't. I, I think. I think. I think we're screwed here. I think. I really think we might be screwed. It's not. Um, it's not ideal. Um, where are your heroes? Um, your heroes can tank a little bit with their heals, right? Um, if I can get to your heroes before you've used all your heals, then we can maybe use that to make a blob. Like, we can get all our heroes stacked up, then we can get a blob going, and then we can start using magic to try to kill them. Maybe. Nah, they just want action on my ice guard. That's all they want. They just—they are just bombing for my ice guard. Uh, you know, just keep trying to pull them apart. I guess just running different directions, trying to spread it out. You know. As best as you can. I oh, fuck. They uh, lodged my. Yeah, this has gone poorly. It's not, it's, 
I mean, it's That's not what I I didn't do that game. Yeah, I'm lagging so much I can't play. Yeah, oh. so just keep fighting, keep fighting. Try and run your some of your heroes over towards me, maybe if you can. We'll try and uh, we'll try and make a last stand. Maybe yeah, maybe try to pull out some stuff. One ice guard shoot, God's sake. Problem is they're only chasing my ice guard. They're not chasing my heroes. Um. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, these are dwarf warriors. Oh, fuck. Annoying. Taking fight. Oh, I'm trying. I'm oh trying. God, fire game. Come on. I'm trying to save some of my uh, arrows for the slayers, and use my melee on the um, dwarf warriors. Alright, dwarf warriors are broken. That's good. What do we got over here? Slayers. I feel like we're st uh, like, like you're in a bad spot because you're overwhelmed over there. But I've like the, I managed to peel those only like three or four units one at a time, and I took them all out easy. So now I'm like because they came in one at a time because you were you know you were distracting them. But now we're maybe in a better spot. You know if I can bring all my shit over there quick enough. Yeah, as long as I can save my ice guard, it's absolutely fine. Prestige beyond compare. Get my boyar over there to try to. Mess with um. Sons of okay, I've sacrificed a lot here, but ah, oh, these slayers are everywhere, bro. Okay. Can you get those? Hmm, are those patriarchs gonna win against those slayers? I don't know. Oh, they, you can. Are oh, the patriarchs can blob them, and then you you can cast on top of the slayers with your magic? Yeah, that's the whole whole idea. Yeah, good call. I'm trying. I want to get in on that with my heroes, so we can have more heroes getting healed by the heals. Mm. And less damage because we spread it, you know, over a few different heroes. Yeah, this is a pretty epic battle. Um, I feel the lag's actually good because it's giving me extra time to think, you know, in a way. Yeah, the Patriarch's like the best for. Um, Run, run, ice guard, run. Okay, well, Ungram's down to half health, which is really important. Yeah, that's good. The one on you know, slayers. My patriarch may die here, it's hard to say. Another unit of slayers. How many slayers have we got left? One. Too many. <laughs> Two. Three. We've got three units of slayers left. I think we've got enough ammo to kill them. I mean, you just take out those three units of slayers. Oh, we need to, oh, we need to shoot down Ungram as well, because no one can really melee him. Oh, we can maybe cycle charge him with our boyars? Maybe? Yeah, if, if I, yeah, we should be able to do that. I've also got my uh, snow leopard as well. Might be able to shoot him over here. I've got, I've got him here now. I'm going to try and shoot him. Patriarch moving. Yes. Thunders are in the trees, which is not terrible. Daughter of ice. I think we got this. Slayers. Yeah, I think we do as well. Um... We fight for Ursa, making it so. Uh, yeah, this thunder is there. Yeah, all the slayers are like focused over here, which is a bit of a shame. Very well. Oh my god, my dude is getting wrecked. Oh man, he's after my uh, bear. <laughs> can you can you suicide your archers to stop him from getting my bear? Yeah. Uh, I'll try and get my boy out and like knock him over. Oh no, he's gonna chunk him. 
If, if he even hits him once, I bet it's going to just take a, like a massive chunk of him. Oh, that wasn't too bad. He did hit him, but it was only, wasn't too bad. The game is so good at... Uh, I'm going to put the... not so dodging magic. Dwarf Warriors are broken, it's not just the Slayers. So it is Iron Losses, so it's just Slayers and we win. Oh, beautiful. Um, well, he smashed my boy, ah. Oh, the dwarves are, the... Everything's rowdy except the Slayers. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Alright, I might try... Let's see if I can... Oh, this, actually, this should be the end of them, right? No? Have you got heals left? Uh, you... yes. Not many. I might try and get Go my... Go, Patriarch. Attack. I'll try and cycle charge Ungram with my bears. It's not really slayers that's over here. Nice my ice guard swords are actually anti infantry as well, so they are doing some relatively decent work. Alright, he didn't get my bear too bad. Alright, right, I think I'm getting Ungram down. You handling this, uh, those Slayers? Yeah, you got it. You got it under control. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> uh, how do we deal with Ungram is the question, because this guy's a monster. <laughs> no, it's alright. I'm handling him. I'm handling him. Let's go I sure had to get out of here or he's gonna die. I wonder if I can get a breath on him. I don't know if the bear's gonna turn around fast enough to get to land it. Lord of the motherland. Oh my god, there's four of them left. The Kill them all, please. Right, I'm bringing my boy over. We should be at a tag team. And where's my snow leopard? Did he kill the snow leopard? No, he didn't. Oh, snow leopard, he's hit. Hiya. Hiya. Good stuff. We managed to, uh... I still got some ammo. Do you want me to shoot him? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to shoot him, but I'm just trying to like distract him with these guys. Oh, yeah, got a chunk off him with the circle. Oh, he just swung back and hit my guy. That's right. I'm gonna try and get some heals from your. Uh... Uh, all my health is gone. Otherwise, my pay my pay shot was gonna die. Ah no, no, that's right. No problem. No problem. We got him. We got him. Get in, uh, get into range, and then we should be able to finish him off. I am the nice stuff. Yeah, just trying to get some slows on him. Do a little smidge of extra damage. He looks, he looks wrecked. Is that him done? He's just about. Oh, I'm so sad because he's so cool, but yeah, he's a pain in our ass. I might. Uh, I should be able to finish him up with a charge from the bear or from my silly boyar. Boom! Nice hit. Oh, He's popped something. Cool. That that should finish him off though. We got a bear breath attack coming. Lovely. Led by oh shit! That didn't work. Lag. The lag like. <laughs> yeah, that did that to me earlier as well. I just cast on my own unit, but yeah. Yes, fine. nice. Beautiful. Good work. Good work. Boyar bros took down we took down a legendary lord, the first legendary lord kill. Confirmed Ungram kill. That was um, I felt that was pretty cool. That felt like an epic achievement. That was that was pretty good. Uh, it was a decisive victory as well, which is quite surprising. Yeah, I was I was not sure we could do that. Was it was one of those Aragorn moments, you know? There, there may come a time when the will of men will fail, but it's not today. Not today. <laughs> they, those ice guard swords are actually really, really good. Did you manage to survive with all your units? Testing your own micro. Well, uh, you saw how shocking that was. <laughs> oh, I've got a spell shield. That's eh. It will do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something. It's cool. Do I Anyways. take the money? I've got a thousand there, or do I take... Well, it's only one percent. I think I'm just gonna take the money, I think. 
Yeah, I might take their. Mm, I might take their. Mm, I might take the leadership. Replenishment <clears throat> was like one percent, which is a bit poor. Yeah, we've got some replenishment problems. Ooh, and I got the. Oh no, I I got the trait, but that's okay, I guess. But my dude got um, defeat Ungram Iron Fist. Uh, uh, melee attack, spell, res spell resistance, and missile resistance. Yeah, I, I got it as well. We both got it. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, I thought that's only awesome. I thought only the initiator would get it, but no, it's cool Same. that we both got it. That's quite cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy about that. So I've got Draftmaster, and now I'm starting on Lightning Strike. Oh, yeah. By the time we kill a few more legendary lords, our humble boyars might become might become legendary champions. Oh. If, if, if we do, which I'd love to, if we do carry this on, I would like to... Um, I'd like to see if we can kill as many legendary lords in the game and like buff our boyars as high as possible. That would be pretty and cool. That would be a sick challenge. Imagine if we did actually win the game through dom <laughs> domination victory with our half stacks. That'd be pretty crazy. That would be pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. So I've got max uh, replenishment troops. If you have two with max replenishment, do they go on top of each other or not? No. So only the, only one of them will work, and it's not necessarily the highest one. It's whichever one you last leveled up or you last joined into the army. So basically, you, you pick one to pick, pick one to be your replenishment guy, and always do his levels last, and then he'll be the he'll be applying. You know, Does that makes sense. I've done both, so I, I made a mistake. But if one dies, then the other one's got replenishment, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, or if you accidentally move the other one, then at least you've got the replenishment on both of them, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. At least they're not. Uh... Oh, do we go scouting out of interest? Um, yeah, same same deal. You want scouting on at least one of them, and you want that one to be the one that you don't even live up last all the time, so that you make sure okay. that they. Hmm. Well, we made it out with all of our patriarchs and uh, and such. That's great. So yeah. I have some range of movement. Where do we want to go towards Foxgrads? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, Volksgrad. Yeah, they might yeah. they might take Plex Plesk back from me, but that's all right. Yeah, I think we go from Volksgrad and then maybe we try and save the brother of the bear if we can. I'm sort of feeling like we should give these settlements some of these settlements to the brother of the bear, but I don't know. Wait, we can wait right on that for a bit. Patriarch of Kisle. If they, get, if they get under siege, can we still do that? Which one? Oh, if it's under siege. No, I don't think you can trade them in there under siege. Yeah. Oh, actually, we don't touch them either, so we probably might we might not be able to do that. Oh, yeah, true. If we get Volk's grab, we do. So we might be able to do that and then give it to them, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, work it up from there. I've got two points of lightning strike. That's pretty good. Have you? Oh, nice. I've got one. What level are you? Ten. Oh, I'm nine. Okay. How do you feel about the uh, spell resistance against magic resistance from game uh, game two to game three? Do you like the change? Do you not like the change? Um, I don't care. I don't know. Yeah, like a lot of the, like that's pretty much my answer to most of that sort of stuff. Like I just I just don't know really like how it's going to play out because I think a lot of that stuff it's not like just the changes in the full picture like you got to think about all of the unit balancing changes as well and you got to think about like the you know magic items that you get that are going to impact it so i'm sort of talking about the magic change as well with the magic um you know magic uh wins a magic cap and stuff like that but yeah i don't know i feel like yeah i don't know what, what do you think about it do you have an opinion uh i think it hurts to wars really hard um but that, that's a, also, sorry. Yeah. Go on. Uh, well, that, that's say it. yeah. So you yeah, go. Yeah. You. <laughs> uh, I was just gonna say yeah. That's kind of like a, a good example of what I was talking about. Like you would think that it would hurt dwarves really badly because before they had magic resistance that was gonna um, reduce damage from magic attacks, right? Oh, you can turn when you're ready, by the way. Um, but um, but like and yeah, if if they left all of the damage values and all the units the same then yeah that would be bad versus like magic damage enemies and stuff like that but 
you know, they might like give them more armor, or they might give them more whatever, or they might lo they might have lowered the amount of damage that magic damage does by default, or something. You know what I mean? Like, so like, exactly. I mean, it, I mean, on the face of it, it does seem like yeah, that's a big nerf to to dwarf for dwarfs against magic using enemies. But you don't know what all the other balancing changes are going to be, so it's not like it's not in isolation. You know? Um, yeah, that's true. That's that, that was life. That was pretty much it. My opinion. That's my no, opinion. No, no, no. <laughs> no, that's very true. It's very true. Um, I just hope they do it like properly. You know, otherwise, like corn and and dwarfs and stuff get hit really hard. Um, well, that's the thing as well. Like, it's a living. It's an ongoing process. Like, the game's going to get DLC for like you know four years, say four or five years, whatever. Um, you know, there's going to be potentially like twenty patches in that time. Um, so you know, what I mean, like like what we're getting now is nothing like what we're going to have later on like like uh, you know like i think that's the thing that a lot of people like forget to like not you i just mean like in general like a lot of the conversations that go on like people are like oh this is happening that's the end of the world everything's going to be ruined now but it's like it's it doesn't really it's not really about like the change so much it's about the concept like if 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 ca want like dwarfs to be tanky and you know then they'll be tanky you know <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really matter what the change is. Like, they'll just fix them later on. For some reason, I can't move my hero. I don't know why. Yes, um, I have a question for you. Because I get this a lot, and I don't really know what it means. So I've got free speech is not right. I can pay treasury 500, or I can do nothing. But whenever I do it, it never seems to do anything. So is it just give 500 gold away or don't? It... So if you give the 500 gold away, I think you kill the dude or you get rid of him or whatever. Um, but if and if you don't, then the, yeah, I think you have a chance to get a second event that's even worse, and you have to pay like a thousand gold to get rid of it. So it's like you can pay the five hundred gold now, which is like the safe option, or you can go for the free option, which is to risk it, and you may have to pay more, or you may get away with it. You know, I think that's how it works. Okay, I'll, I'll just pay the five hundred then, because I always pay the five hundred. I think ah. You know, if there's a negative and a positive, and it seems like you could just get away with it, I, I don't know. I just, yeah, it's a trick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, glacial blast. Right. Right, one more turn, and I'll have three casters then. Nice. Oh, your capacity is only two though, right? You no, know, I've got three. Oh, so do I. Wow. Okay. Nice. Cool. All right, let's get some more casters then. Sure. Um, now I've got to wait. Uh, I've got to wait four turns for mine. Um, martial encouragement or ranger? Uh, I guess I want melee attack, 5%. Yeah, melee. Nice. This might be a straight upgrade, this new, uh, this new Ross Maiden. Nice. Are oh, you just going to keep paying for them, are you? And get what you want. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to keep farming them as long as I've got money. I'm up to, my, my money's still increasing. Um, nice. How close do you want to... We could probably get a bit closer than that, can't we? Or... Oh, we can get replenishment, yeah. Yeah. Also, I can't reach him just yet, so I thought... Uh, let me grab a little bit of replenishment. Because uh, I'm quite bullied. I'm quite beaten up for that last one. <laughs> yeah, you took a bit of a flogging. Um, I'm, ooh, I'm just just out of range right now, so I'm going to move forward enough that I can get the actual... The actual assault. Yeah, I'm going to lose some repl um, replenishment, but... um. But, um, I should still be able to do that. Okay, they have a massive military presence either there or in Prague. Oh no, it has to be there. So yeah, I can see it there. They've got an army. Yeah. They've got an 11 stack. Uh, we could do a force march bait. What do you reckon? Um, I, I feel like we could almost just roll in there and fuck them up now. Because we've got our heroes and everything. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, like, I don't know if I want to put any more hero, more heroes in this army, though. Those archers were pretty good in that battle. Like, if we hadn't have had that, if, <laughs> if we'd replaced all those archers with heroes, I don't know if the, we would have, yeah, I don't know if we would have taken yeah. those slayers out. Um, so, yeah, we might need to have a bit of a toolbox. I, I might get rid of these wing lancers. They're quite expensive and they're not very good. Oh, uh, really? But uh, you're not, you're not short of money, are you? No, no. Because I just feel like having some cav. I don't know. It's up to you. Oh, yeah, it was always useful. Oh, yeah, it's always oh, useful. Oh, actually, man, actually, because you're you're um, all your heroes are gonna be on bears, so you're gonna have hero cav. 
So yeah, you could probably replace them. Yeah, that's a good call. I'll probably get rid of mine as well. Eventually. Oh, I don't know. Mine, not, mine are archers though, so they're kind of cool. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. Um. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think I would get, probably if I was you, I would get rid of the wing glances eventually. But I don't know. Maybe we'll keep them for now. I don't know. Right, let's see. We've got any trade agreements. All cold is uh, no, I doesn't look like it. Uh, it looks like the Brotherhood is starting to do better, which is good. My natural domain. Cross kiss is good for slow, yeah. Right. I'm going to enter and I'm going to quickly pop to the bathroom. I've no. so much coffee, man. So I'll be right back. No worries. Um, yeah, sorry guys, I've been reading all the chat. Um, hey, Nixla. Uh, the uh, campaign's going well. The petty and power hungry noble role playing going. I wasn't really thinking of them as petty and power hungry. I was thinking of them as like the the loyal the loyal boyar that's just been left behind. You know, like you know, like Castelton's always like preaching about the glory of Kislev and the true the true uh, you know blessings of Urson and all this kind of stuff. And he's like you know rallied every rallied all the people of Kislev behind him into a grand army, and he's gone off into into the realms of chaos to fight against you know corn and, and nakari and all that and um and he just left uh he left you know good old masili boya to look after the home uh look after the home turf while he's away and so uh so you know the poor old boya has got to look after the household and now they're getting invaded by uh angry dwarf slayers and you know the uh ravenous hordes of basaling norskins from the north and it's up to him to uh it's up to him to try to hold everything together you know and then uh, you know, his cousin, his cousin Logica, who's uh, who's uh, Katarin's main boyar. He's like, you know, they're like writing letters back and forth, and he's like, yeah, I've got the same problem. My legendary lord's pissed off to the realm of chaos as well. Left me with no with no uh, soldiers or anything. And so they've both taken their two little ragtag armies of uh, half stack armies and put them together to try to try to save Kislev, basically. That's the that's the uh, that's like the role play story storyline behind it. Um, plus ten leadership, uh, uh, diplomatic. Oh, I take the diplomatic relations there. So. All right, when Logic gets back, we can um, launch our assault on Volksgrad. Should be pretty solid. Um, yeah, frost kiss is good for for kiting. I was using some frost kissing a fair bit to try to slow down, slow down the enemy unit. So um, that's good advice. Um, yeah, that was taking out taking out Ungram and many slayers was pretty epic. That was good. Boyars caring about duty and the greater good. Immersion ruined. Well, it's not it's not just like uh, oh yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, it's a good draw. So you think that would be um? Hey. Uh, we just doing some role playing while you're gone. Damn. Oh, well, it's quite nice. I've just got some ice court reduction training. Okay, keep pump, kind of good, I keep guess. pumping out those. Uh, keep pumping out those frost mains so you get the perfect set of traits. Yeah, because I probably should. Eh? Um, I'll, I'll... Right, you coming to uh, attack Volksgrad? Is that the plan? Yes, sir. Let me get some of these lovely ladies ready to go. Hack them apart. I can't do two right now. Oh. oh, maybe I've got to... Cut them down. All right. Russian is so inelegant. I'm Russian and I know my ancient history, all right? And well, not all boyers were dicks. Some actually cared about their people. It's not like the the title suddenly makes you a bad person. Yeah, I'm sure there's like a gamut, sort of a, ga a gamut of it. Wait, I'm in. Be there. Just coming on now. I obey only Have we got? Oh, you're taking uh, attrition. Um, taking attrition. Why are we taking attrition here? Um. No oh, they might have their Erson ability, maybe. Oh, is it? Maybe does it tell you on the attrition? Uh, the motherland's been invoked. Yeah, yeah, they've got yeah. their essence. 
Um, that's all right. Well, once this is not owned by them anymore, they won't get that. They won't get that anymore. So that'll be fine. Oh yeah, we got items and stuff. We need to uh, maybe. Oh no, no, they're already all equipped. Um. Yeah. Cool. I'm all good to go. I think. All right. Let's do it. And we're gonna have to fight it, obviously. That's what we're gonna yes. get wrecked. And Strider. I guess I can put that in there. Oh, all right. Ah, still got that plus. That leadership bonus, which is gonna be quite nice. Very nice. Um, I it wonder. Should be, uh, it should be good this one, yeah. Be good. We've got a lot of cheap units. Like a good spell should break some of these units. Yeah, if we can figure out how to get them to sort of blob up a little bit, maybe we can um, mm. kill some with magic. Quite surprised I'm not right behind you. Oh yeah, right. You think yeah, the, logically you'd think that we would be right near each other. Exactly. Um, I can move myself around there, though. Um, oh, that's true. That's true. Well, where do you think it's best to attack here? There's no forest to hide in, is there? No, it doesn't look like it. No, it's pretty snowy looking. Um, oh, no, there is some forest. It looks like there's some forest. Um, uh, maybe not. Oh yeah, no, there is the yeah, it is theoretically hideable. Pretty far away from the um, entrances, though. If you go and hide in the forest, you're gonna have to walk over land a lot. Um, Love it. I've um, got one minute forty-seven time in. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe because we've got some range and magic, maybe we should just like. Go on one side and just um, try and get them to stack up so that we can maximize our magic and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Or, yeah, I don't know. Is it better to. Well, because I could. What I could do as well, if we don't want to do that, if we want to go stealth style, um, I could. Um, no. No. There's, tree, there's trees that are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some trees here that we can hide in. Um, oh, yeah. oh, you're there, yeah. So I could like hide everything here and then just lure some on the other side with the bear. A nice big juicy target. And then we could let like that'll let us sort of set up unmolested a little bit. Mm -hmm. Trying to find a spot where I can hide these archers. There's some here. Um, how do I mark on this? In the red. And there's some next to us. Um, I think that's... Yeah, I'm right in front of you now, so we can all come on there. So if I put the bear, like, right on the far side of the map, then that should be pretty... Alright. Yeah, do you want to go with that? Mm. Yeah, I'm ready when you're ready. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we should be able to win this, I would have thought. Yeah, hopefully. I'm stuck in the middle of the map. Why would we what do you mean? Oh, your vision? Yeah. So that's why they got a little Zargard on the middle point. Um, can't really, are they building in the middle already? They have a tower. Alright, uh, I'm gonna try and hit fast forward, I don't know if it'll actually work. There we go. Give it one minute to be getting and then we should be able to like, push together the use of magic. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Hey, Brennan, how you going, man? Tarin? 
Ah, just saying hello to. Saying hello to oh, chat. Alright. Right. Go time. Nice. Bands of power is a little bit more favourable now. <laughs> what if this bear can just cut through the enemy territory here? Oh yeah, Bounce Power says we're gonna actually win now, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't see many of their units though. Ah, there's one on that point. We might, we might, we might be able to push them to this point in front of us. Yeah. So uh, the green. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna send my cab there. I didn't realize there was a unit on it. Okay. Yeah, there's one unit of the Corsair uh, spears. Did maybe send my boy out to try and one v one those non non spear Corsairs? Yeah, my boys are on horses as well. My uh, patriarch, so I could send them in with you. Nice. Where's my boy? My boy can join as well. Right in the battle, side by side, like our like our forefathers. Exactly. Like the heroic when the kids live, we are. Exactly. Uh, there's some more spears in behind. Oh, I tell you what, if we popped them all up here and we had like heals, we could just like just c continuously spam them with uh, magic. Yeah, that's what it was. It'd be good if we could just get get a good blob happening. I think that'd be ideal. in there. Yeah, I'm going to drop a um, spell on top of this first unit. That should drop them about, probably about 20-30% of their health, hopefully. Lovely stuff. Oh yeah, that's a good one. A veritable, veritable hit. Oh, where's my bear? Mm -hmm. Bear's getting fucked up. Yeah, the bear's the bear's like um, the bear's cool, but it's just it's a bullet magnet, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, these guys are doing all right in there. Got one spell going down. Okay, I'll oh, wait. Yours finishes. Okay, so. Lovely stuff. There's some dervishes coming across. The Motherland's finest. Get my ice guard in, in shape here, shall we? Get them next to you. What's your cat against those spears? Yeah, this blob's looking good. We've taken out three units now already. Lovely stuff. Get some Zargard now. Down the first hill. Nice. Oh, there's an archer tower here. Should I shoot it down or? Which one's that? Uh, I'm, I'm trying. I'm gonna send my cav to try and take that point on the left. But yeah, I might shoot down this other tower, archer tower for now, so we don't take too much damage. Yeah, I might be able to push through with my ice guard here actually and get onto that capture point. On the left. I'm gonna cast a spell on your dude. Just there. Oh. Nice. Hopefully, you can break these boys. It's not bad on the Zaga. Pretty good. Right, I'm bringing our bear at the back here. 
Uh, yeah. We have some more cavalry coming and some more Zygarde. Let's get a, another healer here, I think. You're going pretty well so far. Yeah, it's not too bad. Hey, you got that uh, point there? Um, am I just Olivia. hide my horses because they're getting fucked up? <laughs> if you can just tank yeah, those they're, shots. They're, they're shooting over the top, aren't they? Oh, you got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Nice. I'll just mm. get out of here now, then. Yeah, we can actually push up there if we want. Um, once we yeah, get rid of this Zygarde. <clears throat> Down another hill here, I think. Just keep everybody tip top shape. Well, I have some cavalry in the back as well. We have some dervishes coming, so I'm gonna get my cav to support you. Yeah, there's dervishes. Um, I need some something to block them, do I? I got uh, my winged lancers coming. There's so many archers shooting, they're deleting my ice guard. Yeah, we, we only need to hold that point. We can pull them out now, yeah. That's fine. Um, yeah, just pull them out then, yeah. That's fine. Stop shooting to let you guys handle that melee. Move my castle. I'll watch out for your bear. He's gonna get wrecked, I reckon. Uh, I was trying to. Oh shit. I was trying to get him on those ice guard. Oh, uh, uh, look at these. They're all stacking. Can we get these? Yes, we can. Oh, up the look top there. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Not on my watch. I am the storm. Actually, I wonder if the bear can... Oh, get out there and keep them busy. Oh, uh, just take a heal. While he's up there, while he's up there, I might just uh, drop a... Do you need heals on your guys? No, really. Uh, yeah. I've got one heal left. I can heal you as well if you like. Oh, uh, yeah, if you want to drop it now while the bear's there and I'll run yeah. the bear away again. Bear's pretty good at killing his Zygarde. Yeah. A bit of armor. Yeah, it's just going uh, very, very well, I must say. Oh, did you drop, you drop the heal already? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's still getting shot the shit out of it. Yeah, I need to get him out of there. Uh, we have some uh, armored Corsars coming on the left. On the right, I should say, sorry. How's that top going? We need to push up there, hey? It's fucking. Let's go. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, they're running. We've got hold of one though, which is quite good. Done. Yeah, nice. At least the um the heroes are immune to their their arrows. They won't they won't shoot at them, so it's yeah. Beating back the uh, armored corsairs, which is quite good. Right, beautiful. Yeah, I might try and heal my bear when we get the chance. If we get the chance. There's so many ar there's so many archers everywhere. If he comes anywhere near anything, he just gets pin cushioned. Yeah, the, the ice bear is really bad, I've noticed. Like 
Just, yeah. Oh, really? Have... Not a fan. Do you have any restrictions? Okay. Oh, sorry, you go. Sorry, go on. No, go on. What do you uh, mean? Oh, somebody in chat asked, um, do you have any restrictions to prevent this from turning into Hero Hammer? Um, no, Nick Side, like, the, the goal is to get to Hero Hammer as soon as possible, otherwise we get fucked, basically. <laughs> although, yeah, we were so, was, yeah, although there was some talk about maybe going for a Bear Cav army, because um, Dash Dash was saying he reckons that would actually be more effective than full Patriarch stack. Yeah, no, the challenge will be getting the getting the heroes because we got to hold, we've got to hold like a bunch of territories because there's no no characters loading, so we can't load like load heaps of ice switches with um, you know, plus patriarch capacity or anything. So. But no, no, hero hammer is good. If we can, if hero hammer is the best thing, then that's what we'll do. We'll just do whatever we can do to. Yeah, to win. pretty much. It's just whatever we can do to survive right now. Yeah. Yeah, we're taking care of their elite units quite nicely, which is good. Do you wonder if it might be worth covering some more of these points, maybe? Yeah, maybe. In fact, they've still got a fair bit of stuff left. Nice, yeah, uh, they've got a lot. Mm. Lord of the we've got some dervishes coming, and then their kind of lord, that he's a he's a uh, patriot. Oh shit, can you drop a heal on this blob? Uh, actually, I got one. I got one. Okay. Nice. Yeah, my, um, one of my, oh shit, they're Lord oh, smashing me. In there. Yeah, his, that's why my, uh, my cast is. i as well for you. There you go. Did she get it? I don't know if she got it. Yeah, no, she, I think she did get it. Heels are taking a while to land. Oh, they're happening. Is he going down? Can't see it, so look. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's getting bullied. He's getting bullied hard. I am, I am taking some damage, however. You get my, um, get my boy out in there, but he's sort of holding down this other unit of infantry at the moment. I'm gonna get mine out of there because he's at heel cap now. Bit annoying. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All coming in. The power of oh, double effects. Maybe. Yo. Yeah, I don't know about you. There is so much Winds of Magic in this game. Yeah, this thing. A lot of people complain about how the Winds of Magic's been nerfed and stuff, but it's like, has it though? I mean, it, it has definitely. Like, I think I was playing a game the other day where I had like 300 Winds of Magic in a battle or something. Um, and you don't get that much, but it's not like it's not like you're starved for wins. Like you still get to cast like shitloads of magic. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know. I feel like that's another thing people are a bit too over the top about. It depends what you want, I guess. I think like they intentionally toned it down a bit, um, but it's not like it's yeah nerfed into the ground. You know, like you can still. Is that? Is that army losses? That could be army losses. Looks like it. Yeah, we just gotta wait 30 seconds for their um gives their power to break. Um so let's get all our single entities near each other. So we can um get some get some heals going. Um yeah, I'm just gonna uh, yeah. I'm just make a little healing little uh, healing zone like here, where that green is. Cool. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my I don't think I'm going to be able to get my Snow Leopard back. He might just break off the edge of the map. Should be a shame. Ah, uh, okay. Could have shot some heals onto him. Oh, maybe you could heal one of my Winged Lancers. Uh, I can't heal entities, so it doesn't make any difference on them. Like my the... single Winged Lancer leaves in you. Yeah, no, nah, I won't do anything to him. He gets all his health back at the end of the battle anyway. Just, I think I'll probably lose the wing lancers. I think, but um, yeah, that's all right. We were we were uh, done with them anyway. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Good stuff, though. 
That battle certainly took its toll. It was a rough one. Um, uh, you want to just do the speed up, and I'll try and get one more heal in if we get if we can. Mm -hmm. You haven't got any heals left, have you? I think so. Cool. All right, got eighty seconds. I'm gonna do one more. So I don't know if I should try and bother keeping the bear alive or not. It's like, it seems like it's, it's an expensive. awesome thing, but yeah. Well, well, actually, well what, money doesn't really matter, does it? Not really, no. And it seems a siege attacker, but that's the thing. It's basically just Diva siege attacker. I'm sort of thinking maybe a little Grom would be better, but I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there's certain situations where the bear's better, but it's like you basically got to take out every range unit you know, on the battlefield before you can start using it. Using him, <laughs> mm. yeah. I mean, I could I could take a little Grom, and then you could have the bear, and then maybe we've got best of both worlds, but... Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think I need to keep him for now, because we haven't got a siege attacker otherwise. Um. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm happy that we've actually been able to do. I was a bit worried that we were just not like, you know, we we're just going to instantly lose, and it was just going to be a nightmare, and we'd just be restarting over and over again and stuff. But that's uh, been uh, actually pretty cool. Pretty some pretty yeah, heroic. We're, champ uh, we're champions. We're champions. We got this. We got this. Yeah, it's been good, it's been really good. I was a bit worried that I was gonna like let down the team. I was like, I have not done campaign. <laughs> no. So maybe I might struggle. No, it's been good because like the you know, I think the battles have been fun and stuff and so you've been able to like, mm -hmm. you know, like figure out our strategies and stuff. Oh my cast have got two K value. What about you? I can't see yours. Oh, okay. Um I think I have to wait do I have to wait till it finishes loading? Mine's still loading. Uh, oh, maybe I didn't. Oh no, here we go. Um, my caster got 15k value. And my other one got 5k. My boy, yeah, I got 5k oh. value. That's pretty good. <coughs> nice. <coughs> I got 25 and 2000 damage dealt, which is really awesome. <coughs> nice. <coughs> um, so I guess we'll occupy that. Did you, um, do you want me to give you any of these regions or anything? Or? <coughs> no, but you, you can have the whole region if you want. No? Um, yeah, if you want. Yeah, maybe give it all to me now, and then I'll try and build it up a bit. And then we'll, um, and then we can switch it back between us and stuff and whatever, you know? Um, oh, I can't do both. I can only give you one. Uh, once you do one, then you should be able to do the other one. You just sort of do one at a time, I think. And then I'll build growth everywhere, and then I'll try and build it some. I'll build like try and build the capacity for the um, for the for the patriarch. So we might be able to get, yeah, maybe if we can get like if we get like eight k, if we can get all like all of the territories put together, get eight eight patriarch capacity. Give them all to one person. They recruit their eight patriarchs, then gift them all back to the other person, and you can recruit yours. It's gonna be so dull. <laughs> I love it. Although to be fair, the nice thing about the bears is that they have massive hill caps. Hmm, true. So it kind of goes quite nicely with this. Cool, so if I give you the other one. <clears throat> there you go, so if you take that one. Uh, and that should also give you a place to summon patriarchs now. Uh, yeah, once I level, <clears throat> level it up, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to build growth everywhere, basically, and try and get something up a level. Lovely stuff. <clears throat> right, leave that one. Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, okay, that should be good. Um, let me see if we can hold on to it. Let's well... Turn 20, and we've done pretty well, man. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Well, only five turns till the, uh, till Lewis and Roars. I've also got Lightning Strike now. I, the, the fucking replenishment's pretty brutal, isn't it? I don't know if I want to go the Ambush Defense or the, or the Casual... Maybe I want to go both, actually. I don't know. I might actually go Replenishment first, just in case I need it. Um, sorry, what were, you, what were you saying? Oh, uh, I got, um, I've got lightning strike now. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, me too. 
Cool. So we've got more uh, increased tactical capability. So. Indeed. I'm like, quite excited. Like we've we've reached turn twenty. It's awesome. Like I I really thought we might struggle, but we've done really well. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Take me there. And I got two ice witches on the way as well. So. Nice. Yeah, I should probably start doing a second one as well. I want to think it'd be better as scouts rather than actually adding them to the army because they're not really going to add any extra winter magic, are they? Really? Yeah, that's a good call. Um, they will add. Yeah, they will add extra winter magic. Um, but you have to level them up quite a. Uh, no. Oh no, they changed it, didn't they? Because of the new version, you yeah. don't get the. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, like, if ice guard swords are just going to be better. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, what about the passives you get? Um, ambush defense chance plus 30%. Magic item drop chance. Mm, yeah, no, probably two is the most, I reckon one or two is all you need, yeah. Um, they do, be, they are able to summon um, the uh, shield cats. Um, yeah, that's true. That's um, true. Which are kind of cool in the in your doom stacks. Um, um, I can do uh, an invocation at any point, by the way. Oh, nice. Um, well, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you need it or not. Maybe, I don't know. It could be good. I mean, it would be good to eventually get them up, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. How do we How do we get, like, how do you normally get devotion? I think, like, um, maybe we just have to wait till the rifts open and we can go and farm the rifts or something. You get them through, like, the religious buildings as well, don't you? Oh, yeah, true, true. Yeah, we just got to build up our buildings. Mm -hmm. All right. No higher. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, But yeah, I think we definitely do need some scouts, hey? I think it, like at least one scout would be really useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are we doing now? So we're at war with Ungrim. We're at war with... Uh, Fuck yeah, I'm Norska. Yeah, uh, so things the to do list basically is um, get get Prague to be my capital. I want to get that. Um, so you know, possibly that might be a good thing to do now while we've got while we've got the um, Robsman clan on the ropes. You know, like before they re recruit recruit and shit. Um, it might be yeah. good to just wipe them out, like in you know. And I think and just and not necessarily saying we should definitely do that, but. Um, I think that's going to be our probably strategy, like, you know, like fighting wars of attrition and stuff is not going to work for us because we're, we're only surgical strikers, you know, so we need to, I think we're going to have to completely take out one target at a time, you know, in order to get anywhere. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, so that's, uh, so yeah, Prague, wipe out the Robsman clan, that's one thing. Um, I think, I'm thinking as well, it could be good value to take out at least one, one or two of the bear sending settlements to push them back a little bit away from the um, Brotherhood of the Bear to the north. Um, but I don't think that we should wipe them out because I think if we wipe out both, like all of their settlements, then whatever's on the other side of them is going to come for us, you know, whereas they're probably neutral with whatever's north of them. So if they stay there, they provide a buffer, you know. So I feel like ideally we want to just beat them down but not actually take them out. Um, mm -hmm. And Ungram... Yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping that he's just not going to come back for a while because we just gave him a flogging. But who knows? He could appear with like two full stacks in like three turns or something. <laughs> As he does. I mean, that is our worst case scenario, I think. Yeah, I, I think I'm partial to like just hoping that just hoping that he doesn't come um, <laughs> and just just trying to do something else. Like, it's not really the end of the world if we lose Igorov, Gerslov, Porchakova and or Volksgrade. Like, they're all just shitty minor settlements kind of thing you know um if we can get prague then that'll be then we'll have the two capitals and then that'll be a good gem oh and it's nice to get the empire to fight them to fight ungram yeah yeah it might be a bit of a big ask he saw what happened when we fought him he doesn't want none of that <laughs> it's like oh no you see those dogs they're crazy um <laughs> I can get non-aggression packed and stuff with uh, Oxtermark. That's pretty good. Oh, and trade. Nice. All right. 
I'm all good to go. I'm just going to quickly do some diplomacy with the Empire. See if I can pick yeah, up a it. couple more do it. things. Perhaps. How's Prague looking? <clears throat> Prague's still tier 2, which is quite interesting. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's always nice when they level it up, but I think for our particular situation, it'd be probably better to get it low level when we can actually take it. Oh, yeah. I just want to take him out, you know. If we get, if we can get past Prague, on the other side of that is um, Rot as well in Scaven Black in uh, Death uh, Black Hit. Let's help it, help it. Um, mm -hmm. Which is another capital that we could potentially take as well. Hmm. So we're we'll just in turn. We have nothing else to do this turn. Oh, Plesk is not part of. Oh, Plesk is about to rebel, so I might gift Plesk to the Brotherhood. Okay, yeah, that might be quite good. So they can manage that and deal with that. Yeah, I think it gives them... Um, oh, fuck, I have to pay them 5,000 gold to take it. Um, I might I might actually do that, though, because that might help them, you know, bolster up their forces a bit as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so I guess now that now they've got two settlements, that might help hold back the Bersenlings a bit more. The you see that change? What's that? <laughs> it went. It was like negative ninety, went to negative seventy three, and then negative like the the whole uh, control changed. Oh okay. <laughs> Instantly. So wow. for you it was negative ninety, negative fifteen, and now it's negative seventy, negative one. <laughs> cheats, AI cheats. So um, many cheats. <laughs> And one thing I just noticed then is that when I gifted them the settlement, they got a full garrison with full health instantly. So, because like normally when you take a settlement, you get no garrison, right? It's just empty. Yeah. And if you confederate, then you get a garrison, but they're all busted, with like 5% health or whatever. But um, yeah, if we actually gift settlements, it gives a full garrison. So we could potentially use that to, um, like if our garrison gets damaged, we could like, gift it back and forth to each other to replenish the garrison. Oh yeah, that's a good shout. Also, what we could do is if we take over places and we don't want to look after it, like, for example, if we took um, the Bearlings, we could just give it to these guys and then they can be our buffer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good call. What should I put? Should I put movement rate, negative movement rate for enemies? Or public order is probably what I want, really. Yeah, probably public order. Yeah. Um, oh, it's the same one. Public order and minus 20% movement range for enemy armies in the region. So anyone that comes oh. into these four regions is going to get minus 20 movement. So that's pretty good. All right, cool. I'm done. Maybe from Patriarch Actions too might be different from... What? Oh, get, to, get devotion from after battle option when fighting demons and from church buildings. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Once we get the um, once we get the rifts up, we can attack the rift armies and attack the rifts and stuff. <laughs> stuff that's true that'll give us a bit of um devotion oh enemy hero success chance oh yeah i guess that could be good later in the game or whatever <laughs> excuse me hiccups <laughs> hmm. got four grand for peace against the dwarfs i don't know man Seems quite a lot. Uh, especially because if he's still at war with me, you might end up having to re-war again. Did he Did he offer it to you? No, I was just checking how much it's like. Also, I, I've noticed with... Um, if you if it's like negative one and you offer it, it'll cost like two grand. But if they are plus one to you, they only have to give you like 300 gold. <laughs> really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Um, for me, if I want to piece out with him, it costs me 13,000 gold. I don't have, I've only got 1,280, so. 1,800. Um, yeah, so no peace with the dwarfs, basically. It's the gist of it. Listen, listen, they ain't got nothing on us. I wouldn't worry about it. So, how do we want to do this? Oh. Do we want to just charge straight to Prague? I or guess so, yeah. Have you, is, is that hero got any movement left? Can you um, get vision on Prague? No, that's all I got. So inelegant. Oh, we got bears. Oh yeah. It's pretty. Uh... Yeah, we're looking pretty gangster right now. Got the big bear. Oh, to you. Big bear energy. Look at this. 
Uh, excuse me. Thank you, I switch. Yeah, I'm right behind you now. There we go. Look at that. Boys. Boys ready to roll. Nice. Um, I can't quite hit them this turn. If I force march... Mm, can you... How far no. can... If we both force march... They got, mm. they got a seven military presence. Yeah, that's not going to work. How about... Uh, if you force march as far forward as you can go, and then I'll force march, but I'll stay in range... I'll stay next, you know, in range of you. Oh, make sure we don't teleport. That could ruin it. <laughs> Yeah, I like go around you. Over, overtaking. I think I can still not make it. Yeah, no, nah, we're gonna have to wait another. Time. But maybe next turn we can. Yeah, we can encamp or whatever. We need to. Yeah, we can grab some replenishment. Like my uh, snow leopard is looking pretty dire right now. I might. Oh, he's I single type. Mm -hmm. No, nah, I wouldn't get rid of it. He's single entity, so we can heal him up. In fact, it might be even better to get rid of everything else and replace it with snow leopards. So this is pretty good. If you have a healing, yeah. if you have a healing blob. Actually, yeah, that's a good call. Maybe we should go snow leopards instead of units. Instead of warbears, maybe. Yeah. Cause you can bolster them in research as well. Yeah, the warbears are probably better, but the snow leopards who can heal. Do you get money off bears? Because maybe a maybe an elemental bear stack. Because you can. Um, no. Nah, also research and make them cheaper. Mm, yeah. No, I don't. Um, I mean, I can, yeah. I mean, we can get them cheaper, but they're still going to be shit. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's true. Nah, that's I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep the bear, but it's just basically going to be a unit that I just run off the field to keep it out of danger all the time, you know? That's all right. All right, I think I'm good. It's part of the theme, right? It's part of the theme. Yeah, he's a mascot. I've got to keep him around. It's, he's the spirit of the Sorry. army. You know, you know that happened in World War Two with the uh, with the Polish army. They actually had a um, they actually had a bear in the Polish army. Oh, really? Classic. Yeah, you can check it out. He's a sergeant, I think, before he died. Um, he used to carry ammo uh, for the Polish troops in World War Two. Check it out. It's really, really cool, actually. Uh, they tried to travel with him, but the Polish army said no, so they gave him a ranking so he could go with them. Hmm. <laughs> Like, yeah, I, they, I think I remember that. Yeah, they, what, what rank was the bit? It's not like a sergeant or something, or a private. No, maybe one below, maybe a corporal, corporal or sergeant. Yeah, they had to give it a rank for. I, there was some logistical reason they had to give it a rank or something, wasn't there? Or, I can't remember. It was something to do with uh, they wanted to take the polar bear with them because he'd become one of the group, but they couldn't. Like the Polish army wouldn't let them, so they gave him a rank so they could go with him or something. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, we, got... oh, we can attack this dude. We can attack this dude. Um, yeah. He'll he'll run though, I'd say. That's good, because then we can just fight the prize on its own. Yeah. Yeah, we can get in between them sort of thing. Um alright, well do you wanna um what do you want mm, do you want me to attack him like by myself so he doesn't run and we fight him, or do you wanna like run him off? Hmm. I can't quite reach him. <clears throat> Yeah, but you can reinforce and then but he'll probably run away though. Oh nice. I've got a really good uh I've just got a ice switch that improves my range. That's good. Um Do you so, want to stand up behind him and then you can attack him or do you just want to attack him on your own? Um can you beat him? Uh, I mean, yeah, but we might get flogged. Now, nah, maybe you, yeah, maybe you reinforce. If he's stupid enough to stand there, then we'll fight him. And if not, then we'll um, he'll run away, and then we can attack the um, the siege with our full health. I reckon that's the way to go. Move or die. I'm inbound. Ah, uh, yeah, they're recruiting another army at uh, the capital as well. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I can't do anything about it because I'm too far away. I ordered their death. Right, he's going to run away, I reckon. Yep. That's all right. Hold his all right. Um... Oh, shit, we're taking attrition. Oh, that's all right. Roll out. It's only minor. I've got, I took the anti-attrition <laughs> stuff that I was planning on taking, so it's fine. Um, cool. So well, next turn we'll take Prague. Unless he, unless he, um, oh, maybe I should force march to the bridge so that he can't, because he could get around us technically. 
and get back into Prague if you really wanted to. Do you reckon he would? I reckon he'd like try and run away and maybe fight somewhere else and then. Mm, maybe. Yeah, all right. Oh, we'll just... I've got an Urgle army on me. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I figure we can just quickly take this out and then nip back over there and maybe it'll be okay. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm oh, done. I've only got nine units. Why have I only got nine units? Oh, I don't know. You can whack one of your um, casters in there. Yeah. <laughs> I've been ner nerfing myself without knowing. <laughs> did you, um, you, uh, did you disband them on purpose or they died? Your winged hustlers died, I think, yeah. Oh, the cav died. Yeah. I forgot my cav died. But yeah, so I think if I read my letter properly, um, I think that when we do get our access, basically how it works is we get our access, we can't sh we can't show anything, and then we get and then the then the embargo for multiplayer right, r comes up, but we're still embargoed for more empires, and then you know, and then after that we can show more empires. So so basically, I'm gonna have a period there where I'm not gonna be able to show any campaign stuff. So potentially, I might wanna do some multiplayer, but. At the same time, I'll probably be trying to research stuff as well, so I probably won't be yeah, have that much time, but yeah. Um, oh yeah, in turn when you're ready, by the way. Oh, sorry, bro. Your cape's so much more fantastic than mine. They're so much more fabulous. Mine's all dreary and oh. black. The Brotherhood of the Bear, what would you like? They'd like me to join war for absolutely no money. Um, no. Generous offer. It was 300 gold, and I was like, no thank you. I had to respectfully decline. Oh, did he just go into the fucking... I oh, don't know, where'd he go? No, he didn't... Yeah, you, know, you were right. He ran away. I reckon the... Well, the AI normally does, I think. They normally just try and run away and take something somewhere else small to survive. Yeah, maybe that's what his, that was his plan. A troll country pathfinder. Very nice. <laughs> Destroy these fools. You say you got this email. I don't think I got this email, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's in. Oh, it'll be in uh, promotions or whatever. Do you know what day you got it on? Twentieth uh, of July. Ah. Twentieth. Nope. <laughs> Low key, you've been removed from the creator program. They just haven't told you yet. Um. Right <laughs> that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nah, um, yeah, shit, man. Maybe, oh, uh, spam folder, maybe? Spam folder? Oh, uh, probably, actually, now you say that. Junk, I've got six. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'll be I didn't read it. It's in my junk. Nice. You just, you block CA. I don't want to listen. I don't want to hear anything from those guys. Fuck those guys. Uh, yeah, I get away from them, man. Come on. Nah, um, uh, I'll, come, I'll, I'll come stand next to you. Yeah, you want to be in this. You want to get in a share of the glory? <laughs> Of course. Wish we could slow them. Our heroes, we got shit heroes. We can't slow them, we can't attack their, um... Yeah. Yeah. I think we want to fight now, right? Because we're just going to take too much attrition. Right. Sort of the same as last time, by the looks of it. Oh, actually, I need to... Do this on somebody. Yeah, so we need to heal the, uh, heal the little snow leopard. Wouldn't he eat the troops at Logic? Wouldn't who eat the troops, Dragonborn? Sorry, mate. Uh, the bear, the bear corporal. Ah. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. If you're fighting up against, like, infantry, like, human infantry, shouldn't the bear get regen? Shouldn't he just, like, eat his, uh, eat his enemies? Uh, I don't think that bears actually regenerate wounds when they, when they eat. <laughs> <laughs> They're not trolls. <laughs> no, I reckon we can make it work. Oh, someone said to me the other day, like, they feel it's really disrespectful the fact that Kostalton can't be on a, um... Can't be on... Ice bear? A uh, giant bear. Yeah. It'd low key be really cool. It's, like, not more true at all, but it'd be really... I've, I don't know how comfortable it would be, though. The ice... The bear's made out of, like, frozen ice and rock, and it's got no saddle or anything, you know? It'd just be, like... Just be frozen ice and rock right on your balls, you know? 
I don't know if that would be super good. I mean, you know, he he's a dedicated patriarch. He doesn't need those for much, you know. Uh true. He probably like flagellates himself as well. Like he likes a bit of a bit of that sort of stuff, you know, a bit of pain. Yeah, he's probably a bit weird like that, you know. He's definitely that guy. He's definitely a bit weird. <laughs> he pays to get his balls smashed and stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I know you you weren't gonna go there. You were gonna be a bit like more subtle, but I'm just like, no, I'm going there. Straight, straight in, straight in. Um, there's a little bit of a no tower section here on the right hand side that looks pretty attractive. Um, Ooh, uh, um, if I move around to here, how do I move? I forgot. Just drag the little marker thing. Oh yeah, I knew that. <clears throat> Easy. Um, I'm Don't worry about me. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, um, yeah, so I maybe I can. Four minutes. Four oh. minutes. Four yeah. minutes. I might be able to. Mm. Mm. What do you want to do? I'm just going to try and get... Or do I just wait four minutes? What do you, What was your other option? It's one minute 50. One minute 40. I think... Uh, one it's... minute 50 and walk, or four minutes and wait? It's... Mm. I don't know. I'll probably take no damage if I wait, though. Yeah, I'd probably wait, and like I feel like this it's sort of further away over there, so it's not going to be that much longer anyway, because you're going to waste like two minutes walking. Yeah. Cool. I'll come in where you are then. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking if I can get inside like this area, then I won't be able to take any tower damage, but I'm going to take probably heaps of archer damage, so it's sort of a bit of a much of a muchness. Um, but hopefully, um... if I survive all that, then, you know... Then you'll be able to. Do you not, do you not spawn topside then? What's that? Do you not spawn uh, up here? Let's have a look. Do you not spawn up here? Oh, no, 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 no. You can't. Never mind. I thought you could spawn behind that, but you can't. No. I mean, there's an area. There's an area here that's um that's got that's not covered by the towers. Like we can sort of just hang out in here, but we can't. Yeah. I feel like the door's better for um. Yeah. Go, for go here, choosing. The door's a bit of a cheesing blobs and shit. I feel like the bear's gonna die though. Yeah, but you know, he he's there for the cause, you know. He's lived a good life. He has. He has. Alright, let's, let's do this. He's lived through power. See what he's trying. Yeah. Oh, you're right. They've got Zargard on the roof. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, the bear. Maybe the bear can just sort of park in the corner here and be all right. I'll draw out the line for you. So the line's here. You have to be inside that. You have to be that side of it. Okay. Oosh. Hit there. And these towers wreck, don't they? Yeah, they're pretty, uh, pretty bad. Towers won't reach you if you stay at the back of the map. Yeah, the back of the map um, would be fine. Maximum shrinkage? Yeah, I think Castelton would definitely get some shrinkage if he was to um, ride around on a frozen ice block. Basically. Shriek, shriekage? Uh, do, I, do I dare ask what that is? <laughs> no, shrinkage, shrinkage. If oh, was, shrinkage? If, if, yeah, if he just oh, was yeah, yeah. resting his junk on the back of a, like, you know, 10 ton block of ice. So. <laughs> hey, definitely want to pull on the back of that thing. Oh, uh, we've got no, um... Hmm, okay, interesting. Oh, they just let you walk through? Yeah, there's no infantry here. I thought there was going to be a blob and we were going to have to, like, fight it out or something, but... So not. Well, we got the gatehouse, so we're on board. I wonder if we should get our archers just to like sit up on top of their walls. You got you got a uh, tower up here, by the way. No one's uh, guarding it. So you might be able to take the point here because they're uh, building two now. Okay, I'll try to get our cavalry up there. Do something here. Yeah, watch out. There's some armor corsairs here uh, going ham. And their Lord Choice is coming as well. Uh, could have, uh, yeah, I could have given you some units to control. But, uh, oh, that's right. You got your 
You'll have your own thing going on soon, uh, I guess. I'm gonna be uh, overwhelmed when it comes in anyway. <laughs> I'm in a bit. I'm bare. No. Yeah, maybe get the uh, the big boy can come up and round, can't he? Obey, obey. Yeah, I was trying to get him up there. That, that bear is taking an absolute pounding. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's so bad, isn't it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him outside, I'm gonna put him outside the walls, because he's just gonna die. Like every time I every time I played Castell the bear always dies, like in the first stream. I love it, it's like you hate the bear but you don't wanna let the bear die. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I know that he'll, um... Oh shit, he we can't. Come true. He will come true. It's a love-hate relationship. We all know it. I'm gonna kill this Patriarch, but he doesn't seem to want to go down. Oh. Alright, we got two minutes and then we're on. Nice. Oh man, those towers are absolutely smashing your horse archers. Yeah, I know. And we can't, we're not taking, um... Yeah, it's not really happening. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out your horse archers, you've got shag tons at the top here. Yeah, yeah, it's not happening. Uh, Delges are on... yeah. This is gonna be rough, I think. I mean, balance of power is like, only just in their favour, and I'm not in yet, so... Dude, think about that as well. That's four and a half minutes, and we had the, you know, plus fifty percent. That's ridiculous. Oh shit! My boyar's getting wrecked. It's getting wrecked. Oh, they oh, their boyar's in there now. Yeah, their lord's in there. Shit, my uh, ladies need to get the hell out of there then. Before they get smashed again. I'd love to get my bear in there and get him to like ruffle stomp on their lord, but... They got a lot on the ridge up the up the top here. Mm. Man, they just pop up towers left, right and centre, don't they? Jesus, Legendary loves popping the tower. Okay, I'm bringing the bear back in. The game runs like crap in co-op. Oh, it's not so much that the co-op's bad, it's just that because um, we're on opposite sides of the world. L like, the yeah. logic's in Britain, I'm in Melbourne, we're like pretty much as far away as you can get. Like, <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a planet in between us. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I've played co-op with other people and it's been fine. Like, when I played with um, the Turin and, um, and uh, Anticity and those guys, it was right. Um, I think that, yeah, I think Anticity or Turin was hosting. So was, maybe they were a bit more like halfway. Yeah, I was thinking maybe if I do multiplayer with American dudes and they host it or something, then... Oh yeah, that could be okay, actually. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll work better or something. Yes! You know we run to peer-to-peer -peer though, doesn't it? So, I don't know if... Yeah, it'd be nice if we had dedicated servers for Warhammer, wouldn't it, really? <clears throat> Oh yeah, I don't know. You're going to make a lot of difference. I mean, yes, I assume it would be better, but well, you and I could connect to um, Dallas or somewhere. Or, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, your cosals. I oh, know. Hey, I'm in. I'm in. Balance of power. We're ready. All right. Well, I've beaten this two units that were I faced at the door. Nearly. Not quite. <laughs> the rest of the army is still there, but. Eating these two units at the door, nearly. Well, I've got healing and my boy are coming through, so we should be looking pretty golden. Nice. <laughs> oh, Bounce Bar's in our favor now. Yeah, I've killed their Lord nearly and killed their um, Patriarch nearly as well. Uh, Patriarch's actually dead, yeah, I think. And their boy is. Sure, so, yeah. in, in like multiplayer, your Lord counts for a lot of bounds of power. They seem to have kind of transferred that to. Um, Single player a lot more. Like, Kelly Tommy's Lord gives a lot of balance of power now. Hmm. Okay. Watch out on your left flank, you've got uh, Shag Tons of people coming down. Oh, yeah. That could be a good, um, good blob, actually. 
for a bit of um and I can I can clean up the uh Lord if you want. Their lord's dead. Cool. Is the way that choose is the way that choose a server region for co-op? No, it's just peer to peer. I think so. Whoever whoever hosts it, I guess, is the where it's hosted. You know. Yeah, but at the same time, with us being peer to peer, if one of us lags, we both lag. Man, they got so many units. Yeah, we're doing quite well though. I might try and see if I can bully my way onto the top one. Yeah. Yeah, I can sort of hold this left if you just want to like slide past and get up the yeah, top. Get rid of some of these bloody towers. Yeah, that would make a big difference actually. I think. It's pretty cool, but I wish it would just not die all the time. I'm doing okay defending him in this, this. Like, he's actually done a bit of work and he's um, not dead just yet. That's pretty cool. You are a healing cap, though, for most of you guys. If you want to pull out, I could, I could take her care of the rest, probably. It's up to you. Uh, I lose all, have to share all the glory? I think not. What? Fair enough. Uh, I mean, I can't argue with that. That, that is. Uh, that is the heroic answer. Oh yeah, good bear, good bear uh, breath there. Um, VPN, would VPN help in this case to up the pings a little bit? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe a VPN um, if we get a, like an optimal Optimal path kind of VPN. Oh man, this is pretty bad. Need some more spells. Good, good Zygarde on me. Alright, let's see if I can get through. I'm trying to get through some of my range now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to bring out my um I just have to take my lord outside to run the rest for a while. Oh, uh they should they're breaking the cycle. Yeah, I'm trying to get him to finish off. Well they got some ice guard glaives here, be careful of your big boy. Oh, uh, okay. I'll uh, get everyone else to go into them and get the bear to finish off the ice guard. I mean, the finish off the Zygo. I've nearly captured. Oh, we have captured the top. Nice. We're, um, looks like we're doing all right now, aren't we? We're getting there. Yeah, like, we're yeah, doing pretty well, I think. Yeah, you've those towers, finally. Patriarch, yeah, got those Zygarde uh, done. Have the top now, which is quite decent. Oh, 
Uh, that's not losses, it's GG's. Nice. All right, let's um, let's gather up at the bottom of the ramp and um, share out the heels. Yeah, I'll meet you. Uh, I'll meet you here. That's good. Yeah, I've got one of my uh, one of my um, a tracks that needs a lot of heels. He's at like thirty percent or something, but he's not at cap, so he's thirsty for heels. Uh, actually, he's there now, so you can get started healing now if you want. Sweet. Where's my boy? Is he in there? He's in there. Oh no, he has got a. Oh no, he's out of cap. Sorry. No, it's like the, the cap was hidden by his like one. It's like exactly the line was exactly on his one. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, I've just got my. Um, yeah, basically, do you want to skip? I'll just drop a heal. I'm just gonna. I'll wait till my caster gets home, then I'll give her a little juicy heal. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I could do a couple more heals on my bear. Maybe, or one more, maybe. I've got, I've got, uh, two more. Easy. Uh, yeah, I did the fast forward. <clears throat> Sweet. Oh, oh, ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> VPN definitely not. It adds complexity to the network traffic, additional jumps, etc. It would be slower. I don't know if that's true, Phoenix. I, I thought that like because when i used to use vpns way back in the day um the whole advantage of it was that they had like special vpns set up for different games and so there'd be basically like a pipeline directly like by the most direct you know you could actually save a bit of ping but you had to get like the specific vpn like your specific vpn like it wasn't like nord vpn and stuff like that it was like some other vpns called like fast ping or some shit like that you know like just specifically designed to so yeah, so it'd be like, yeah, the opposite. They'd actually like, I don't know how it worked. They'd like rent out a fucking connection that was like the fastest possible way. And then they'd sell that onto people. Oh, good battle, man. Let me go through that. Yeah, awesome. But yeah, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't have that set up for, for this though. You can do it for WoW though. If you play, if you play like PvP and WoW and stuff, you'd be able to find some like ping service that'll make you, well, that'll tell you that they'll give you a faster ping. I can't lie, although you got smashed in that, I actually came out better at that than I started. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I lost one of my costars, but that's okay, because I was probably going to replace it anyway with a hero or something at some point. Mm -hmm. If we can get some more capacity. Love yourself, and now you have your capital. Another province. Oh yeah, this is my proper capital now. Sweet, yeah. sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, and I got the Tormentor Sword. That's pretty interesting. Oh, that's really good. I like the Tormentor Sword. Although, yeah. I feel like they, they nerfed that, it a um, bit. Oh, yeah. On, sorry. Oh, no, I just... Oh, I, I said... Oh, yeah, yeah, so you go. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Mate, the, the ping, man. Yeah, go on, carry on. You, you go. Oh, I was just saying the Tormentor Sword. I feel like it used to have a longer duration or something. Like, it doesn't seem oh, to, like, last that long anymore. Um... Uh, it used to be a multiplayer. It used to be oppressive. Um... It used to be very strong in multiplayer. Mm. So so strong they removed it. Yeah, the yeah, dwarf thanes used to have it, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and they used to be just like you basically just nerf like their lord for the entire game, pretty much. Pin him in place, nerf him beyond belief, and then just kill him. <laughs> nice. So I've got feed and renowned. Um, that's looking pretty good. So I've got that upkeep and campaign and range of movement now. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, nice. I want to get that. Yeah. Um. So so now I'm just gonna make my boy uh, an indestructible menace. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I want to get. I think I want to get uh, vision campaign line of sight plus ten all characters. So if I get some scout heroes out there, they'll be able to see further. Yeah, please stop. Um, it looks like they've taken help it. The um, Kizev. Kizev? What? Yeah, the, the Kislev boys have taken uh, help. Oh, holy shit. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. they've done well. They've done well. Um, I kind of wanted that, but that's all right. Face my eye. Ah, okay. Uh, 
we win this, so they've got a Herald of Nurgle, five units of Plague Bearers, two Nurglings, and Plague Toads. Going up against Double Zard Guard, Armored Cossar, Grey Weapons, Armored Cossars, six units of Cossars, and some Cavalry. I don't think they win this, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I think they get shot to shit before they get to us. Well, I can't really see it, but if you think we'll definitely win, then I'd say you do it. But if you're not sure, then maybe we should rush back there and defend it, because it's not the end of the world if you lose it, but it's like a bit, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit sucky. Um... And they've got no range, they've got one mobility. If we shoot their mobility, they've all they've got is the zombie walkers. Sounds like a good so fight. We, let's yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm I am ninety percent sure we can win this. Maybe you'll tell me different, but I think we can win this. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it should be pretty good. Yeah, we get our towers will uh get you know, be shooting at them all day long because they're so slow. Oh uh, we no, it's a land battle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> nah, no, um, should be fine. Be fine. Yeah, I just don't want them to de like deplete it and then take it. And I thought we should be able to win this, but we can always retreat, and you still have the siege, right? Yes, yes, that's true. I wonder if it might be good to fight at the edge of the map so that we can, you know, retreat safely if we need to. Um, yeah, I was, I was hoping it's really flat. This, uh, well, there is a building back here. There is this. Uh, it could maybe use that a little bit, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some units. Yeah, or at least spread them around so that you know they don't come all in one go, you know, kind of thing. You do something like this, or like it's not actually a bit like that, but yeah, you have some some defense there with some. Uh, I was sort of thinking more like set up across here, and then they'll kind of go. They'll go like that, you know, and then you can. Might make it. Ah, yes. Might make yes, it better yes, or something, yes. or maybe even set it back here a bit more, so that your end, your edge of your range, your edge of your range is like that well, kind of thing. I'll definitely, definitely give you this one. Oh yeah, nice. Um, I'll just, I'll just run around and try and distract them and stuff. You can kill. Want, do you want the front line as well? Do you want the front line with the star guard and the armor core and I'll do the back, run, back line range. Uh, no, I don't know. Maybe if, yeah. If, I mean, if you want, it might be easier if you just control all of it though. Yeah. Wait, let's do that, that. Ah, yeah, we certainly could do that, couldn't we? Yeah, I don't know if it'll work out as well as I'm imagining it, but yeah. Maybe it so. Um, if I can lure out there something, if I can lure some of this stuff to come out early, that would be really good. Because the, um, the toads and the um, nurglings can hugely outdistance everything else, you know, if we can pull them in first. Nice, at least it's coming to us, so... Um, yeah, I mean, later on, once they get, once we get into combat, I can take over some infantry if you want. I, know, I, thought I'll just, I may as well just look at, yeah, have, yeah. you know, have my screen over here, you have your screen over there, it's easy. Just drop back a little bit. <sighs> I wonder if a charge on these Nurglings would do anything. I feel like I'd probably lose on a lot. These ones? Yeah. They'd be quite good. Yeah, I don't think they don't have any mass, so you should be able to bully them pretty hard. Or well, if you got around the side, you might be able to like smash these ones that are from behind. Yeah, I could do something like that. Well the other thing I could do is I could try and like fake charge the um like fake charge the um plague bearers so that they Ooh, actually yeah, we should try and lure their magic out so they don't do that to our infantry. That's probably a good thing. Um yeah, I was kind of thinking maybe I should try to fake charge their actual... Maybe I can get half their army to follow me. And so you, then you just only have to shoot down half their army. That could be good. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, I don't know. I'll try, and ch I'll try a charge on these Nurglings. I think it's going to be terrible. We're probably going to get fucked up, but... Yeah, that was terrible. Shit. <laughs> Abort! Abort! Uh, get out of that. God, it's a nightmare. Um, it did the job of um, pulling some of the units though, so that was good. Now you've only got two thirds of their army to deal with. But we're going to lose this cavalry probably. Yeah, that's okay. As long as we win, I don't think we can does it? Oh, I just I feel like we want to use this cavalry for the rest of the battle. I don't really want to lose them now. 
Ah, fuck yeah, they broke already. Are you in the uh, position yet? Uh, it's classic. Yeah, yeah. Very, uh, very multiplayer uh, setup you got there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How I go? I, I probably should do this exact lines to be fair, but uh, I guess uh, old habits, uh, old, old habits die die hard, right? Yeah, yeah. All I would say is like, yeah, you probably want to try to like alpha strike, you know, one unit at a time. So, yeah, like. It's, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say I know best, but I tend not to go too wide because then you can't shoot everything. You want to kind of like shoot everything onto one. Now, you know, in an ideal world, like the first unit to walk up would just get shot by every single range unit that you've got. So they just get deleted and then you just target the next one and delete, 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 you know? Obviously, in, a, in multiplayer, it doesn't work like that because they're not going to like let it be that easy, you know? Um, If you can pull over to the pull over to the right and finish off their lord and stuff, and just leave those leave those plague bearers to wander through the jungle by themselves, don't like yeah, just pull that left side away. I reckon. I'll try and just keep that lord. Just yeah, focus everything on the right hand side. I'll just try and distract these two plague bearers so they're out of the battle basically, and then you just deal with the rest of it with the whole army. That was one of the worst casts I've ever seen, even from the AI. No means are going to die like there's no tomorrow, which is going to be quite nice. Uh, Alright, you. I'll leave that one. Let's shoot him. It's still looking alright, though, I think. I was just coming in and trying to be more distracting in the back row. Did you want me to take over any infantry now, or you got it under control? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, let me give you... Give you those. Oh shit. You are them. That's them. They did more damage to themselves than me. Nice. Yeah, I think this is uh, this is pretty comfortable. I think. Put it down. Yeah, it's looking looking good. They're all they're folding. Excellent. Side charge and his nuggling squad. Uh, yeah, seems a bit of damage. My lord's about to go down, but that's alright. I am fine with pretty much everything I've got, but, um, hmm. There we go. Man, these streams of corruption are terrible. <laughs> Not impressed? No, I mean, they're kind of like doing it through the middle of the unit rather than down the unit, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're um, very good at programming yeah. that stuff. I need to have some multiplayer lessons. Deep. Right, so we get a recharge with his Zygarde. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. A right, good decision. It's all worthwhile. Yeah, well, it means you now don't have to bomb back and uh, deal with them. Yo, what's up, Link C? How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Be boot, very nice. Is this a is this a raid? 
How you doing, Bart? Hope you're doing well, buddy. And GG's, Mercy. That was uh, Chef's Kiss. The chef's Kiss, exactly. Another classic mm. uh, classic battle from the Boy Our Bros. Exactly. Fantastic. And now we'd have to go back and deal with them. Well, I've had this glitch a couple of times actually, but it's <laughs> worth asking you. A couple of times I've killed the vampires and they've died like this, and then they've like run away and still had some units left. Why mm. does that happen? Yeah, they've got a they've got a special thing where they um they raise. I think they have like a twenty percent chance or something for their units to just come back to life with a few models, um, or their lords uh, can come back with like ten percent health and stuff. Yeah, um, I had, I was. Okay. It's unless you're the vampires, then it's pretty good. I I lost a battle. Yeah. I lost a defensive battle the other day, and um, Vlad and Vlad and a hero died, and then um, because I was in my own territory, like they both came back to life with ten percent health, and I replenished like fifty percent health. So like by the time my turn came around, I could just counter attack with them, and they were like pretty much ready to rock and roll again. So it's good. Fantastic, fantastic. Sometimes things work out. So we have uh, yeah. this uh, imposter down below, the fake boyar. Um, he's almost indefinitely going to go after Gerslev, I think. Or Volksgrad. Or yeah. He's kind of in closer to Volksgrad. He's in, he's in Volksgrad. I mean, he's in um, Kislev's region, and Kislev's mm. probably the closest. So you might just go for Kislev because he's in actually in his movement range almost. Do we want to deal with him, or how, how do you want to play this? No, we could probably almost just ignore him and let him kill himself on the garrison, couldn't we? And... Probably, yeah, yeah. He's going to take damage anyway. Yeah. Um, how much movement have you got? Not all. <laughs> Sadly. Sadly Where, not. What are we... What's our next uh, mission? I guess go back and help the best, help the brother of the bear against the Bessonlings? Or, oh, we can just chase that guy down and kill him if you want to do that first. Um, hmm. Well, it looks like, actually, the, uh, these boys are going to be charging on the Bessling. So, uh, it looks like they've got it uh, under control. Okay. Um, hmm. So, what do you want to go after? Yeah. Ungr you want to go after Ungram? Oh, go after my boy. Oh. I don't know if we want to hold that, though, because it's pretty far away. I tell you what, we could go, uh, we could protect Volksgrad, and then if, if they do die, then we could just then go towards that way anyway. Ah, uh, like, uh, beat up the, the bear siblings a bit? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we could gift, we could, like, beat up the bear siblings, gift that to the Brotherhood of the Bear, and then fight mm -hmm. up there, like, helping them defend their stuff. Maybe we should, yeah, hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, it sounds good. Alright, I'm just gonna, I've got no movement anyway, because it's the end of the turn. So I'm just gonna recruit a unit. Oh, Hossas. Bessie already knows me, so he's only getting a beep, no boop. Uh, Rasgaroth? Rasgaroth. Hey, Rasgaroth. Can't say. But how are you doing, Linksy? How's things? Hopefully you're, uh... I've seen you've been streaming a lot recently, bro. I don't know what, um... You've been doing some quite long streams. He's been streaming 24-7. Hey, yeah, Res. crazy. I commend your ability to play Wemma 3 even though the calendar says it's not the right time yet, good sir. That's true, it's not the right time yet. 23rd, that's the right time. Tell your friends, all of the people who are on sabbatical playing their other inferior games because they're just waiting for Immortal Empires. Time has nearly arrived. And everyone can return. We're close. Is this your, like, like, uh, like, would you say Total Wars, like, your best game like that you can that you like the best or um i like the best uh yeah i think so yeah yeah i did play a pretty cool game recently called just king but that was more of like an indie game that was pretty fun to play like for once or twice but yeah this is this is like my game that i would always play i think what about you yeah, there's like yeah, there's like games that you'll play just like for a weekend or for a or for a few weeks maybe or, or whatever, but they're not necessarily have that potential to be like you know your get your main game you know. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas yeah, Total War games have always even back with uh, Medieval Two, 
Um, well, I actually probably only Medieval 2 and this one, I'd say. Rome, Rome 1 probably could have been like that, but I didn't... I wasn't, like... Yeah, like, I played Rome 1, and then I just moved on to the next game, and I didn't really think about it that much, you know? I, I, I really liked it, but I didn't really think about it as being, like, you know, my main game or my the best game ever or whatever. But Medi when Medieval 2 came around, then that was, like... Then I kind of got that got the idea that, yeah, this is the real shit. Um, and I wouldn't, I would burn out on it. Like I'd probably, I'd have these like massive sessions where I'd play Medieval 2 for like two, three months, just single player campaigns, just, you know, doing my thing. Um, but then you'd eventually get burnt out, but you'd, then you'd always come back. Like with Medieval 2, I'd probably every six months or so, I'd just, I'd remember it. And then I'd be like, fuck yeah, let's, let's get some, um, you know, French Empire of France campaign going or something, you know, and you'd launch into it all over again. Um, and yeah, and, and then, and now Warhammer Total War is kind of the same, except for it's faster. Like I'd, I'll only be, I was only out for, you know, like I'd play it for like three weeks or something. Then I'd like be burnt out for like a week or two and then I'd go back to it again. And then I'd be burnt out after a few weeks. And then I'd go back after another couple of weeks, you know? Um, but yeah, but now there's yeah. so much, there's so much in this game, like you can do, like, yeah. so much you can do, especially with like 23, 24 factions now, like he's going to be absurd. I'm also just I'm so addicted to the gameplay loop of the like strategy map in the campaign and the and then the uh the real time battles like just nothing else it doesn't matter how bored I get with this game like I'll still like miss it if I play anything else cuz nothing else has got that same thing you know yeah, yeah yeah I think for me like before like my best game by far was like FPS games like shooter games um, oh, okay I was really good at them I like I played really high competition for Call of Duty Oh wow! But th this for me has more replayability than any other game I've ever played. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's kind of like, it's the replayability. It's also like, I, it's kind of like the world I want to kind of be in. I don't know. Do you like? Do you play much campaign, or you don't really play much campaign? Um, I did play a lot of campaign. Um, I'd love to play some more. If I'm honest, I just I have no my, my fan base has no attraction to it. I don't think. But you don't really like. So for me, like I could play I could play multiplayer, but I was still Jones for single player. Like I think like it's just mm -hmm. that's my that's kind of my jam. You know that's where I want to where I want to hang out on my free time. If you, know, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Where's where's the safest place I could build the build this up? Is Gerslev pretty safe? You think? Or is it? No, uh, I don't know. Which one was the one he nearly took out last time? It was Igorov, wasn't it? Yeah, Igorov. Alright, we'll see. We'll go Gerslev, because Gerslev's already got the level 1 building there, so... Yeah. Um... Alright, cool. And then... We have we got move? No, I gotta know. Oh, yeah, we got... So it's still the same turn, I just realised. <laughs> He's been talking. Alright, I'm done. End turn. How much, how much longer have you got, by the way? Um, oh, yeah, i got to wrap it up in, like, 20 minutes. That's no problem. I, did, I didn't want to make you uh, be late for anything. <laughs> now nah, i got to... Well, technically, I'm supposed to start work in 20, 25 minutes, but um, my boss is pretty cool. She lets me start, like, a couple hours late. So I'm actually going to go to bed, right. get a couple hours sleep, <laughs> and then get to work. Oh, nice. Nice. Right. Well, I'll, I'll just keep playing until you're, uh, you're ready to uh, jingle them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, maybe we'll just try and do a, bit, a little bit more. Um, so we're going north, Volksred. Oh yeah, what happened to that? What happened to that Rossman clan guy? Oh shit, uh, we've lost him. I didn't see where he went. I've got a scout now. I'll send her out to see what she can see. Ah, there, there she is. is. There He's still is. there. Should we, should we pressure him a little bit? Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't, like, just suicide. Like, he doesn't have a settlement now, so I thought he would have gone into suicide mode, but... Yeah. I think we can probably just ignore him. He's got attrition. If he's just gonna, like, fuck around there, he'll just eventually just, you know... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've also got... I just bought Urson, so he's also gonna be taking extra damage. Nice. Oh, he's not... He's in Volkscrad. He's not in, um... Not in your territory. Put a little bit of pressure on him, I think. Yeah, alright, maybe I'll, I might force march right up to him, actually. 
Okay, I'll what go you, with you. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, fool? <laughs> exactly. Um, I'll go Their boys are on you. Get some extra growth. Oh. <laughs> Should I keep recruiting more and more, um, <laughs> more and more frost maidens? Just keep getting better ones. Oh, wow, fair enough. You never know. Is it like an ideal one you found so far that you've like, oh, this one's the perfect one? Like outside of this, if you find like the perfect combination. Uh, it depends. Like, so you can get one that gives you plus range damage for the army, and then also plus range damage for um. For frost, uh, for um, uh, ice guard, so then you get nice. double. You know, you get like double plus range damage, but for ice guard, um, and then you can also get another one that gives you, I think, plus five melee attack for your whole army. So if you get those three together, that would be like the perfect one for ice guard, I'd say. Um, nice. if, but if you're gonna go like bear cav, then you'd want you still want the plus five melee attack. But you'd want the charge bonus for bear cave, and I think there might be another one that gives you something for cavalry. Um, yeah, so there's a few, like, you know, there's different ones depending. If you wanted to make a map hero, then you'd want, you know, you'd want completely different ones, obviously. But yeah, that's the best. The best one I've had so far is just range, ranger and, um, yeah, the one that, ranger and better bows, which gives you range damage generally and also range damage for ice guard. Mm -hmm. Stacked together. All right, I think I'm done. Nice. Where's he going to run now, though, is the question. Is he just going to suicide us? I imagine he could suicide us. I know. No, nope, he's just going to rage you. He's going <laughs> to me meander over there. Yeah. I love that. I love that. What I could do, if I if I got behind him... Baron of the Mother. Oh! Nice. Camp at once. Um, We've got our. Uh, like the, so if I go here, this land is like here, if you attack him, he can only go in the direction we want him to go, right? Um, indeed. Oh, Actually, good. just give me one sec. I'm just gonna grab another hero. I will no okay, let's uh, let's go full hero hammer here. All right, I'm ready to receive my experience. I seek experience. Let's do this. He should just fight because he doesn't have a settlement. I think they don't retreat when they don't have settlements. No, really. I think so. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, he seems to think we can't win this. Oh, no, uh, we have Pyrrhic victory. Oh, I don't lose anything. And neither do you. Uh, you also it, or? It, uh, yeah, let's sort it because that way we can still keep playing for a little bit longer. Otherwise, it's going to be the end. Yeah, cool. How bad is it going to be? Uh, probably quite bad, knowing this game. <laughs> Hopefully no one dies. I can do a haircut. Get out of control. Um, well, oh yeah, nice. Well, man, Not too bad. Not too I mean, bad. yeah, no one died, I guess, so that's good. Can, uh, the, the unit replenishment is so terrible, considering we're fighting Kislev. Yeah, we should be able to press their, um, press their men into service or something, and, you know. Exactly. Terrible. Well, they've been destroyed, so that's pretty good going. First faction destroyed. First, yeah. we've, we've destroyed one faction and we've killed one legendary lord. It's pretty, pretty good going. Boy, a boy, strike again. Indeed. Um, so, where do you want to? You wanted to help push up and help them take, um, help them take Nodchovsky or whatever. Um, who can we? Yeah. I don't know what we can do. We. Mm, the Empire kind of needs us to kill Scrag, otherwise they're going to get wiped out. But it's a long, it's a long way away. So if you look over here, this is uh, well, you can see these guys are going. Why? I don't understand. Why are the guys in blue and white? Why are they going to that? Why aren't they sacking this thing? Sapatsky. Right. Yeah, but I'm going to give them a select target. Go fight this. Why? Why are they defending Pleski? What? AI is so stupid. Okay. Hmm. Cool. So, do you want to go help the Empire? 
I don't know. I mean, I feel like strategically, like in the long term, like if we don't take out Scrag, then, you know, then the Empire is going to get fucked and then we're going to have the whole half, bottom half of the map's going to be Scrag coming for us. But, but like, is the strategic thing really a concern for us? Because, like, are we going to really actually live that long? You know, I don't know. <laughs> where, where, did, where is Scrag on the map? Just so I know, I'm not uh, very, he's, uh, he's, very Yeah, that's right. He's right in the bottom, right in the bottom left corner. So it's a fair way, it's a fair distance away. Okay. But probably, yeah, that's the thing. We've got no rifts. We can't use rifts either. So if we were playing with Legendary Lords, we could just pop over there and rift and then pop back again. But we'd have to actually oh, no. go, it'd take us probably like 15 turns to get there. That's a question for me and people that don't know. How do you know if you pop in a rift where you're going to come out on the main on the major map? Uh, you you choose it. So you go traverse rifts, and then all of the rifts show up, and then you scan around the map for the one you want and click on it, and it'll just take you to the one that you want to actually go to. Interesting. I played my entire campaign on my own, and I didn't know that. <laughs> nah, that's all right. Um, but yeah, but only legendary lords can traverse the rifts. The um, minor lords can they can destroy rifts, but they can't actually go through them. So we don't have that ability. That's only for the fancy, the fancy hoity toities. So yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't know if we can really do that. I think we're just gonna have to like, yeah. Well, the vampires close. Do we want to go fight the vampires in Sylvania? Vampires aren't one of our strategic. They can't win the. They can't win the realm of souls though. They, so we could probably just ignore them. Like, we don't really need to. Um, unless okay. yeah. Um... I mean, unless you want to do it just for money or whatever, but yeah, like they're not, you know, they're not really a threat. Like, we could grab Regen on our on our boys if we kill Vlad, right? Was uh, it Vlad or was it? Someone? Nah, it's Isabella. She's not in this one though. Oh, that sucks. Um, we can we can um, I guess the closest enemy would be probably Ugarth. Okay. We could try and launch a campaign on him to the north, I guess. Um, I mean, maybe we should. Should we just leave it there? Maybe we can, we can think about plan Sorry. for next time. Yeah, certainly can do. Mm. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. I'm hanging to get access to the game. Um. Same. 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 Yeah. It sounds like you're not going to be much good to me though, because you're going to be like pursuing your career goals instead of playing Total War like you should be. <laughs> I would definitely be down to play some campaign, 100%. Yeah, or even just even some multiplayer stuff just to check out the new units mm -hmm. and stuff, whatever, chat. Um, so it's when good it, to when like... When it goes yeah. live on the 10th, like, I'll, I'll be prioritizing some more... some more... Um, some more Total War for sure. Yeah, cool. All right, well, we'll, we'll catch up and chat about it later on. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, pretty cool campaign idea. I think, I hopefully this has inspired some other people, like, I don't know if, I, like, I, I didn't in, really intend this to be, like, whenever I do stuff like this, it's, it's not really to make it super hard, it's really because I think it'll be fun in, like, a particular type of way, you know? So, I, I don't know, hopefully this kind of illustrated, like, this is exactly what I wanted it to be like, you know? Like, we're going around, we have to, like, make all these hard decisions and fight these tricky battles and work together as a team and, you know? The, yeah, so, I don't know, hopefully, um... Hopefully you I really well, enjoyed it. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully other people kind of get get what I was trying to, you know, what we were going for here, basically. I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know if um, Creative Assembly are going to like make a lot of different types of multiplayer campaigns, but I hope that they um, they make some stuff that's a bit more like this, like more intimate, you know, like more kind of zoomed in, um, if you get what I mean. The um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it, I think this kind of gameplay is really fun. But yeah. Yeah, and, and then also like when uh, Immortal Empires comes, we can do things like Valkyrie the Bloody, and then we can also have like Scarbrand, and we can do some other duos of like demons that people might not have done yet, and maybe make just some ridiculous tasks, <laughs> like just to set some crazy standards. Yeah, just like rampaging around the world as a tag team duo could be pretty fun. Might be exactly. pretty, uh, might be pretty overpowered though. So yeah, so that's the only problem. Like you can't if you do something that's too like you always, it's like this. You're like on the one end, you're power gaming, trying to figure out the most efficient, most powerful, whatever. But then, if you like, if it's too good, then it's like, ah, too easy now. No challenge. All right, no point playing that anymore. <laughs> you know, it's kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, well, be nice. Yeah, we'll have to get together and um, maybe on both of our discords, we can just set something up and people can vote. Maybe come up with some ideas and stuff. 
Yeah, it sounds good. Um, but yeah, I'd also definitely like to do some multiplayer as well, especially once we get some good factions. I don't really like any of the demon factions that much, like, you know, just in terms of, yeah, so it'd be good once we get our, like, proper factions in. They're quite limited. They're quite limited, right? Yeah, we need, we need our dwarves, we need our vampire counts, you know? Um, yes. The, the proper factions. <laughs> Forgan, Grudgebearer, and uh, let's get uh, Grimgor, Einheit, the, the likely duo together again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone use, Grim, anyone use Grimgor in multiplayer, or is he still kind of a bit naff? He just gets shot shit. <laughs> He's garbage. Yeah. He's so slow, he just gets shot or ignored. Yeah. Um... Oh, well. But he's cool. On, it, on, on campaign, he is an absolute monster. He's really cool. Um, it'd be good if you could somehow hide him in black, like, you know, if you put him in a black oak blob and that would protect him from shooting or something. Because that's the thing, on tabletop, if you attach a hero to a unit, that's kind of the whole point of attaching him to a unit almost sometimes. Like, that if you try, if other people try to shoot them, they can't shoot the hero, they have to shoot the unit, you know? Um, but in yeah, yeah, yeah. but in this game, it doesn't work like that. You can still, sh like, because the heroes are kind of, bigger than the normal troops and so they end up taking they end up taking shot quite damage, a bit damage yeah it do, i mean yeah. Yeah, i mean if they're human size they do like it does work a bit if they're small enough but yeah it's not as not the same mm. yeah, anyway um anyway man yeah no it was lots of fun and uh yeah i'll uh yeah we'll have to get together again soon yeah, man, that, that was great um i really enjoyed this so i'll have to do this again soon yeah 100 percent all right, I'll catch you guys in the stream, in the stream there, and I'll see you all next time.